Holy nugget, my nose is running like crazy. But good morning. I'm getting there. I'm getting my headphones on right now. Sorry. Let's see. Boop do 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 ba. Alright. That's a hair. It's being hair. Alright, we'll take it. Alright. Woo. There we go. There we go. Okay, sounds working. Good. Anyway, how's everybody doing today? Hopefully pretty good. Let me get situated. Oh, we got a run in. Oh, not anymore. Oh, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da -ba. Ah, gotta bump my desk. There we go. Okay. Anyway, how's everybody doing today? I know I asked that already. Uh, so I'm just getting situated. Hopefully pretty good. All right, so today we're going to be playing Mass Effect Legendary Edition. We're on the first game, so Mass Effect the original. Um, let's see, last time that we played, uh, we... Wait, do I have any announcements? Uh, okay, the announcements I do have, there will be no stream on Wednesday this week. So my next stream won't be till Friday, which will be more Dragon Age. Um, but hopefully we'll have a full week next week of every day that I'm streaming. I'm hoping not next week, but the week after. But we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Um, and so no stream Wednesday. So the next stream will be Friday, which will be a Dragon Age stream. Uh, and I've been really wanting to play some more Dragon Age Origins, but I'm sure I'll get my fix today because all week I've been wanting to play Mass Effect. Um, so basically, um, uh, what happened last time on Mass Effect was, uh, I made my character. Uh, we had to redo her once because she just didn't look exactly right because that's how Mass Effect is. The character creator looks so much different the character creator like look looks so much different than when you are in the game so we only had to do that once which was cool we really i really like her she looks like a very um uh tough chick i guess that would be the the best way to put it but we'll, we'll see we'll see um and uh uh that's the traditional mass effect bioware start all right i know right right kodiak how you doing kodiak um so that's where we started off. Uh, right now, we're still basically on the tutorial world. Um, oh, it went right into it. Okay. Um, other than that, I think that's it. And I think we can get started. So thankfully, I was just super excited that we only had to redo her once. And I was like, I was like, whew. I was, I was very happy about that. So, all right. Everything should be working fine. I tested the lag. Um, and the lag should be... I, like, I should have fixed it and everything like that, but we'll keep an eye out for it. So, because for some reason, I don't know, ever since I downloaded this new update to OBS, it has been weird and not saving things correctly. Or maybe it's my capture card. I don't know. Anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. Where is... All right. Oh. I'll shut up. It's a sound, Jesus. From extremes of temperature and atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Standard equipment includes an onboard mini frame and a communication, Sorry. navigation, and sensing suite. The mini frame is designed to accept and display data from a weapon's smart targeting system to make it easier to locate and eliminate enemies. Okay. We did the connect. We did the connect shields. I remember we did that one. Okay. Cool. <sighs> Okay. Oh, I forgot I had leveled up, hadn't I? That fucking sound effect, man. Uh, okay, so I upgraded that. Increases the strength of your shield, increases the amount of hull restored. Encryption. Do -do -do. Grants you the sabotage. 
increase attack mine explosion. Mm. I kind of want to do this one, I think. Increases shield capacity by 30. Mm. Okay, fuck it. Oh, we have like three points. I'm dumb. Okay, um. I don't want to do the dialogue options, not going to lie, but uh, she does look cool. Go and Renegade, Paragon, or Mix. Okay, so what my plan is for this playthrough, since it's been, so I've only played Mass Effect through. I love Mass Effect, obviously. You can see the standee behind me. Um, and I played them when they, when they first come out. I think I was like on, off the train for the first one. I think it played it like... I basically had finished Knights of the Old Republic and then I was like, I need more from this developer. And so um, I was told uh, by a friend of mine in the hookah community um, that they were like, oh, well, if you played the shit out of Kotar, then you should play Mass Effect. It's it's like Kotar, but it's in space. Well, not space fantasy. You know what I mean? Um and I was like, oh, heck yeah. So I went and tracked down a copy. They only had like one copy in all the game stops in my area. And I got it. Um, and and yeah, so I played them since that. I got, <laughs> at the time, I had, I had a boyfriend and I had another guy roommate. And once I started playing, the funniest thing. So I was playing in the living room. A funny thing is we all got so into Mass Effect from me playing it that we had like three televisions sitting in the living room. <laughs> oh my God. It's so, it was so janky. It was so great though. It was great. It was so much fun. Anyway. Um, but so I went very Paragon through my decision just because, uh, just because that's just the way I was at like, I think I was like, God, when I was playing Mass Effect the first time, 21, 22, something like that. Um, and, and then of course I, I played them as they came out after that. But, um, so I haven't, I was so happy with my finished playthrough of one, two, and three that I was like, I don't need to touch this game anymore. I don't, I don't need to touch it. I love my playthrough. I loved my ending. I love the decisions that I made. So the reason why when legendary edition came out, because I have to play the legendary edition, of course, but sorry, long story short is that, um, it's been about you know, 10, 15 years since I played Mass Effect. So I would like to play Mass Effect with the decisions I'd make today, whereas what I was when I was younger. Right now, it looks like it's still just Paragon, which is probably how it's going to be for the most part. But we'll see. I'm just making the decisions I personally would make. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. We'll go from there. So I, I just want to see how it compares because... I remember my friend had like walked in on me playing Mass Effect. This was another friend of mine. Um, and he looked at my Paragon and he was like, I think I had all Paragon, strictly all Paragon. Hey, how you doing? Hey, you with the face. Howdy. Hey, total Chad, bro. How you doing? Um, and he, he goes, he goes, holy crap you're full paragon i was like yeah i only had one renegade decision and that was a punch to reporter so that's, that's about it that's about it so i'm i think it's gonna be a little bit more renegade this time but we'll find out we'll find out paragon you mean renegade and, and i can't be mean i have a hard time being mean i wish i wish i could be i've tried i've tried i think the most i can go is like morally gray Ooh, sorry bumped the mic um is like morally gray like i can do probably a bounty hunter type like playthrough but that's still it's it's not fun for me i guess that's 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 the 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 story i could be mean or games or suspicious at best yeah i could get i can get that I get, yeah, I just, I just can't. I've tried. I just, it takes all the fun out of it for me. I don't know. I guess I just like pixels to like me. <laughs> as weird as that sounds. Uh, never played Mass Effect 1 through 3. I only played Mass Effect Andromeda and it was cool. If you liked Andromeda, then the OG is, is very cool. It's been a while, Wencho. Glad to see you. In this game, vampire, I'm murdering literally every, anyone I can. I think that's all my, um my uh uh wish list on steam and i like every time it goes on sale i'm like eh, i can wait 
So I, ne- I never do. Uh, let's see. We'll, we'll put a point there. I don't remember you. I'm sorry. I was going to say, I had it like just, it was a first time new chat. So I pa- I'm sorry, total chat, bro. Living up to your name. I'm joking. I'm messing with you. Um, and then, I don't know. Decryption. Or inf- uh, I did that one. Let's put it in charm. Okay. And then I think I have everybody else auto leveling up, right? Oops, wrong button. Well, my profile pic is Johnny Bravo, so take that how you will. Heck yeah. He that is the that's the good shit. I spent a long time. I never watched Johnny Bravo as a kid, but I know I like I saw snippets of it on Cartoon Network all the time. Okay. This one. Oh god. It's been so long. Okay. I actually kind of feel weird without the helmet. Okay, aesthetics. It's important. All right, so let's put the helmet on. I dabbled in it enough to know he's an idiot. Yes, 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 yes. I agree there. Okay, so we had just... Shush, Caden. Um, uh, we had just dabbled. And and the cool thing about me taking so long to play through this again, I'm not remembering. Like, I'm not remembering the details. I remember some stuff. Like, somebody in a stream previously asked what decision I made at Vermeer, And I was like, I remember Vermeer. I don't remember the big choices. I, I know, I think that's a choice of having to choose somebody over somebody. I don't remember, though. So, this will still be kind of blind. But uh, as, as we go through the game, I'll probably remember shit. So... Ew. Keep your guard up. No cat? No cat. Okay. Whoop. Oh, God. I remember how much this cut scene freaked me the fuck out the first time I saw it. I was like, what the fuck is this shit? Fucking husks, man. And sound. Ooh. Where did they go? Ah! Jesus! I forgot they freaking bring down your shields. Boop a doop doo. Oh, you got it? Got it? Okay. Do we get it? Woo! Okay. Woo. Okay. I have not played a shooter in a long ass time, so please forgive. Woo! Still freaking me out. Good job, guys. Good job, husks. Appreciate it. All right. Now, if I remember correctly, there's somebody in here. Doop a doop. Anything over here? I gets it. I gets it. Hold on. Let's. Can we look in here? Ooh. Uh. Yeah. Take all. Nope. Wrong button. There we go. Thank you. I was just playing on an Xbox 360 controller, so I'm like, hey, 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 hey. Uh, I'm so sad, though. The The controller I've been using for, like, all my playthroughs on here that I've had for, like, it's like an Afterglow 360 controller. It's finally starting to drift, and I'm like, shit. I'm like, no. I love you. Some locked objects require decryption or electronics to If any squad member has the required talent, you will be able to unlock the object using the decryption or by spending Omni Gel. Repeat the sequence buttons before the time expires. Uh, yes, begin. Oh, God, I remember this. Oh, okay. Well, shit. Oh, no, 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 no. We're doing that again. No, fuck you. We're, we're doing that again. Two twelve. There it is. I was like, no, we're doing that again. I thought it was like a pause and do it. We're, we're redoing that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care. Let's go. Oh. Let me fix that. Boop. She does look better with her helmet on. It makes me feel... <clears throat> excuse me. It makes me feel awkward when she's the only one that doesn't have her helmet on. Mm-hmm. 
It's so crazy how they do that. They're still alive! Oh! They like infiltrated them and possessed them with fucking. God, God, I suck. Okay. Where's the other one? What was that? Weird. Okay, sorry. I swear I felt something hit. Where are you going, bro? <laughs> there we go. Whoop. How about no? Okay. So we're going to try that again and not be a dum dum about it. Oh, that's who it is. Okay. Hi, Revan. Scared the shit out of me. Sorry, still here. Just doing an un, 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 unalive on fools. Oh, no. Play. I love lurkers. You guys make my day. Revan. No? God damn it. She was here. I knew I felt something like hit my desk. If you guys were hearing her meow, I was not. I'm sorry. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, Kaden. Yep. Okay. Okay. We're going to save here because I'm an idiot. Not be dumb, shall we? Okay. God, I remember playing this game. I think I mentioned this last stream. And because the Xbox 360 was still kind of like, like this was this was a game for it. And it, I remember having a corrupted save on my Mass Effect and I had to start over. Or I had to go really back. Revan activated stealth mode. Yeah, for sure. Mm. And, uh, and she was just like, uh, and no, my save corrupted and I had to go way back far and it pissed me the fuck off I was so mad right. repeat okay okay we'll try this okay there we go now I know I was like I'm not failing this okay I just wasn't sure if it was going to be one of those where you repeat you, you put it in and then you repeat it so that's hello Dr. Warren Um. No, tell me what happened. How did you end up in this shed? We hid here during the attack. They must have come here for the beacon. Luckily, it wasn't here. It was moved to the spaceport earlier this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity has ended. Soon, only ruin and consciousness remain. What else can you tell me about the attack? Well, it all happened so fast. Once I have to sneeze. Quick. Next, we were hiding in the shed while the geth swarmed over the camp. Legion had been slain. Freed of darkness. Hail of our patience. Who the? We could hear the battle outside. Gunfire. Screaming. He doesn't know how right he is. Holy shit. Then everything went quiet. We just sat there, too afraid to move, until you came along. Yeah, my nose is just running today. Uh, Nihilus. Did you notice a Torian in the area? I saw him. The Hawk. Leader of the enemy. He appeared before the attack. What? That's impossible. Nihilus was with us in the Normandy before the attack. Uh, he's being race blind. I I'm sorry. Manuel's still a bit unsettled. We haven't mm -hmm. seen a Torian. We've been hiding in here since the attack. Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? Will you unearth the hell's secrets? Awaken the beast. Unleash the darkness. I mean, he's not wrong. <laughs> No, he's not unstable. He's right. I am not mad. I'm 
I mean, <laughs> I can shut him up. Uh, I think that's about it, right? I'm not gonna shut him up. He's right. <laughs> Gotta blow my nose. Gosh dang. My nose. Uh, Codex. Okay. Oh, here we go. They round up and impale dead and living bodies on mechanical spikes. The spikes rapidly transform these victims into withered husks, extracting water and trace minerals, and replacing them with cybernetics. The cybernetics reanimate the lifeless flesh and tissue, transforming the bodies into mindless killing machines. Some Alliance soldiers refer to the husk generating spikes as dragon's teeth. Oh, yeah. The berserkers who sprang up from the earth wherever the teeth of the dragon Eris were planted. Eris. Dragon's teeth and husks bear little resemblance to other pieces of death technology. No one is sure why a synthetic race would bother to drain the minuscule amount of recoverable resources from organic corpses. Though the value of reusing them as shock troops is obvious. <laughs> is obvious. Makes me laugh. Mm, all right. Head to the spaceport. Okie dokie. Uh, boop. Do we have anything in here? Ladies? Gentlemen? Nope. Okay. All right. We'll get out of here. Bye. I forgot how much I love this game. Hey, Nihilus, what's up? Oh, there he is. Can't forget this motherfucker. Oh, he still looks so cool. Fucking Jeremy Iron sound, bro. Nihilus, if you're not sus, you're dumb. No! Uh, damn. Sorry, Nihilus. I, there's nothing I can do, bro. Yeah, I know. The doo doo doo. Ooh. Oh, shit! Hold on, hold on. Eh, eh. Windows. Can I save it? Eh, eh. That's okay. I tried. I tried. It didn't work. <laughs> That's okay. I'll go back through and get it. That's definitely gonna be my screenshot. Uh, my fucking... Okay. Fucking shivers, man. Every time. And it's gone. Oh shit. Uh, goodbye, Reaper. <laughs> shit. It's kind of funny. Ah! Nope. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Get out of the way. Come on. Got him. Where are they coming from? I don't see him. Where? Oh, Jesus, hello. I gotta remember to look at my map. Oh, he's like up there. It's a good thing they know where we're looking, because I'm not. <laughs> Come on. Sometimes the cover, I forgot how weird the cover mechanic can be sometimes on this game. You gonna come out yet? Or is it the AI just being fucking weird? I think it is just the AI just being fucking weird. No, Nihilus. Shit. Uh, 
Uh, who are you? What are you doing sneaking around back there? I am sorry, I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Tao. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Other one. What the hell are you talking about? <laughs> there were two Turians here. Your friend and another one he called Saren. I think they knew each other. Uh oh. Your friend seemed to relax. He let his guard down. Uh, then what? Where'd Saren go after he killed Midas? Well, he jumped on a cargo train and headed over the Gilgan platform. Probably going after the beacon. Uh-oh. I knew that beacon was in trouble. It had gone to hell since we found it. Guess that damn mothership showed up in the attack. <laughs> Fucking mothership. <laughs> Everyone. If I had been behind the crate, they'd be dead too. Geth didn't find you? How come you're the only one who survived? Why didn't anyone else try to hide behind the crates? They never had a chance. I, I was already behind the crates when uh -huh. the attack started. Wait a minute. You were hiding behind the crates before the attack? It's called somebody was taking a nap. Sometimes I need a nap to get through my shift. I sneaked off behind the crates to grab 40 Excuse me, sorry. Survivor can't find it. You survived because you're lazy? I'm just not even going to comment on it because it's like one of those where you like you're like thankful he didn't die but still it's shitty. They must have been inside that mothership. They shot anything that moved. It was a massacre. Is there anything else you can tell me about the beacon? They brought it here this morning. They loaded it up onto the train and shipped it to the other platform. It's hard to believe that was only a few hours ago. about this mothership you saw i've never seen anything like it before it it was huge landed over near that platform the whole place got dark as it came down it was making this storm mm-hmm yeah it does born right into your frame it woke me up the attack came a few minutes later okay we need to find that beacon before it's too late Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Mm -hmm. Probably should have waited so I could explore some more, but you know. We done? We done for now. Okay, I want to explore first. So. Med gel! Uh, oh, goddammit. Wrong button. <laughs> bam, bam. Okay, so we know that way is the way. Is the way. I want to do some exploring first. Just wait till we get with the Mako. <laughs> I was one of those people that I really liked the Mako. So. Oop, shit. Walked right into the fire. My bad. <laughs> Is there anything over here? Did I look over here already? I probably already did, but you know. Nope, nothing. This is where we came from, so we're good there. Okay. So I don't think that's anything. Okay, we're good to continue on. Uh, let's do a save, though. Okay. Sorry, guys. Excuse me. I know I'm going over stuff that I... Let me save... I am. Oops, wrong button. Where? I think he's down below. Yeah. 
Got him. <laughs> Bitch. We got the power wheel. Yeah, so. Oh, wrong one. Got my sabotage, which is. Woo! Where he hits nearby enemy weapons. Burn some. Gosh dang it, I keep doing that. Sorry. Sorry, everybody. I don't even think I'm reaching him. Whoop. Oh, hi, big boy. I see you. Got him, though. <laughs> Let's proceed. Let's proceed. So I thought bitch. Nope, I shot that one already. Gosh dang. There we go. Nope, I'm not hitting anything. Hey, bro. You wanna come out? It's like, no. There he is. Oh, fuck you. Wait, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What do I got? Whoops, wrong button. Okay, go a little further. Whoop! Ooh, I leveled up. Fuck yeah! Thanks. Let's get a little closer. Got him. Got that headshot, BB. Joking. Well, I mean, it was a headshot, so it was pretty cool. Oop, is it this one? Nope, wrong button. Okay. Come on. Pop your head up. Am I going to have to get out of cover for you to do come out? Are you just going to be through? Gotcha. <laughs> I don't think there was anything else, right, that I missed. It was fun. Uh, it was a fun challenge making some short shortcuts work in the Mako. You expect my ship to drive around the mountain? No way. I know. I, I Dude, I made the Mako, like, my right hand. Like... I kick some booty in that. I know it's frustrating sometimes, but if you if you figured out with the Mako, you you were fine. So I I personally like the Mako. We'll see. We'll see. A lot could have changed from then and there because you know we've all been babied by video games, so we can't. And and I know they made a lot of changes to the Mako. I think in this, so I was kind of sad about it. So, <laughs> all right, let's do a quick save. Oh yeah, that's right. We leveled up. All right, I'm going to put this in Intimidate. Uh, we'll put a point in there. Tech mine explosion done by... S Ooh, maybe. This is shield capacity. Okay, tactical armor. Um, man, there's lots of good stuff I want to upgrade. I just want to get the charm and the intimidate up just because once that's done, I don't have to worry about it. So, oh, that's right. Uh, take all. Okay. So let's see what we got here. Uh, nothing crazy. Eh.
I mean, see, I like I like having a high accuracy rating, and none of those are good. So, uh, it's equipment, right? And then upgrades. There we go. Okay. What do I have? Uh, supposed to do, do synthetic targets. Okay. Time to shred. Uh, flesh and organic matter and toxic damage oh, I, don't, I don't know I don't know um wait 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 uh uninstall upgrade please and confirm an exit I want to go to my pistol first since that's mostly what I'm using right now all right so what do I have I have the hammerhead Flatten increasing, okay. Weapons force, and then shred. Then it's that one, right? And then the armor. I know, I kind of like this one. Oops. I'll get used to this, I promise. Okay. Reduces kickback to improve accuracy, okay. And then absorbs and da 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 da, heat absorption. Uh, be gone, you ads. Be gone, sorry, Kodiak. I know, I apologize for the ads. Thank you so much for the subscri is it subscription, though. I appreciate it greatly. Sorry about the ads. <laughs> uh, okay, heat absorption. Wait, wait, wait. I, I like this one better. Yeah, I like that one better on that one. Okay, there we go. All right. Sniper rifle I'm not using yet. I do use grenades, but I haven't really used any. Nope, we're not, we don't even have any, so never mind. Omni tool. I don't think I can upgrade anything. Uh, let's see if there's. Nope, nothing for the armor. Okay. Caden. Oh. Damn it. Whoa, wait. Oh, cool. So they've got like actual. Info. Al 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 Alanis began as a privately owned Turian security firm. It has expanded into an illustrator conglomerate after opening itself up to form an investment. Their affordable yet reliable body tools and weapons and armors are popular with security personnel and mercenaries. Huh? Banshee is a common battle rifle from Alanis Risk Control. It features a high rate of fire, fires in three round bursts, and has average accuracy. Interesting. Who knew? Who knew they have that stuff? Details. That's the R1. Duh. Okay. Um. All right. Let's go to. No, it looks like yours is better. And yours is better. Okay, so I'm not gonna worry too much. Uh, upgrades. Okay, and so those are just the same. So might as well. Okay. Uh, shotgun. I don't even think I can use these right now, but you know. Okay. Okay. I think we're good for now. Wait, it's not. It's, it's, ooh, wait, 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 wait. Where was that? Equipment? That was on armor. Can I? Oh, I don't have any upgrades. Okay. Thought for a minute there I had upgrades for it. Okay. Uh, adrenaline recharges all talent. So they, ooh, she's got that cool. Okay. She's just not putting any points in pistols. She's like, fuck pistols. Uh, and then adds a biotic barrier to your shield and cannot block attacks that bypass shields. Huh, cool. I know things bother me if they're like, um, what do you call it? Blinking at me? I have to fix it. Obsessively. Let's go. Hi, Saren. Accept the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we are here. Stay away from my beacon, Saren. I didn't realize how, how tech he was, like how infiltrated with tech he was, but it makes so much sense. Oh, I forgot he does do that, doesn't he?
Man, I miss this music. Hey, we're here to save the day. Sorry. <clears throat> I got a little cr cracky there. Don't worry about a miss. Uh, real quick. I can't save, so we're screwed. Let's go. Oh, good. It's saved. Thank you. Demolition charges. The yep. Hurry. We need to find them all and shut them down. I get it. I get it. I get it. Boop. Okay. And I think that brings up your time, right? Uh, thanks for your contribution, Ash, right? I know, right? I need to get a little closer. Anyway, okay, so it's just all... Blah! Get, get off there. Got him. Eh, eh. The fucking gliding, man. <laughs> I love it. Hey, bros. Okay, I'm gonna go get this one real quick. You guys keep shooting, guys. Thank you. Oh, that was cool. I'll take it. <laughs> I don't know. I just never liked Ashley. I don't know. Ma ma I ooh, hello. Whoop. Got him. Oh, fuck you. Yes, I know. I suck at shooting. I know, I know, I know. Thank you. Jesus Christ. Okay. Yes, I want to wait for my shields to... Oh, we're damned. Damn it. Okay. Oh, hey. Let me get this one real quick. I don't know why I'm taking cover on it, but we're going to go with it. Thanks. Excuse me. Are they like right there? I can't tell. We're jammed. The jamming. Get tick. Whoop. Nope. Not today, sir. Um. Yeah. I thought I did. I not use it. Okay, I did. Woo! Fuck off. Got him. Okay. Nobody. Check your six. Sorry. I'm so terrible. Hey, bro. I am just right in the midst of it. There we go. That was dumb on my part. Okay, you guys got him because I sucked. <laughs> All right, you guys got got that. Let me get this guy real quick. Boop. Hello! I completely turned my back on Ashley the minute she expressed doubts about having aliens as part of the Normandy crew. And hello, everyone. Hello, Alien Potter. How you doing? Alright, uh, now that we have a minute to breathe... Oh, gosh, I keep hitting the wrong button. I keep thinking I'm on an Xbox controller. Is this where we're going? This is where we're going. Back up, back up, back up. Sorry. My phone is making a sound. Hold on. Flap. Turn it on silent. Okay. All right, let's go explore some boxes. Find some boxes. Nothing there. Do some backup. Doing all right. Here to watch a cool, relaxing stream. I hope it is so. I hope it is so. I hope I am relaxing and somewhat entertaining to watch. Okay, we got that one. Yeah, I never, I never realized how how tech, like almost death like that Saren is, and or uh, how cybernetic. That's the word I was looking for. I should know. Who are you shooting at? Who are you shooting at? Is there guys down there? Okay, and this is where we came from. I'm just making sure we didn't miss anything. In the panic of trying to get all the bombs. <clears throat> Nope. 
nothing. And this is, yeah, no, this is just was another way. There's nothing down here, right? I mean, we'll check. Do, uh, yeah, I didn't remember that about him either. Yeah, no, I, I, I completely forgot about that. And I was like, oh, shit, I didn't realize that. I don't think I even noticed that the first time. I mean, like, the first time you're playing this game, it's all about, okay, this is where we came from. I got it, I got it. Sorry, getting lost. Um, is you're just kind of overwhelmed by the sheer number of, like, new species, you, you know, aliens. You're, you're, you're surprised by aliens. Yeah, he's, he's like a super enhanced terrain. Yeah, he is. Okay, so I think it's this way. All right, I think we got everything. There's not too much. Oh, there's... Can we can we shoot him on there? You know what? I won't actually want to... I don't think I can use it. Can I use this? Do I have the... The ability to? Or is it... Oh, you know it is. I just have... Uh, pistols and... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right, because I'm an infiltra infiltrator. I don't have sniper full proficiency yet, so I'm stuck with my pistol. Let's go. Hey, bros. Mm. Let's go. Got him. I know these guys are, like, coming right up on us. These geth. to back up a little bit yeah because he's about to do go crazy <laughs> he's fucking i always forget how goofy the fucking cuss are with their ai fucking okay wait 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 wait. first before we go up to the beacon i want to go this way see if there's anything cool Aha! Technician kit. Uh, God, I keep... I even knew, as soon as I hit it, I was like, that's the wrong fucking button. God damn it. Alright. I miss playing some Mass Effect. Nope, don't walk into the fire, dum-dum. Okay. Uh, yes, okay, now that I know how to do this. Boop, 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 boop. Thank you. Uh, take all. There we go. Doop, 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 doop. I'll come back for you, Beacon, I promise. I know that's going to set off a cutscene, so. I just want to grab everything first. Being the goblin gamer that I am, I would like to grab everything first. Like this. Boop. Woohoo. Oh, yeah. Take all. Thank you. I didn't, like, when I was creating my stream schedule for this next, like, you know, probably six months or so. Mm. I really didn't realize how Bioware heavy I was going to be. I mean, that's not a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. But I didn't realize how Bioware heavy I was going to be. Uh, all right. Ooh. Yes, take all. Thank you. Um, let's see. Upgrades on that. So what we got? We have armor plating two. So, and that's the same thing. So add that real quick because might as well. And then... We don't use that. We don't use the shotgun, which is sad, but that's okay. That's what I chose. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. And we got nothing. Okay. I like that one still. Okay. Sniper rifle. I don't think I have anything for. Nope. Confirm an exit. Nope. Nope. Okay. We got nothing, I think. Well, let's see. Let's see if we got any. Nope. <laughs> Never mind. Have to reach my eye. I have to remember. I'm wearing makeup. Yeah, there's that eye gunk. I was waiting for it. All right. Oh, gosh dang it. 
Nothing crazy for that. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, so I think we're good on weapons. Uh, I will get the controls down, I promise. Uh, she uses assault rifle. Oop, and... Stop it, stop it, stop it. Uh, nothing. And I think shotgun. She uses shotgun, doesn't she? I don't remember. Oh well. 1463. Oof. Yucky. Yucky for her. Alright, Kaden. What do we got? Nothing for you. I don't, I don't think there's going to be much on here on the the beginning planet anyway basically mm -mm. okay nothing crazy just want to make sure while we're doing it let's do a save I haven't done one in a minute so yeah I'm terrible saves gun if you get, if you haven't figured that out already sorry Okay, so I think we've pretty much explored everything. We got all of our blah, 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 all of our loot stuff. That's the word I was looking for. All right, let's do this. Oh, no. Kaden, Kaden, dumbass, get away from it. Kaden. Roger Normandy, standing by. Kaden. Don't be a dumb shit. Oh. No. No, no, no. No, no, no. Get him. Get him, girl. Get him. Push him out of the way. Go. Oof, she's in so much trouble. <laughs> I forgot about this. That's like the first thought that would race through my head. Oh shit, the bacon just broke. We're in such trouble. Oh no. <laughs> ah, shit. <laughs> Yay, distinguished service medal. Oh, look at that puppy. Bye, bro. Whoa, 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 I know that voice actress. Hold on, hold on. That is, hold on. I got to hear it again. I got to hear it again. Hold on. It is. It's Lieutenant Lo uh, Ahura from Star Trek. Sorry. Close. I know. Doctor? Doctor Chalkins. I think she's waking up. Hey, that was fucking hangover. Dina Troy, that's who I meant. That's that's exactly who I meant. That's exactly who I meant. I just didn't get the name right. Thank you. Thank you. That's her name. Who's a whore? Uh, oh, Lieutenant Ahora is from the original Star Trek. She is the african-american lady yes i was talking about next gen uh dino troy i was talking she's the uh ship psychologist right yes yes thank you thank you that's who i meant i i promise i'm not i'm not I'm bullshitting i just didn't remember her name it just came out my brain connected with lahora and i was just like nope that's not it and, well anyway uh how am i feeling not great
About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security at the enclosure. Get a push me out of the way. Uh, what about the beacon? The beacon now. What happened to it? The beacon exploded. The system overloaded. And the black dots were cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Uh, thanks. Oh shit, that's not... Do we want to go full off the deep end? I don't know. I don't know. Not a dream, a vision. More like a nightmare. I'm going to go with this one. weird hearing stuff because this is the first time I'm playing with headphones on. Oh, hey. Hey, what's up? How's our echo holding up? All the readings at normal. I thought command is going to be fine. Yay. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to see something. Info. Yeah, they're pissed. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard tonight. Are you sure you're okay? Mmm. I do feel bad about Jenkins. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job. Uh, uh, what happened to Williams? Maybe Gunnery Chief Williams back on Eden Farm. I figured we could use a soldier. He's been reassigned to the Normandy. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> okay, I really don't like Ashley, so you know what? We're we're gonna say it. We're gonna say it because fuck it. Mwah. Too bad it came off as like a temper tantrum. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm pissed off about the guy. Alright. You want to talk? I keep forgetting. I don't need to say what I'm choosing. Uh, we've got nothing to hide. Yeah. But here the council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report card. You're a damned hero, my book. I love that sentence. You're a damned hero, my book. A cabal hero. Saren's a scum. And a thug. A living legend. But if he's with you at the gate, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter is tough. Saren's dangerous. He's speciest. You know, like when you wear headphones and like if you've got longer hair, it just like lays the wrong way. You can feel it and it starts to hurt. Yeah. Okay. We're just doing full hair, but you know, gotta fix it slightly. I don't like being vain, but I'm gonna fix it a little bit. Okay. Okay. Um, hates humans. Why? Yeah, why? He thinks we're growing too fast, taking over the valley. Um, yeah. At least we're we're not the Krogans. You were there just before that beacon self destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Uh. Okay, so there's. I'll tell. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of vision. A vision. A vision of what? It's, uh, it's not a warning. War or our death is a good choice. Ooh, that was glitchy. I saw that. Mm. 
Uh, I'm gonna go with war. What will we say? What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? Exactly. We don't know what information is stored in here. Lost protein technology, blueprints of some ancient weapon of mass destruction, whatever. Sarah told me. But I know Sarah. I know his reputation in politics. He believes humans are a blight on the government. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the blueprints. He has an army of death at his command. He won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. Hmm. I'll stop him. Not if I can help it. Uh, you're right. I'll find somewhere I'm not. I'm not the type to be like. I'll take him on. Sorry. That's why we need the council on our side. Uh, we can expose him. Yeah, 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 yeah. I haven't seen the Citadel in so long. Ah, I'm so excited. I, I like. Oh my God! I just remember. Hey, Doctor Chakwas, I'm just gonna explore your area real quick and just, you know. Oh God, I miss this game so much. I'm having like little fangirling over here for good fucking reason. This game is brilliant. Sorry. <laughs> Well, is it like, because I recently just finished Dragon Age for the first time. Uh, you can watch my Inquisition. Shut up, Kaden. Um, I just finished my first Dragon Age playthrough. Um, my Dragon Age Inquisition blind playthrough is actually on my YouTube. Um, and uh, I just, it was so good. And I just remember saying that because dragon age is very much like more the adult like of course i don't want children playing mass effect because there's a lot of like themes in it as well but it feels like the more introductory into it because it deals with a lot of stuff and you're dealing with a lot of like issues but dragon age is so much more i think it's mass effect has good choice neutral choice bad choice right and that affects your outcome in the game, right? Whereas with Dragon Age, um, it's shit choice, shittier choice. Sh I'm sorry, shit choice, shit choice. Which one do you think is the less shittier choice? So, but it's so good to play this game again. Like I said, I'm going to play um, with, uh, whatchamacallit, I'm going to make the decisions that I, I would have made. And we're going to go from there, see how it goes. So, all right, Citadel and Galactic Government. Although the Citadel is equipped with mass effect generating element zero cores, most of the gravity on the station is generated by the centrifugal force of rotation. Rotation is 3.5 minutes per revolution. Rotational gravity in wards is 1.02 Earth. Rotational gravity in Presidium, 0.3 Earth. Total length open, 44.7 kilometers. Diameter open is 12.8 kilometers. Ward length is 43.6 kilometers. Ward width, 330 meters. Uh, presidium ring diameter, 7.2 kilometers. Presidium ring width, 553 meters. Exterior armor thickness, 13 meters population 13.2 million not including keepers gross weight 7.11 billion metric tons height of the presidium tower 1047 meters woo whereas like you know mass effect has sheer like technological facts on its side like you're not seeing those kind of statistics in dragon age but you know Council affairs often have far-reaching effects on the rest of the galactic community. 
Five arms known as the wards extend from the Presidium. Their inner surfaces have been built into cities, populated by millions of inhabitants from across the galaxy. The Citadel is virtually indestructible. If attacked, the station can close its arms to form a solid, impregnable shell. <laughs> the station has existed. An enigmatic race called the Keepers has maintained it. Uh, I remember being in total awe the first time I brought my shepherd to the cell. I think everybody was, because it was just like, holy shit, who thinks of this shit? I certainly didn't. <laughs> Alright, so we were just in Dr. Shockwoods, which is there. Hey, girl. Yes, Commander. Is there something you need? Yes, Doctor. Ooh, personal questions. I'm new in the Turban Animal Monument ship. I enlisted right out of med school. Bertha will seem boring to you, too safe, and too secure. I figured the colonies would tame them. No big deal. No big deal, alien. <laughs> oh, man, I forgot. I have to sneeze. Sweet Jesus. Okay, sorry. If I drooled everywhere on camera, I apologize. It was it was a good sneeze. All right. Yeah, like I forgot. Like Doctor Chalk was like I, I love like I I didn't remember this. I love that she's she she was like yeah I romanticized the government the military so much. Then when I got in, it wasn't at all what I thought it was. Oh, I love her so much. Oh, lovely. Guilt. I think we asked that. Okay. What do you know about Captain Anderson? I've served with him for a few tours now. He knows when to let things slide and when to crack the whip. That's true. He really does. He lets us get away with lots of shit. Oh, gosh, I gotta blow my nose again. Sorry, guys. Where I'm living, and we keep going through warm, cold, warm, cold, warm, cold. It just depends on the day. Like what? I don't even know what temperature is it right now. Eh, it's warming up. We're at 43 degrees Fahrenheit, so that would be about what? Around 13 degrees, probably less than that. Celsius, something right around there. If you use Celsius, uh, Caden. I don't know. But he has an impressive service record. Over a dozen special commendations. Tends to keep to himself though. Maybe because of a head injury. It's not easy being an L2. Uh, I forgot he is an L2, isn't he? I, I forgot that there was an L2. Is he was he has the, the old implants of being a biotic, right? That's what that was, right? That's what it is. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hi, Scars. How you doing? Welcome. Severe mental disabilities, insanity, crippling physical pain. Fucking. I don't know if I'm going to romance Caden again. I don't know if I want to re repeat the awful, the awfulness of Mass Effect 3 because I might just wait for Mass Effect 2 to... Uh, romance my husband. We'll see. We'll see. Because I don't think I romanced anybody in three either. That would be six degrees Celsius. Okay, so I was right about there. Still better than what we have here at the moment. Well, we're probably going to snow. I think we have... I think we have like six inches of snow. Six inches would be... I don't know how many... That is the meters. It's like uh, of snow coming 
later on in the week. So that's why I'm saying it's going up and down, up and down. Well, at least my calculation was kind of okay on my Celsius to Fahrenheit. I had to think. I was like, I was like, what's 32 to blah, 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 blah. All right, Ashley. I'm glad you're okay, Commander. If we could use some good news after what happened to Jenkins. Yeah, he will be missed. We're at 37 Fahrenheit at the moment. So not so much of a difference, actually. Yeah, feel, feels about right. Just a little bit above freezing. Soldiers die. Um, I don't think she earned it. I'm not even. You know what? Fuck you, Ashley. Number comes up, it's over. His bid. I don't think it's as simple. Oh Jesus! Oh my God! I forgot how much I hate this bitch. Okay, sorry. Ah, okay. How are you holding up? I don't know why I assign all my hate for for I know that sucks Ashley I'm sorry uh, I forgot how like I always have a tendency to like if I don't like somebody I'll assign all my hate onto that person because it's probably I think that's about the only person I don't like except for the reporter uh, uh, doing okay. You tried to be a sociopath about Jenkins, and you wonder why Ashley questioned you. Smiley face. Oh, scars. Why are you guilting me? Come on. But things would have been a lot worse if you hadn't shown. Um, here. Let me blame myself. Will that make you feel better, scars? Just, just. Dead Marines and dead colonists. In the end, we still didn't get that beacon. A fucking. Thanks. It might be hard to keep that perspective with what happened to Jenkins. Uh, Street. Um. Do we want to be broody? Nah. Thanks, Lenny. I need it. Let's not be broody. I should go. Ooh, I got some renegade points from that one. I, I figured. I figured it was. I was taking a chance on that response, so. Oh, I forgot I have a locker. Boop. Thanks. I'll take that. Ooh. All right, there's Caden. Let's talk to you, big boy. What's up? Commander, I'm glad to see you're okay. Losing Jenkins was hard and brutal. I'm glad we didn't lose him this way. See, I remember playing this the first time, and I actually... You want to know who I really wanted to romance? And it's, it's a fucking Dragon Age situation with a dwarf, right? It's a... It's... The, the person I was in love with was fucking Rex. I, I love Rex. I'm going to be so excited when we get him added to our crew. And he's who I wanted to romance. But no. So I kind of settled for second best with Caden. So it was one of those things. I'm not sure if I'll romance Caden. He kind of like, by the end of the first game, I remember he warmed up to me. And I, I, I did like him. But... I don't know. He kind of feels vanilla, I guess that, that would be like. He's like the stereotypical military boy, I guess. Hmm. All right. Yeah. Yeah. How are you holding up? I prodded you. No, I, I get it, Scars. I, I'm, I'm not easily insulted like that. But honestly, it's more realistic that you make a determination and hold on to it. Leaders need empathy. But they also have to make decisions. That means someone do that means someone doesn't get their way. Yeah, for sure. For sure. I just, like, you know, the funny thing about Ashley is she's just not memorable. So when they brought her back in three, I was like, out of all the characters from one, you're bringing Ashley back? why <laughs> i just felt like she was and like i get it she's like she's like for a male shep for a, for a male straight shep it's like the caden and caden is is that it's just like it's like the 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 human partner kind of thing and it's just kind of like me uh so 
sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. I'm I'm romance with Caden the first time in M M E one. They in the second one and went back to Caden in the third game. You know, Alien Fodder that's really similar to mine is Thane is my husband. We I I might be waiting just to romance him and and two we'll see like everybody like talks about the garris romance and i've never been into garris but we'll see it, that could change this this playthrough i don't know i am a different person from what i was like 10 15 years ago so we'll see but thane is my husband okay 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 because whoo thane anyway um but i i don't think i i don't remember if i romanced anybody I remember the awkward scene in the hospital if you dated Kane and you dated Thane and they were right fucking next to each other. That gave me the worst anxiety, I think, of my life at that point in time. Well, not not the worst, but in a video game that I was like, this is happening because I've never had that kind of romantic drama in my life. Not that you guys need to know that, but like I've never had like two people I've dated in the same room at the same time where I was just like, what do I do? I don't even know. <laughs> It was great. It was funny. Anyway, it's like it's like it's like that nightmare where you like like you're like all the people you've dated in your entire life are in the same room. What do you do? And you go, I don't know. <laughs> Bioware was like, hmm, we should put that in a video game. <laughs> I'm gonna do a uh, Garrus romance playthrough this time. I can't wait for Emmy too. Heck yeah, heck yeah. I don't know because like Garrus, I always felt like friendly, friendly with him. Yeah, that was so totally awkward. Yeah, it was. It was so bad. I just remember being like, my roommate at the time, uh, who's also my best friend, I was like freaking out. And she's like, are you okay? And I was like, no, I'm not okay. <laughs> it, was, it was great. It was great. I have so many memories attached to this, these games. Anyway, sorry, let's continue. I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, uh, yeah, the mission failed. I'm going to say the same thing I said to Ashley. Uh, Jenkins will be missed. I'm going to say that. Bad luck. God, I miss this music. These are the next levels I hope games work towards. Simple faction affinities are not new and overused. Challenge the player to make manage deeper relationship with fully realized characters. No, that that's exactly that's why I like Dragon Age so much. It's like it's like my adult game that I'm just like they're they're like <clears throat> I said before. <clears throat> excuse me. They present you with a bad choice and another bad choice, and they're like, which one do you think is the least bad choice? <clears throat> but going through D Thane's death scene broke my heart into a million low pieces and then there was his funeral and the video he made for Femme Shep and Mammy Theory oh god I didn't have any tears oh I hear you I think my roommate had gone to bed and I was working night shift at the time so I was up pretty late and I had just gotten to the end of Mass Effect 3 where you're saying goodbye to everybody <clears throat> excuse me and Oh my gosh, I think I, I was just a blubbery mess for like three hours. And I was just like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> who knows? Probably when I, we get to that point in this playthrough, I'll be the same way. So I won't be wearing makeup that stream for sure. I'll just be like, eh. um, so it'll probably use it to lever more concessions out of the alliance. Um, <clears throat> gosh, I have some water. <laughs> so is that why you're here? Because of your family? A minute for the action. Um LL oh, well, same here. Yeah, for yeah. I was I just remember just being a bloody mess for most of Mass Effect three. And oh god, Mass Effect two. I think I blacked out some of it, so <sighs> Yeah. I, I remember crying in Mass Effect 2 when Thane tells you. Yeah, it's just, anyway, sorry. <clears throat> uh, eventually, but... Um, I barely know this guy. But we did just go through a lot of action together. 
Um, we'll say something somewhere. Yeah. He shared with me. I'll share with him. Now I'm curious if Emmy would elicit a reaction from me. I thought for the longest time games were unable to reach me anymore because nine out of every ten games lack that dimension. And then Hellblade happened. I haven't played Hellblade, but I think the reason why Mass Effect is so emotion worthy because you are making all these decisions. What I will say, the difference between like Dragon Age and Mass Effect is like Dragon Age, like it has a lot of aftershocks, and then you feel the the the, the consequences for those aftershocks, right? In Dragon Age, whereas Mass Effect, every decision you see the immediate impact of those decisions. And, and just going through and playing all three games and like, especially Mass Effect 3, they reach all the way back to your Mass Effect 1 playthrough and they go, this is the results of this decision that you made and it's obvious. And so you can really screw things up by, yeah, the lack of foresight, basically. And I think that's why... Mass Effect just has, there's more concentration, I guess I would say, on the characters and the empathy that you have for the characters, where in Dragon Age, you're like, that's a person, and there is a lot of character depth in Dragon Age, but not to the same degree. I, 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 I That's kind of what I'm saying. I, I can't figure out how to word it correctly, so I apologize, Scars, if I'm not getting my point across to you. I guess just... It's more like Dragon Age, you're feeling the aftershocks of, of these massive ripples of decisions that you're making. However, and I think it also has to do with you're playing the same character in Mass Effect through one, two, and three. And so you're never far away from the impact of similar decisions that you make, if that makes any sense. Whereas with Dragon Age, you're playing a different protagonist every game. So you're kind of separated from those decisions that your previous character made and those those relationships that your previous character made. Whereas in Mass Effect, you're the same person. You have the same relationships throughout all three games for the most part. If that makes any sense. I think that's what I was trying to say. <laughs> I suck at explaining things. Never count on me for a debate ever, ever. I can't do it. Uh... Should we say, Anderson did tell me it was like a secret. Um, can't say we want to break the, I don't know. Fuck it, let's be honest. I'm doing great, thank you. Appreciate it. You could be wordy as shit and still not make any sense. Uh, oh, thank you so much for the follow, Alien. I appreciate it. Ooh, I got another Renegade point. I'm so excited. Not even meaning to have an Alien, uh, Alien, uh, Renegade point. Okay, so I think we talked to everybody on this side. Ooh, wait, hello. Oh, these are the sleepers, right? Yeah. Freezy sleepers. You're welcome. What was that? Oh. That was chocolate. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry, I gotta get down. Wow. My fucking voice, man. Oh, look at his office. I can't wait for our office. Okay. And I can't wait to start decorating our office, if you get what I mean. Boop, boop. Well, we're gonna explore the rest of the ship first, Mr. Anderson. Captain Anderson. I'm sorry. That was disrespectful of me to not use your title. Whoop, that's the elevator. Um, I and it does go up, right? Oh my god. <gasps> Do they still have the elevator scenes? <gasps> oh my god, are we gonna listen to elevator music? <sighs> Can I go somewhere? Where's this? Boop. I have no idea where I'm going. I think this is below to where the Mako is, right? 
It makes sense Mass Effect has serialized the experience and the choices of the character. That's exceptional. Even for games that have multiple sequels, you ha have no lasting affinity to Master Chief and Hale. Yeah, for sure. It's just another, oh, snickerdoodles. The aliens are being bad and I got to shoot up a bunch of them to make it stop. Yeah. Whereas like... And I know people talk about the, oh, in the Normandy vehicle bay, using a squad member's locker allows you to assign equipment to them. New equipment may be purchased from the requisition officer. Who is this? Okay, so this is Cadence. Okay, that makes sense. And this is Ashley's, right? I didn't know that. Did I not know that? I think I knew that the first time around. I think that was a thing the first time around. I just don't remember. Ooh. Excuse me, sorry, that was Eon. Because, yeah, I, I love Dragon Age and I love, like, the dark decisions that you're making and everything like that. However, hold on, I got a cough. Um, however, just Mass Effect just has... It has the pure story of placing yourself in the middle of like a space opera and you're, li Oops, sorry, I popped my mic, sorry. Um, and you're living through your space opera experience kind of thing. Whereas Dragon Age is like, oh, I'm influencing the world for sure. Ooh, I got the codex for it. And then you are the things I buy from. For some extra supplies before you head out? Heck yeah. True. Uh, Assassin's Creed flirted with this in a disconnected way with Ezio. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. By the time you get to AC Revelations, you feel like you've lived through significant parts of Ezio's life with him, being his age. I sorely really wish, yeah, it was stuck to that. Yeah, for sure. I, yeah, we've had our Assassin's Creed conversations. That's why I felt like Odyssey, which I just finished my playthrough of, and it's all on YouTube if anybody wants to watch it. Sorry for the plug. Uh, is that felt so much because I felt like we were living through Cassandra so so much, and that's why I loved her so much as a character because I was able to embody her a little bit, and I actually got to know her kind of thing. Whereas Dragon Age does that as well, but for the period of the game. And then you move on to a different character uh, with the next game. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's a great bunch of games. But I think that's the most significant difference from Mass Effect to Dragon Age. Nothing wrong with it. They're both be beautiful, brilliant games in their own ways. Pay you. Fine. What my nose is just running today. Better go catch it. <laughs> oh, cool. Okay, so I'll have to buy licenses. I remember this slightly. Fucking nose, man. Woo! Sorry. Oh, I already. Gosh dang. Weather alert. Ugh. That's sucky. I just got a snow warning. Yeah, let's see what you got. I love snow, though. So I'm like, yes, snow. We're not going to buy anything right now. I don't have any money in which to buy anything anyway. Ooh. How much is that? I might do that one. Ooh, yeah, we're gonna, yeah, we're going to buy those really quick. And the grenade upgrade because that's fucking worth it to carry some more grenades. I can't really buy anything else, but you know, it looks cool. All right. 
I think that's it about in the garage, right? Okay, that's the elevator. These are the crew quarters, I believe, right? Oh, yeah, it's the Element Zero Core. Oh, I fucking forgot. It's so fucking cool. Look at this shit. Bro, don't be side-eyeing me. I see you. I see you. Work. Thank you. Yeah, you can watch that forever. Anyway, sorry. Mm. Examine. We'll go over the codexes here in a second. Field integrity monitor. That's another codex. Oh, I forgot that is Engineer Adams. He's a grumpy Gus, if I remember correctly. Let's see if I'm right. I know. I feel the same way. We all miss Jenkins. Oh, and the green is is the requisitions officer. Okay. Oh, is that something? Nope. I'm just crazy. Cool. <gasps> look at the Mako, by the way. I didn't even comment on it. I was like, look at the, look at this Mako. Anyway, sorry. Okay, I'm getting. Just, I'm just. I am in lost memories and rediscovering memories highway, where I'm just like, ah. Oh good times with this game oh this way <clears throat> all right now if i believe okay i'm already lost oh uh let's do the codexes real quick since we we had a bunch of them ah humanity and system alliance all right the alliance military vocational code system classifies the career path of all serving personnel. The MVC consists of one letter and one number. The soldier, a soldier's MVC indicates proficiency, not rank. The letter notes career path. The number indicates the level of experience as indicated by service record technician, technical, wow, by service record, technical score, scores and commendations. All 26 letters are used and numbers run from one to seven. N is the special... N is the letter code for special forces personnel. So N7. Interesting. I, you know what? I never, I don't think I read that. Well, I didn't remember that. Fuck you. There we go. All right. Uh, biotic amps. Biotics manipulate mass effect fields using dozens of element zero nodules within their nervous systems that react to electric stimuli from the brain. Amplifiers allow biotics to synchronize the nodules so they can use so they can form fields large and strong enough for practical use. Amplifiers can improve a specific discipline or talent. An implant is a surgically embedded interface port into which amps are plugged in. On humans, the implant is usually placed at the base of the skull for convenient access, though the user must be careful to keep it free of contaminants. The implant ports can fit a variety of amps, and there is a growing market for modification and add-ons. Excuse me. The finest quality implants and amps are manufactured by Asari Artisans, but the Alliance's L3 implants, first deployed in 2170, are a significant step forward. Uh, uh, let's see. I became so attached to SEO for the longest time, I couldn't bring myself to watch the short anime. Yeah, I did about his death. Yeah, for sure. Oh, I missed something. This one. Oh, and sh Ooh, okay. Miko. Targeted 155 millimeter mass accelerator and coaxially mounted machine gun, the Mako can provide a fire team with weapons support as well as mobility. Since Alliance Marines may be required to fight on any world, the Mako is environmentally sealed and equipped with micro thrusters for use on low gravity planetoids. The Mako is powered by a sealed hydrogen oxygen fuel cell and includes a small element zero core. While not large enough to nullify the vehicle's mass, the core can reduce it enough to be safely airdropped. When used in conjunction with thrusters, it also allows the Mako to extricate itself from difficult terrain. Oh yeah, we're gonna have some fun. Sorry. <laughs> Biotics okay. is the ability of rare individuals to manipulate dark energy and create mass effect fields through the use of electrical impulses from the brain. 
Intense training. Oh, hi. Hi, sweet haven. Amplifiers are necessary for a biotic to produce mass effect fields powerful enough for practical use. The relative strength of biotic abilities varies greatly among species and with each individual. There are three branches of biotics. Telekinesis uses mass lowering fields to levitate or impel objects. Mass raising kinetic fields are used to block or pin objects. Spatial distortion uses rapidly shifting mass fields to shred objects. Most organic species are capable of developing biotic abilities, though there are risks involved. Biotics are the result of an in utero exposure to element zero. This usually causes fatal cancers in the victim, but in rare cases, it coalesces into nodules within the fetus's developing nervous system. All right, element zero. When subjected to an electrical current, the rare material dubbed element zero, or EZO, emits a dark energy field that raises or lowers the mass of all objects within it. This mass effect... Oh, he said it. We can go home. ...from generating artificial gravity to manufacturing high-strength construction materials. It is most prominently used to enable faster-than-light space travel. EZO is generated Ooh. when solid matter, such as a planet, is affected by the energy of a star going supernova. The material is common in the asteroid debris that orbits neutron stars and pulsars. These are dangerous places to mine, requiring extensive use of robotics, telepresence, and shielding. Or in Mass Effect 2, which is a probe. <laughs> Only a few major corporations can afford the setup costs required to work these primary sources. Humanity discovered refined element zero at the Prothean Research Station on Mars, allowing them to create Mass Effect fields and develop FTL travel. Uh, I am now past the part of where you are, I believe, in Mass Effect. So if you don't want spoilers, element Sweet Haven. Can increase or decrease the mass of a volume of space-time when subjected to an electrical current. With a positive current, Mass is increased. With a negative current, mass is decreased. The stronger the current, the greater the magnitude of the dark energy mass effect. I'm sorry. <laughs> Low mass fields allow FTL travel and inexpensive surface to orbit transit. So I don't think you've gotten to the Citadel, right? Gravity and push space debris away from vessels. In manufacturing, low mass fields permit the creation of evenly blended alloys, while high mass compaction creates dense sturdy construction materials the military makes extensive use did you think you have okay then you're okay for now i'm i'm just about to get to the citadel vehicles standard frontline issue in most military forces mass effect fields are also essential in the creation of kinetic barriers or shields to protect against enemy fire almost done last one Only tools are handheld devices that combine a computer microframe sensor analysis pack and manufacturing fabricator. Versatile and reliable, an Omni tool can be used to analyze and adjust the functionality of most standard equipment, including weapons and armor, from a distance. The fabrication module can rapidly assemble small three-dimensional objects from common reusable industrial plastics, ceramics, and light alloys. Mm -hmm. This allows for field repairs and modifications to most standard items, as well as the reuse of salvaged equipment. Omni tools are standard issue for soldiers and first in colonists. All right. Woo. All right, let's save after all that. That was just a lot of primary codexes. Okay, so I think we've explored everything that we can. Um, let's go say hi to Joker. All right, Joker. Hello. Hello, sir. Oh, thank you for the salute. I appreciate it. That's very nice of you. Uh, Presley, what's up? Thanks. I know. I know, I know. Hello, sir. Ooh. I forgot. Yeah, this is the council room. This is where I tell the council to fuck off. Oh, we got, we got a codex, though. <clears throat> I'll wait till we get a couple. Before we go back in and listen to some more codex. Codesi. Oh, fuck yeah. You remember this? I remember this. Fuck yeah. Only the commanding officer may specify a destination for the Normandy. 
Soon. Soon. Is this down? Yeah, this is down. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> wouldn't, wouldn't, wouldn't be one of my playthroughs without me getting fucking lost immediately. Oh, got another codex. Can't talk to anybody. I think it's just going up to see Joker now. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do this. Hello, Seth Green. Let's watch. So cool. Boom. Look at that ship. Look at that beautiful ship. Ooh. Ooh, I got shivers. Stop it. Stop it, game. That's fucking Anderson. Yeah. An <sighs> so cool. So cool. Heck yeah. Broop through the shield. Ah, so good. Sorry. Boing. Ah, look at that shit. Sorry. Oh, Dina. I can't help it. It's my trauma. It's my trauma, alien. Ooh, I'd be pissy too. Captain Anderson, I see you've brought half your crew with you. Just the ground team from Eden Prime. In case you have any questions. I have forgot how much of a dick this guy is. Uh, even after all this time, the game still gets to us. Yeah, I think we're all in the same boat here. Oh, I'm so cute. Thanks. Uh, I can't wait to shoot. <laughs> the oh, shit. Uh, they were not happy about it. Uh, it's the truth. Seren's a threat to every human colony out there. If they don't stop him, I will. Settle down, Commander. You've already done more than enough to jeopardize your candidacy for the Spectres. The mission on Eden Prime was a chance to prove you could get the job done. Instead, Nihilus ended up dead and the beacon was destroyed. I know it sounds like a shitstorm. Then we better hope the CSEC investigation turns up evidence to support our accusations. Otherwise, the council might use this as an excuse to keep you out of the Spectres. Come with me, Captain. I want to go over a few things before the hearing. Shepard! You and the others can meet us at the Citadel Tower, top level. I'll make sure you have clearance to get in. And that's why I hate politicians. We all hate politicians. I think politicians even hate politicians. So, thank you. All right. Am I still dropping some frames? Not too bad. Not too bad. All right, just make sure. Okay. No, I haven't been on the Citadel in years. Oh, I can, I can, I can hack this. Okay. Yeah. 
Uh, Alliance Patrol report. <clears throat> Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Row cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, <clears throat> but that was recalled before her team could investigate. But was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? Oh, got a mission. Heck yeah. Look at this fucking view. Look at this. Look at this shit. I think we're 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 on the citadel, so we're on the inner ring, right? Yes. Yes. I had to think there. What? Ashley, stop being a racist bitch. <laughs> Specious bitch. Yeah, it's really cool looking. Ashley, being an ignorant, ignorant human, we had to have one, I guess. All right, where are we going? Ooh. We're supposed to go that way, so let's go see. Can we go this way? Yeah, we can. What's in here? Oh! I miss these guys so much. Thanks. I am Ambassador Aeon, genuine query. Hmm? Is there something I can do for you this day? Yeah. Why do you explain what you're about to say? Our people communicate less through words and more through sentence like movement. Plainly, we discovered our vocal expression was not enough to convey the feelings of our Because we depend on tone 99% of the time. Don't assume. Don't assume. And if you do, I am very sorry for you. <laughs> oh, core. Tell me more about your species. Please. Genuine enthusiasm. Heck yeah. I delight in telling the history of my people. It is agreeable to share our culture with others. The elkers are just so adorable and lovable, I know. Uh history, please. Tell me about the history and origins of the Elkor. Whoop, whoop. The regular route to the citadel and quickly became one of the more active species living on this great station. Nice. Okay. I'd like to know more about the culture of the Elcor. Frankly, we Elcor prefer the safety and familiarity of our own colonies to the confines of space travel. Our society is built on small, tight knit groups, so we are always welcoming to outsiders. Our government tends to be very stable. Our people are not very comfortable with sudden changes. I hear you. I don't think anybody's really comfortable with a lot of changes. What do you do here? Modestly. I work to bring the problems and the requests of the L4 group to the attention of the council. Huh. They only give us these positions to keep us quiet. The council doesn't care about our races. Chastising the group. <laughs> You're calling him out. Thanks. I missed all these. Thanks, I will. <laughs> Alarmed response. Ooh. What did the Sasari do to get you so upset? I cannot speak more about this problem. It is too sensitive. Okay. Suffice it to say, 
Uh -uh. Where can I find the Sasari consort? Okay. Then. Earth Clan, you are in the wrong place, I think. Your ambassador is next door in the large office. It's the same size as your uh, office. Don't be so bad, <laughs> At least introduce yourself. I am Din Korn, Volus Ambassador. Is there something I can do for you, Earth Clan? Okay, yeah, why so cranky? You seem to have a bit of a chip on your shoulder, Dan. You humans are new to the Citadel, and yet the Council has granted you great favor. Lost eyes and rubies, Dan. Oops, sorry. Oh, wrong for this. Again, sorry. But they want more. Are we back? Are we back? Sorry about that, guys. I have no idea why it went down. You good now? You sure? You sure you good? Okay. Sorry, I have no idea why it went down like that. Okay. It's good now, for now. Weird. Oh, itchy, itchy. Yes, okay, cool. Just make it sure. Didn't miss too much. I think we missed like one line. I noticed it as soon as I, I saw it, I saw it go red and I was like, oh shit. What is it you do here? I look out for the best interests of the Volus people. No easy task considering how often we are overlooked by the council. Chastising rebuke, Dan. The council favors your species. So long before our species will. Why aren't the Elcor or Volus part of the council? Yeah. All species must prove themselves before they join the council. He's got a huge chip on his shoulder. Holy shit. Itch, itch, itch. Dismissive. Ignore the Volus ambassador, human. He is incorrect in his assessment. <laughs> Continue to wait. Bah, this talk is wasted on the humans. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. I think we're good. All right, I'll go. Bye, Ambassador. Yes, yes. Good day, Earth Clan. Good day, Earth Clan. Ooh, look, it's a keeper. I remember don't don't spoil it for me because I don't remember. I know something happens to the to the keepers in Mass Effect 3, I just don't remember what it was. I remember it was mind blowing, but apparently it wasn't that mind blowing because <laughs> I can't remember. Well, shit. Okay. So we can't go this way? Nope, that's a dead door. Okay. Gotta go this way. Boop, doop, boo. Now, where are we? Leaves. Ooh. Hello. Good day, Commander. Thank you. Human ambassadors up the stairs, first room on the right. Commander. You know who I am? Yeah. Yes, I receive reports on all newly arrived dignitaries and notable people. Oh, thank you. I'm a notable person. <laughs> what is this place? This is the Presidium. More specifically, you're at the Citadel and Yeah, we are on the inner we're we're in the tower right now. Avena. Okay. What's your name? What do you do here? My name is Cecilia. I'm the administrative assistant for the embassies. Busy? You seem to be distracted. The embassies are the hub of all Citadel politics. When you represent trillions of citizens, it tends to get a little busy. <laughs> she's she's so customer service voicing me right now. <laughs> 
She's like, yes, yes, uh, go access Avina. Fuck off. <laughs> I love it so much. Oh, look, it's a Solarian. Okay, sorry. Mm -hmm. Let's see. Let's go here. Ba ding. Ba ding ding. Ooh. We got. Gosh, there is something itchy on my wrist. How long have we been streaming? Like two hours. Okay. I'm going to get through this room and talking to people, and then I'm going to take a little bathroom break. Wow, he had some enunciation on that. I actually heard tone in that. Hello, sir. No? Okay. What is this? Ooh, we got some more codexes. What is this? Boop. Ooh, more. Hello. Heck yeah. I'm glad you got your dream job, girl. We can all wish to wish to have that kind of job. Okay. So really quick, uh, before we continue exploring, I'm going to go potty. My bladder is about to burst. And let me do, actually, we'll do save after we do the codex. So I will be right back. I'm going to get a cup of coffee as well. And so I'll be right back. Okay, so sorry about that. About that longer wait. I apologize. I had to take out the laundry for my roommate okay because he's doing laundry today so i apologize for that but we're back to it oh i'm so excited play more more mass effect Okay, I got a thing of coffee. I'm gonna do a stir stir really quick. It's gonna be hot and I'm gonna burn my mouth. Hot. Okay. Let's do this. We're good. Audio's good. We're streaming. We haven't dropped any frames, which is nice. So maybe that internet hiccup was it. All right, let's do the codex real quick. Uh, we got some primary. Oh god, we got like two. Yeah. The first species to discover the citadel. When the Salarians arrived, it was the Asari who proposed the establishment of the Citadel Council to maintain peace throughout the galaxy. Since then, the Asari have served as the mediators and centrists of the Union. An all-female race, the Asari reproduce through a form of parthenogenesis. They can attune their nervous system to that of another individual of any gender and of any species to reproduce. <coughs> this capability has led to the unseemly and inaccurate rumors about Asari promiscuity. Ugh, Asari of course. Gotta have to. Years, passing through three stages of life. In the maiden stage, they wander restlessly, seeking new knowledge and experience. When the matron stage begins, they meld with interesting partners to produce their offspring. This ends when they reach the matriarch stage, where they assume the roles of leaders and counselors. Mm. I forgot they were so long-lived. The Elcor are a citadel species native to the high-gravity world Dakuna. They are massive creatures, standing on four muscular legs for increased stability. Elcor move slowly, an evolved response to an environment where a fall can be lethal. This has colored their psychology, making them deliberate and conservative. Elcor's speech is Oops, ponderous sorry. and monotone. Among themselves, scent, slight movements, and sub-vocalized infrasound convey shades of meaning that make a human smile seem as subtle as a fireworks display. <laughs> Since their subtlety can lead to misunderstandings with other species, the Elcor often go out of their way to clarify when they are being sarcastic, amused, or angry. Dakuna's high gravity impedes mountain formation. Most of the world consists of flat, open plains, which prehistoric Elcor wandered across in small family bands. Modern Elcor still prefer open sky and can become restless and uncomfortable on long starship journeys. That makes sense. 
Oh, we did that one. I think so. There we go. Composed of representatives from the Asari Republics, the Torian Hierarchy, and the Salarian Union. Though they have no official power over the independent governments of other species, the Council's decisions carry great weight throughout the galaxy. No single Council race is strong enough to defy the other two, and all have a vested interest in compromise and cooperation. Each of the Council species has general characteristics associated with the various aspects of governing the galaxy. The Asari are typically seen as diplomats and mediators. The Salarians gather intelligence and information. The Turians provide the bulk of the military and peacekeeping forces. Any species granted an embassy on the Citadel is considered an associate member, bound by the accords of the Citadel conventions. Associate members may bring issues to the attention of the Council, though they have no input on the decision. The Human Systems Alliance became an associate member of the Citadel in 2165. Nice. Okay. Let's go to the second one. Uh, these uh, Citadel Conventions. These diplom diplomatic talks occurred in the wake of the Krogan Rebellions. As a response to the destruction of the conflict and an attempt to distance the Council from the brutal Krogan warfare. The conventions regulate the use of weapons of mass destruction. A WMD causes environmental alteration to a world. A uh, bomb that produces a large crater is not considered a WMD. A bomb that causes a nuclear winter is. Use of a WMD is forbidden on garden worlds like Earth with ecosystems that can readily support a population. If a habitable world is destroyed, it will not be replaced for millions of years. The conventions do not forbid the use of WMD on hostile worlds or in sealed space station environments. Many militaries continue to develop and maintain stockpiles. The conventions graded weapons of mass destruction into tiers of concern. Tier 1 is the greatest threat to galactic peace. Tier 1, large kinetic impactors such as asteroid drops or deorbiting sta space stations. Effectively free and available in any system in the form of debris left over from planetary accretion, kinetic impactors are the weapon of choice for terrorists and third galaxy nations. Tier 2, uncontrolled self-replicating self weapons such as nanotechnology, viral or bacteriological organisms, von Neumann devices, and destructive computer viruses. These we weapons can lie dormant for millennia, waiting for a careless visitor to carry them, carry them onto another world. Tier 3, large energy burst weapons such as nuclear or antimatter warheads. Tier 4, alien species deliberately introduced to crowd, crowd out... Oh, okay. Alien species deliberately introduced to crowd out native forms necessary for the health of an ecosystem. Ecological tampering can take years to bear fruit, making it difficult to prove. Interesting. Uh, Citadel Station Presidium Ring. The ring is an enclosed loop of park-like space serving as a connection point for the warts. The interior walls are lined with the embassies of influential species and private residences for the galaxy's elite. The Presidium is full of open-air restaurants, bars, and luxurious meeting areas. Gravity is about a third of Earth normal. Holographic skies projected over the ceiling of the ring. Unlike the 24-7 bustle of the wards, the Presidium maintains a 20-hour day schedule with a six-hour night where lights are dimmed and the sky goes through a night cycle. Offices and residences are often open to the interior. It is not unusual for embassies to have no exterior wall at all. This does not cause a crime problem due to the heavy CSEC presence and ubiquitous ubiquitous monitoring devices on the Presidium. Thieves are quickly identified and apprehended. The ring is the location of the Citadel spaceports being closer to the center of spin. There's less motion for a ship to match and the reduced spin gravity makes handling cargo easier. Hundreds of ships pass through the Citadel every day and every species with an embassy is granted a private dock. The tower at the center of the ring, gosh dang it, holds the administration of the city council. Citadel Council. The tower rises over a kilometer from the ring, appearing to thrust forward parallel to the act to the ward arms. As the tower is at the center of the spin axis, it experiences little centrifugal force. Gravity is maintained using mass effect fields at a 90 degree angle to the ring and the wards. A consular dock can be found at the base of the tower. While normally used for diplomatic couriers and specter business, the shuttles docked here can evacuate the council's government in an emergency. Treaty of Firaxin. Due to the destructive potential of dreadnoughts, the council races agreed at the 
for I think it's for weeks in Naval Conference to fix a ratio of dreadnought construction between themselves. At the top of the pyramid is the peacekeeping Turian fleet. Below the Turians are the other council races, currently the Asari and the Salarians. Council associate races are at the bottom. The Human System Alliance is part of this last group. The ratio of Turian to council associate dreadnoughts is 5 to 3 to 1. For every dreadnought the humans are permitted to build, the Asari have 3 and the Turians 5. Interesting. Uh, system Alliance, uh, military jargon. Uh, ashore, when a ship's crew leaves the vessel, they are ashore. Though normally used regarding planets, it can refer to boarding a space station. Away, when a ship releases the equipment tethering it to a space station or surface dock, it is away. Aye, aye, the proper way to acknowledge an order. If told to attack, the correct response is aye, aye, sir. If you are asked, are you too proud to be a marine? The correct response is yes, sir. Are you proud to be a Marine? The correct response is yes, sir. ASAP, pronounce ASAP, the acronym as soon as possible. Belay, stop, cease, bridge. The navigation center of a spacecraft where the steering is done. Captain's mass, non-judicial, non-judicial, non-judicial disciplinary proceedings by unit commanders. I didn't know that last one. I knew all the other ones, but yeah, interesting. Excuse me. Communications. Real-time communications is possible thanks to networks of expansive mass re relay combuies that can daisy-chain a transmission via laser. Combuies are maintained in patterns built outward from each mass relay. The buoys wah, are little more than a cluster of primitive miniature mass relays. Each individual buoy is connected to a partner on another buoy in the network, forming a quarter of less low mass space. Type beam communication lasers are piped through these tubes of FTL space, allowing virtually instantaneous communication to anywhere on the network. The network networks connect across regions by communication lasers through the mass relays. With this system, the only communication delay is the light lag between the source or destination and the closest buoy. So long as all parties remain within half a light second, 150,000 kilometers of buoys, seamless real-time communications are possible. Since buoys are maintained in all traveled areas, most enjoy unlimited instant communication. Ships only suffer communication lags when operating off established deep space routes around uninhabited outer systems gas giants and other unsettled area areas during wartime com buoy networks are the first target of attack once the network is severed it can take anywhere from weeks to years to get a message out of a contested system in systems where a buoy network has not yet been built or has been destroyed rapid communication means ferrying information through high-speed courier ships and unmanned data drones Woo! that was a lot let's save after that one Woo! Doo -doo. All right, so we just left that area, and now we're going to go and check this out. Is this where we came from? That's where we came from, right? Yeah, okay. I figured it out. I didn't get lost this time. What is this? Oh, hello, Executor Palin. You want to talk to me? Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Regina send you? Mm. No, I'm just really exploring. Oh, he's had a C-Sec. Okay. Job, someone, like you on the someone like me? Was there somebody who knew you were here? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, just don't trust too many. Not yet. Okay, I can I can get that. You can take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. The council wants to make humanity their new favorite pet. That's their business, but I don't think that. We're not favorites. No, I I. Pretty sure we're favorites right now. What do you know about the Spectres? They're the right hand of the council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the council. Ooh. Yeah, you don't like them? What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Yeah, I can see that. That is a bit naive. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep people safe. I've been all CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect
expect us to believe none of your officers Ashley, I don't need you to pipe up. There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like a spectator. Ooh. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectator. They'll never come to that kind of scrutiny. Hmm. It's interesting. We were just really shady about specters when we were going towards the colony, which I can't remember what the name of the colony was. But now we're just like, more specters are important. I don't think I'm going to say that, actually. Because I, I don't think they are right now. No, why? My headphones are so uncomfortable right now. Okay. Tell me about your investigation into Sonia. Sorry, I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Well, I mean, at least he's honest. Okay. Anything in here? Mm, yeah, we got a computer console. Let's get it. We got. There we go. Uh, diplomatic advisory warning. The following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic, you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. If you understand us, you will tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking Eda cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Ooh. <clears throat> okay. Boink. So pretty. Really? Really, Ashley? Really? You, you could have just look at this beautiful lake and just be like, wow, this is so pretty. No, you have to fucking ruin it every time. All right. Ooh, hello. Can I talk to you guys? Hi, howdy. I'll let you have your date. Sorry, excuse me. Da, 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 da. Oh, hello. Oh, you'll be fine. Ah, don't make fun of him for that. Don't make fun of him for that. Sometimes we just need somebody to talk to, bro. Don't be a dick. Okay, she has a name, so I'm gonna wait. Bartender, bartender. Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? Do you know who I am? Your arrival. Really? Hmm. Well, of course he would know. Fill you in on some points of interest, if you like. Yeah. What's Please. Going on around here? Please. Well, you found the embassy. There's not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the emporium, and Shayeras. If you haven't heard of them, you soon will. If you need supplies, you can try the markets, ones I'm sure you know. Or as payment, I try Flux or Cora's Den. Okay. Shaira's. What is Shaira's? The consort. Uh, she entertains clients who can afford her services. Most of the diplomats and ambassadors have visited her at one time or another. She's a very powerful woman, but also very respected. Okay. Tell me about Flux and Cora's Den. Well, Flux has gambling and dancing, so it's more alive than this place. <laughs> Oh, so it's the shitty corner. 
It's the hipster place. Okay. All right. Thanks, man. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye. All right. Let's talk to named people, which would be this guy. Excuse me? Yeah. I was like, excuse you? Uh-huh. No, it could be. It could be. Uh, consort. I really like the look of my shepherd. Sorry, I keep saying that. I just wish she'd have like some some little little anime hairs that fell just a little bit. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassy. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much. <laughs> yeah, but he's actually seen her. So that's uh Nasana. Okay. Okay. I'm sorry. I, I, wow, I glitched out there for a second. Um okay, so there's also an entry this way. Which way does this go? Oh, we got a keeper. Sup, bro? No? Okay. Alright, well we'll come back. I believe that there's a mission. I'm trying to find these guys around here somewhere. Okay, so that is explored. Let's head back down. Oh, this is the wrong way. <sighs> Boop. Secure. Ah! She scared me when she moved away. All right, let's talk to you, Avina. It's been a minute. Welcome to the Secret Inn. My name is Avina, and I am pleased to be your virtual guide throughout this level of the Citadel Space Station. Virtual guide? What does that mean? I am a fully interactive virtual intelligence, programmed to provide spontaneous guidance of predetermined locations of interest throughout this level of the Citadel. I may also be contacted through any of the Presidium VI terminals, should you require assistance. Okay. Tour. Yeah. You are standing at Presidium Tourism Terminal 1. On either side of this lobby are the embassies of the various Citadel races, along with Presec headquarters. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I know this is off topic, but my gosh, I wish I had Shepard's body. Like, just like, just, she just... She's not overly chesty. She's not overly butt, but she's just she's just pretty. Her body's gorgeous. Anyway, I sorry. Know more about Citadel security. Citadel security serves as law enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, so the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Callum, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Callum's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Okay, so we talked to him already. Tell me about the embassies. Please. Each species in Citadel space important enough to be consulted on matters of galactic politics maintains an embassy on the Presidium. The Rolus were the first non-council species to be granted an embassy roughly 2,384 galactic standard years ago. As Citadel space has expanded, more embassies have been added. The most recently added embassy belongs to your own species, humanity. It was added 19 galactic standard years ago, despite some rather vocal opposition. So I think Din actually has a point. He, they have been part of the fucking council for over 2,000 years. That's crazy. And they're not part of the the council yet. Interesting. Why wasn't they trying to keep my species out? Some species felt humanity was given preferential treatment. It often takes a century or more before a new species is granted an embassy. The council gave a great deal of thought to this matter. In the end, they decided humanity's impact on Citadel space was significant enough to warrant an embassy. I don't, I, like, I'm going to ask what, what do you think, but I don't think... Do you agree with their decision? 
Yeah, I was like, she's not programmed for that, but I just was cute. My code is limited to information and simple interaction and simulation. Uh, why were the voles first? How come the were the first species given membership? In the early years following the formation of the council, the voles were, apart from the Astari and Solarian, the most populous and widespread species in Citadel 6. They established many new colonies and trading outposts. And they petitioned the council for a greater role in determining interstellar policy. In recognition of their work to expand interstellar trade and establish a standardized galactic economy, the Volus were granted an embassy here on the Citadel. Yeah, just an embassy? Why weren't they made a council race? The council races have extensive responsibilities. They must provide personnel and ships for the Citadel fleet. They hmm. also oh, sorry. economic aid in times of disaster. She's unable to meet these obligations. The embassies allow lesser species to have a voice on the citadel. Ugh, hold on. Sorry, I'm fixing my chair so I can have a thingamabob. Yeah, there we go. Up, up, up. There it is. Okay. Oh, fuck. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Let's just get my step out on my chair so I can put my leg up. Uh, lesser species. Yeah, it is. I apologize if my personality has offended you. <laughs> you know, that's what I'm going to do when I say something that somebody doesn't like. I'm sorry, my personality has offended you. <laughs> I love that. Sorry. Anyway, okay. Do you know anything about specters? The term specter is derived from the branch of special tactics and reconnaissance. Each specter agent is handpicked by the council. Their primary Resolving volatile situations that cannot be handled through normal political channels. In this role, they are granted extraterritorial rights and jurisdictions. Spectres answer to no law or authority except the council itself. Okay, Citadel Council. What can you tell me about the Citadel Council? Originally, the council consisted of representatives from the Asari and Solarians, the two dominant species in Citadel space. Roughly 1,304 galactic standard years ago, Turians were invited to join the Council in recognition of the role they played during the Krogan Rebellion. Since then, the three Council races have worked together to ensure the peaceful coexistence of the galactic community, while preserving individual autonomy for each species. Yeah, it does sound too perfect. It can't be as simple as that. There must be problems somewhere in the system. I am not programmed to make that kind of qualified judgment. My code is limited to information and simple interaction and simulation. Okay, I think we're good. Goodbye. Goodbye, and thank you for using the boot. Please enjoy your visit to the Citadel. What are you doing, bro? Just being a... Ooh, we got some graphical glitches. Did you see that? I saw that. On the left. What is this? Citadel Tower is off to the right. Oh, let me see. Where's the tower? I can't see it. Can you see it? Where's the tower? Hmm. Okay. Excuse me. Sorry. Wait, can I travel? Ooh, okay. Scared the shit out of me. Ah, we can only go to the presidium channel. Okay, okay. Exit, please. I have no idea where I'm going right now. <gasps> Look at the crow win! Sorry. Uh, I spawned across the bridge. I think. Okay, so we got that one. Okay, so... What? Let's back up. Oh, what does this say? Citadel Tower is the tall to your left. I don't see it yet. Anyway. Two wards. Rabbit! Oh, that's Ronan. Ronan! No? He's like, no. Alright, let's 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 go check out C sec first and then we'll go from there. What's she doing, Solarian? Mm. 
No, I can't answer. Poo. Okay. Thought I would check. He goes talking. Look at that. It's so pretty. Okay, so I don't see see the tower yet. I was hoping I would be able to. See, oh, Ashley, you scared me. Um, see the tower, but I don't know. I guess we'll see it in a minute. Now, where did we go? Okay. So then, really quick, we're going to go across the way before we actually go to the, 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 the tower. You know, explore everything that we can first. And the normal, the normal stuff. Really want to see the statue, actually. Look at how pretty the shit is. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Let's go down this way first. You guys are just talking where an, a keeper can overhear you? Just rude. Mm, okay, what's this? This is rapid travel. Oop, okay, sorry, just making sure. Just getting re familiar with the place. Hello. Welcome, I am Elena. I don't recognize you as one of our expected clients today. Would you like me to see when the consult will be able to meet with you? Can't I just go in? <laughs> I'm afraid not. Now, you must understand there are many who seek the consult services. But if you wish to leave your name, you should make every effort to meet with you. First, let's ask some questions. What do you do here, Melina? I'm one of the consult's acolytes. Many of the people here today will not see the consort, but they expect to be attended to just the same. It's our job to ensure that they leave contented. What exactly do you attend to? Well, each acolyte has her unique abilities. Some soothe with song, others with conversation. As much as possible, we seek to match the needs of our clients to the skills of our acolytes. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body. Am I right? Cool. I am not interested, though. Uh. I think I'm done here. Oh, did I fuck up? Whoop. Melina. Yes, Shaira? Send a command yet to see me. Oh. I wish to speak with her. Yes, of course, it's easy. Implied sexiness. Ooh. Watch that booty go. It appears the consort has taken notice of you. She'd like to meet with you now. Uh, Why? Was that a wink? That was a wink. That was a wink. That, that was a fucking wink. She winked at me. I can accept the wink. It was a nice wink. Yes. Hello. Eh, debatable. Oh, you're a human. Hey, girl. Let me do a save real quick. 
Nice. All right. Apparently she wants to see me. Hello. It's a really cool bed, though. I don't think I'd want to sleep in it. It's really cool looking for you. Mm. Yeah, who are you? What exactly do you do? That depends on your mood. I offer advice to some, counsel to others. I have a certain problem that could use your assistance. Uh, what is it? Tell me about this problem you're having. I have a friend, Septimus, a retired Korean general. I won't repeat his details, but he wanted me to be more than I could be. Uh oh. We had a falling out. Uh, okay, so that's what it was. Okay. Yeah, what went wrong? I respect his privacy too much to go into the details. If he wishes to tell you what happened, that is his prerogative. Okay. What exactly do you want me to tell him? Appeal to his sense of honor. Remind him of his position as a general. If you can convince him to stop spreading lies about can you get out of my space, please? Was that like a one-person hug? That was like like the standing hug. Okay. Sure. We'll do it. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I got it. Okay. <clears throat> All right. I'll be back. Bye, ladies. Is there anything else I get to ever ask to aid Shaira? It's quite an honor. I want to make sure. Is some, most of the time, our clients won't realize what they were seeking until after she has provided it for them. Is she mystical? You sound like some kind of oracle. No, not in the usual sense. She's merely a woman, a woman with remarkable compassion and a generous spirit. I suggest you make an appointment and see for yourself. Mm. Can't I just go in? But if you wish to leave your name, I should make every effort to meet with you. Hmm. No. <clears throat> I think I asked this. I just want to make sure. It's our job to ensure that they leave. What exactly? Well, as much as possible. My specialty is touch. My fingertips can find every tension point in your body. And really, what do you know about the general? He's been seeing the consort for longer than I can remember. Then one day, he stormed out of here furious. He hasn't been back since. Interesting. Okay. He was always very respectful to the acolytes. Very noble. Okay. I think I'm done here. Of course. Come back anytime. Okay. Let's go. All right. So we explored this area. Wait, can we see the statue from here? Where's that? Where is that statue? Oh, it's on the other side. Okay. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You look at the statue. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, Avina, tell me. before you was commissioned to honor the Krogan soldiers who gave their lives to protect Citadel space during the Rachmal Wars. In the aftermath of the Krogan Rebellion, several embassies petitioned to have the statue removed. However, this motion was eventually quashed by the Sorry. Party. Tell me more about the Krogan Rebellion. In recognition of their efforts during the Rachmal Wars, the Krogan were granted several new colony worlds by the Council. 
Over the next 400 years, the Corbin species began to expand. Blessed with an extremely high birth rate, their numbers began to fall. Faced with a critical overpopulation crisis, the Corbin started a violent colonization of nearby worlds inhabited by other council species. The Corbin rebellions had begun. For a full century, the council and its member species fought to bring the Corbin under control. With the aid of the newly discovered Turian Empire, they were ultimately successful. Yeah, it does sound like a vicious cycle. The Krogan to stop the Rachnar. Then you needed the Turians to stop the Krogan. So who's going to stop the Turians? I am sorry. <laughs> the question is beyond my programming parameters. The Turians are members of the Citadel Council. They are not a threat to galactic peace. Okay, memorial statue. The council fights so hard to keep the statue. The Krogan were instrumental in saving the galaxy from the Rachnar threat. The council believes this historical fact should not be forgotten. The council also hoped that preserving the memorial would improve diplomatic relations with the Krogan and bring about a peaceful resolution to the rebellion. Unfortunately, the Krogan refused to negotiate and only surrendered after their population and homeworlds had been ravaged. By it serves them right. Jesus. What were the Rachnar names? Fixing my other leg. Really? Seriously? Come on. There we go. Good lord. And aggressive insect race. The Rachni unleashed a war of conquest against the rest of the galaxy that lasted for nearly three centuries. The emergence of the Krogan finally turned the tide in favor of the Citadel species. Krogan forces provided the numbers necessary to halt the Rachni advance and drive them back. The Krogan then pursued their retreating fleet. Able to survive the harsh environments of the Rachni homeworld, the Krogan hunted their enemies to extinction. That is a little extreme. I am sorry, <laughs> but a value judgment of that nature goes beyond my program. I am also like Shepard. I keep forgetting I'm talking to a freaking AI. That's all for now. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. You too. Thanks. All right. What is this? Anything over here? Ooh, what's over here? Where did I go? What the fuck? C second. Oh, oh, I just did one big circle. I got it. Okay. I figured out where I'm at. Okie doke. Let's see. Ooh. Hell yeah. First Hanar. 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 I'll be back. I'm going to talk to you in a minute. Where's this go? Ooh. Anything in here? Nope. Got a keeper in here, though. All right. Ah, humans. This one is greatly pleased to see you here in my decadent emporium. <laughs> Oops, excuse me. Who are you? This one's face name is Delaminda, though many in this place simply refer to him as Delon. Hi, Delon. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase. All of great worth. Directions are displayed a bit better than they used to, but still, I, I get lost. I am extremely bad with directions. I am directionally challenged. I will get lost multiple times. I will get lost in 30 seconds, so. Unfortunately. <laughs> what exactly do you sell? It's, not, it's not one of my playthroughs if I don't get lost. Yeah. I, I know my weaknesses and that is directions. I can't I can't do it. Can't do it. Your speech. Why do you refer to yourself as this one and 
I don't think he has. I don't think it has a gender. For the same reason that humans are so inquisitive, it is part of our culture. Specifically, men are only refer to themselves. In the first okay. Family, oh, okay, okay, okay. So that's what it is. And we rarely do so with other species. It is just our way. Nothing wrong with that. Who are you? Oh, oh, I heard that one. Sorry. Please take time to examine the fine goods it has for purchase. Okay. Let's see if you got anything I'd like to buy. Oh, this one is pleased to do so, human. <laughs> you will not be disappointed. Hmm. Let's see, what's standard items? I don't think I can afford I don't think I can afford anything. Stop it. Let me just use my directional keys. Uh Ooh. Sort of license for Normandy Quartermaster. Yes, let's buy that. Can I comparison? Ooh, that's shit. Oh, no, no. Commander, it is good to see you again. Would you care to see some of its fantastic items today? Yes, I would like to buy something. I want to make sure if you don't have any licenses. Oh, this one is pleased to do so. I know, sorry, I'm going to skip that so I don't have to hear it. Nugget. Uh, no, I don't want to. Okay. Okay, nothing there. And then I just want to make sure. Commander, it is good nope, to see that's not what I wanted. Would you care? Show me your items. Uh, no, I don't want anything of that. Okay, cool. We're good. All right, thank you. Thank you, Dylan. And right. And no, I didn't explore this way, right? Because, yeah. No, yes, I did. God damn it. Caden, get up. Get, get out of the um, All right, let's continue on for the shop. Just getting our bearings. Because I don't know where. Ooh, Bar I th I think I remember this guy. What's up? Mm. You are the one called Shepherd. Thank you. It is a great honor to welcome the heroes of the Blitz. Uh, yeah, have we met? Got me at a disadvantage here. <laughs> Forgive me, Earthclad. My name is Barla Vaughn. My job makes it necessary for me to keep informed. Oh, thanks, Barla. I am a financial advisor to many important clients here on the Citadel. Ah. Okay, whenever I hear that 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 tone that that Barla Bon has, it just is sleazy fucking used car salesman. I just car salesman in general doesn't have to be used. Galactic finance is incredibly complex. A mix of laws and regulations from dozens of interstellar economies. Mhm. Mm I'm an expert in how all these economies mm. interact. For a fee, I share my Car salesman. Yeah. Hi, Marissa. How you been? Yeah, is that legal? <laughs> Isn't fuck shady? Yes, but you stretch those laws. It would look sleazy. It would look sleazy. He would be accused of advancing the petition for his own personal gain. I It probably is partially for personal gain. That's the word. Good, haven't seen you in a while. Thank you for asking. How have you been? I've been all right. I've been all right. It was a real it was a real struggle at the end of last year. I 
I lost my other dog um, around the same time. Um, it was sh- right around Thanksgiving, which is in America is like in November. So I was just kind of grieving and I was dealing with a lot of IRL issues in life. But those are kind of those are kind of like handled now. So that's why I got back into streaming. It's okay. It's all right. It's okay. No big deal. It was it was time. So I've I've got I've got only Revan now, and Revan's taking a nap because she's an old lady. So she's just like, nah, I don't want to appear on camera. So, but yeah, I mean it happens unfortunately. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I don't buy it. Still sounds shady to me. Mm-hmm. Okay, don't get don't get defensive, bro. Uh, okay, we did this. We did this. Citadel. There we go. Well. You're right and wrong. They built it on the shell of a previous civilization. My hair looks fantastic. Thank you. I appreciate that, Marissa. It took a while to grow out the freaking lavender. And so I'm finally back to my, like, normal color here. And I, I really like, I really like the purp, like the purple black I chose to, to dye it at the end. So I'm excited. I'm, I'm liking where it's at, too. What makes the Presidium so special? It is the political center of Citadel State. 80% of all intelligence in the known galaxy acknowledge the council's authority on interstellar matters. Authority Still got that 20% though. Influential species have embassies here in the Presidium. This level of the station is reserved for the elite, that is, people like us. Mm. Hey, hey King, how you doing? I know, I am here. I am here. Uh, so tell me about the wards. Yeah. Itch. Right there. I gotta switch my legs again. Such an old lady. There we go. Hmm. Okay. I think we're good. We'll see you in a, We'll see you soon, Barlavon. I know we have a mission with you. I just don't remember. I'm fine. How have I been? I've been pretty good. I did some meal prep last night. I got. I'm happy. I got like three out of five meal preps done. Ooh, excuse me. I've only played this game. I just started ME2 recently. I don't know how I feel about the combat. It is a big change from. I felt the same way. You just kind of have to get used to it, and it'll start being more enjoyable. I promise. <laughs> I felt the exact same way when I when I was just like, wow. Because playing M.E.E., this, like, Mass Effect 1 was, like, the original Kotar, and it's, like, the original Dragon Age. It's Bioware when Bioware was Bioware. And then M.E. 2, Dragon Age 2, um, those were all EA Bioware. And so you kind of feel, like, a little gypped. Like, you're, like, you kind of lost, it lost a little bit of its soul. If you get me, it's a legit cover shooter. I'm not good at shooting. I get it. I get it. I remember that too. Ooh, look at the Mass Effect really. Okay, so we're supposed to see the tower somewhere, but I don't think you can because of the sky, which I'm kind of sad about. I can, oh, that's Caden. I thought, I thought, anyway, never mind. Look at this Solarian looking all machismo up in here. Yeah, Mass Effect relay right there. Woo. All right. Ooh, we can examine the keeper there. We've seen lots of them, Ashley. You're just now commenting? I wasn't going to. I was going to talk to her. Me, 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 me. Okay, uh, really quick. I got lost already about where we are, I think. Holy shit, where'd I go? Uh, I couldn't go back to ME1 after playing ME2 and ME3 until I bought the Legendary Edition. I tried, but the combat just felt way too clunky. See, I, I, I like the ME1 combat. Shit. Where the fuck did I go? 
Um, and so I get it. I know people that like to play um, shooters or are much more familiar with shooters. Okay, so now I know where I'm at, I think. Yes, okay. So we just did a big circle. Okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. Um, and I get it. It felt a lot smoother in Mass Effect 2. And yeah, I, d I didn't like the ammo system in 2 either. I We went from having unlimited ammo to just like having if you shot too much your weapon would be useless for a few minutes, just like a reload. I really loved that. I thought that was really different. Uh, yeah, and then you have you have to pick up fucking ammo in two and three. Unfortunately, three is like that too. So it's the problem is the system's not going away. <laughs> System did not go away. Or did it? I don't remember. Okay, so this is the big circle that we did. So I'm going to back up a little bit. And we're going to go this way and go explore the center area. We're almost, we're almost to the tower, which I believe, eh, somewhere. I like my unlimited bullets in this one. I do too. I, 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 I am very familiar with your frustration. The worst part, so I'm about to uh, go old lady on you guys. So like I played Mass Effect 1 and then was so excited when Mass Effect 2 was coming out. There was a number of years between 1 and 2. That's to the wards. Um, and, uh, I have to sneeze. Hold on. Is it coming? Yeah, it's coming. And, uh, so because they changed like the engine from Mass Effect 1 to Mass Effect 2, I will actually post this on my Twitter. I will actually post this on my Twitter. My shepherd looks gorgeous from Mass Effect 1. And I was, I loved her. I kept her looking like that through, through, uh, I wanted to keep her looking through like that through all the games. And then the engine in 2 just made her BFU, okay? But fucking ugly, okay? And I was just like, what was this? So the first time, here, actually, I've got I've got something to show you guys really quick, really quick. Hold on. Because I kept it from this day. Uh, because I went to the midnight and uh, and I worked at GameStop while Mass Effect 2 came out, right? So I still have this sign. Let me grab it. Stupid step. Okay. <laughs> and my friend, my co-worker made this because I said... I remember looking at my boss at the time and I was like, I was like, hey, I was like, hey, um, I will work the midnight shift for for Mass Effect. I will work the midnight for it, which means like when the game, the, you, the game releases the same day. So it releases Monday night, technically that Tuesday morning. You can get it midnight. Right. I don't think they really do those anymore. Um, and I was like, but I have to have the next day off because I wanted to play. There's nothing wrong with playing with an original male chef. Nothing wrong with that. So my coworker made this for, for the shift while I was in there. Are you ready? It's, it's, it's cheap as shit. But if you can read it, it says, will work for Mass Effect. <laughs> and I've kept it this whole time. It's on a f fucking dumbass piece of uh, cardboard. But I've kept it ever since because I will work for Mass Effect. <laughs> um, but I just remember getting it home. It's like two o'clock in the morning um and i was just like i was like uh i was like oh i can't wait to play and then the way my shepherd turned out from mass effect 2 i spent i swear to god four or five hours just trying and and then they still hadn't fixed it when when mass effect 2 first came out there was such an uproar about how shepherds weren't looking like how their shepherds looked in one and I remember Bioware had come out with a with a patch almost immediately because everybody was complaining that their shepherd did not look the same. And they were like, they were like, what is up with this? So I literally had to wait a week in order to play uh, Mass Effect 2 because my shepherd just did not look right. And I'll actually, I'll send you guys uh, uh, on Twitter. I remember I still shared it off my personal Facebook that I finally, it took them a long time. I'll, sh I'll share it with the date and everything, but I was just like, I finally got my shepherd looking right. It took me like six hours, but I got it. But I got it. Because I was like, this is not happening. I'm not playing Mass Effect 2 without my shepherd looking like she needs to look. 
<laughs> oh, thank you. I know. I love the. I love this little sign. It's, it's so cute. Just will work for Mass Effect. Anyway, um, so yeah, that's my Mass Effect Two story. I'm weird. I always play males in games when I have the chance. I think it's because I'm female IRL and I want to live vicariously as a dude in games. I mean, yeah, I like I always planned a long time ago to do a male playthrough as a male chef, but I just never have because I just always imagine um, what's her name? The voice of Femme Shep. I can't remember. She is just shepherd to me. I've never really seen the guy shepherd as a shepherd. But I, I can see that. I can see that. Be like, I, like, because I think in Dragon Age, I think I have a male protagonist um, playthrough planned eventually as well. Jennifer Hale. Thank you. That's her name. Um, yeah, she she is Shepard for me. It's just like, I can't really imagine somebody else being her being Shepard. So, but, you know, that's my, my own my own issue. <laughs> All right. Do we want to do this right now? Uh, let's wait till after we do the Citadel mission, because then, then we can just do a bunch of reading. Ooh, what's over here? My nose is running because I keep sneezing. So, Sam, what do you think of the Hogwarts Legacy game? I have not played it yet. Um, I do plan on playing it. Um, I am going to be buying a pre-owned copy. Uh, and, but, uh, I... I had D and D yesterday uh, with some friends, and one guy, uh, one of my friends, was like, "Man, I almost didn't show up today because I was thirty minutes into Hogwarts Legacy, and that's all I want to do right now." <laughs> I was like, "Well, thank you for showing up," um, but I will be streaming it, just not right now. Um, obviously, I've got a full plate of streaming right now, uh, but I'm I'm super excited to play. I definitely I definitely want to play, so. I'll, I'll be getting it. I'm going to, I'm going to wait for everything to calm down with that before I stream. So, cause I, I understand there is issues attached to the game right now. So, uh, Dragon Age are the only games I play female because Alistair. Yes. And then female Hawks voice actors just, oh yeah, for sure. Soulless. Yeah. So, uh, and Inquisition, I, that, that's, that's, I think that's going to be. I don't, I don't know what I'm going to do with Inquisition. So right now with Dragon Age, with, with my Dragon Age stream, I'm doing uh, my second playthrough because I just finished my blind playthrough. I think it was last year. Um, and so uh, my playthrough that I'm doing now with Dragon Age is like um, in hindsight. So it's decisions I'd make now that I know the full story as it is now. So... Uh, yeah, I look amazing. I want to play it too. I know I do too. So I'm super excited Be and uh, for Hogwarts Legacy as well. Yeah, I know that is how you found me. And so I that's uh, so I'm I'm now playing Dragon Age again. I'm in Origins. Excuse you, sir. Just run into me. That's rude. Gosh. Oh oh oh! Make eye contact as you pass by. Uh huh. And um. So but yeah, I'm doing an Origins playthrough where I am. The ultimate goal right now is to marry Alistair. So. That's what we're doing because I was so pissy about it in my original Origins playthrough. I was like, I can't fucking marry Alistair. This is fucking bullshit. Okay, so this is to the Citadel Tower. All right, let's talk to Avina because this is second Avina. We talked to number three and one already. Yeah, it's really cool. Mass Effect Relay, yeah. Sorry. Hey, I got here in the Inquisition too. Alistair was your first pixelated crush. Aww, it is so cute, Marissa. God, it, it's driving me nuts because I remember something happens with the keepers in three. Don't spoil it for me. Uh, just because I, I remember there's something that happens with the keepers and I just can't remember what it is. God damn. Oh, well. Ooh. Oh, so this was left over. Interesting. Interesting. Just could be. Just could be cool. 
Uh, this game gave me a wave of emotions, let me tell you. I wasn't expecting the roller coaster of emotions I went through. Oh, Mayo. I don't know. I haven't played L three yet. Play barely played two. I won't I won't I won't say any more spoilers from three. Um uh it's been a while. Like somebody was asking me what decision I made in three last Mass Effect stream. And I was like, I don't remember. I remember there was something important at that planet. I just don't remember what. So, but yeah, this, uh, we were talking about the differences between, um, cause I definitely cried in Dragon Age Inquisition for sure. And I definitely have like emotions with Dragon Age, but like, I remember playing Mass Effect 2, Mass Effect 3, and just, I will bawl my eyes out. <laughs> at them not talking details but yeah tell me about the citadel tower housing both the council chambers and citadel control the tower is one of the most important buildings on the station access to these areas is restricted. restricted to those with the appropriate clearance mm -hmm. what happens in citadel control citadel control handles all incoming and outgoing oh so it's like a it's like a, a communications tower as well um yeah okay okay that makes sense The entire ME trilogy is very high on all kinds of emotions. It's just brilliantly done. Have you played any more of the Witcher games? Uh, you, you know what pisses me up, off about the Witcher two, Witcher one is that like I abandoned it, right? And I'm very, I'm very sad that I had to abandon it, but I'm happy I did because, who boy, that was a game. But I, I just wasn't enjoying myself playing that game, and I made myself promise that I was going to enjoy streaming games and not just play it just to play it. Um, and uh. I, I like how they just announced a remaster for Witcher 1. So I don't know if I want to wait for the remaster of Witcher 1 and play it again and try and play it again before I move on to 2 or what. But I, I like I scheduled my next game um, for to be Horizon Zero Dawn. So that should give them plenty of enough time. To see, like, so that's where I'm kind of, like, torn if I want to wait for the remaster, replay one, and then go with it. Oh, I dropped some frames. Oh, we're fine. Okay, just making sure. Um, or if I should just move on to two. So, I don't know. I don't know yet. Yeah, I'm really excited. I've always gotten to, like, the first city in Horizon Zero Dawn, and I've just never gotten past it. But if I stream a game, I'll get through it. So, eventually. chambers themselves are truly a magnificent sight to behold though few get to experience the view in person typically only the counselors Ooh. And hold on i'm going to comment on that marissa are allowed access. uh horizon ha horizon is fantastic horizon has the best lore i've ever read in any video game ever made i read everything no i i, I hear you i was super interested in the lore and just a little bit that i played and i just I could never sit down and play it, though. I'm a little, also, with that game, I'm a little intimidated by the crafting system. I'm not good at crafting. We all know this from my time in Dragon Age. Um, and with uh, Witcher, too, you can see that. I'm just not good at crafting systems. But I still want to take a better chance at trying the game. Because I've, I've heard nothing but good things. And it's very much up my alley with, like, with the the way, way post-dystopian of what it, what it is. So, um Yeah. Go through the proper channels if they wish an audience with the council. This is usually arranged through their respective ambassadors. Even then, few are given access to the actual council chambers. In most cases, the ambassador acts on behalf of the citizen. Um, and then I think after Horizon Zero Dawn, this is way far in the future. Um, I don't think I'm going to start any new games after that. I think I'm going to go back to the games that like I've started. So we have like Assassin's Creed Valhalla to do, The Witcher. Um, what else? Uh, I'm going to keep doing Dragon Age. I'm going to have Dra I'm going to have Fridays stay Dragon Age days. 
So I'll keep playing that. And then I think what was the other one? Witcher. And then probably Mass Effect 2. Um, yeah. And we'll go from there. That, that's, that's where I think my schedule is going to go. So uh, I've been asked to go there. Woo! Uh, keepers, please. Little is known about these peaceful servants of the Citadel, though they are essential to the operation and maintenance of the entire station. Citadel regulations protect the keepers against interference during the performance of their tasks. I wonder if you accidentally run into one, will you get in trouble? Nice lineup. Thank you. Yeah, why here? particular reason there are so many keepers in this area? The keepers do not communicate with other species. It is assumed, however, that the tower houses the Citadel's primary control system. Many of the station's systems, such as navigation and life support, function automatically. It is believed the keepers operate their systems from inside the tower's inaccessible core. The keepers also make frequent appearances in the council chamber itself. <laughs> Alright, sorry, let's get away from Mavina. We've been with her for way too long. Thank you. The way she says that, it's like implied sarcasm. And I'm like, mmm. Okay, I think we're finally ready to go to the council chambers. I love my chair, by the way. It's adorable. It's actually a blanket on top of it right now. It's still my purple chair that I still have. It just I have a blanket on it because it's been cold. <laughs> But it's a cute fuzzy blanket. I also just got Persona 4 Golden. Ooh, a dude, I dumped so many hours into that game. I played on the Vita. Yeah. Back when back when Golden first came out, I was told I was like, you have to play Persona 4 Golden. And then I was so happy that I played 4 first before I played 5. I love Persona 5. It's still my favorite. I have played Persona 4. I have the older Personas. Which ones do I have? I can look right here. I've got the first Persona. I got Persona two, and I have Persona three. I have the of the Shin Megami Tenseis. I've got them. I got them all on PSP though. So, oh shit! I almost knocked over my coffee. That scared me. I think I. I. You think you like it more than five? Hmm. See, I don't know. I just loved five. I thought overall it was just great. I like four. I do like four, especially it holds a special place in my heart since it's the first one. Sorry, I didn't want to skip. Oh, we can skip it. Look at this loading screen. Why would you skip the elevator? The elevator always has the commentary. You never want to skip it. But they did redo that. That was a hell of a hell of a different like elevator thing. You're obsessed with Kanji. I get it. I get it. I and Namato. Yeah. I don't know. I just ugh, I love the style of five. That music, I could listen to that soundtrack forever. Sorry. Rivers in the desert. That's where it's at. Saren's hiding somewhere. Give me more time. Stall the council. Stall the council. Oh. Your investigation is over. Hi, Garrus. It's been a minute. Don't be looking at me like that, bro. Commander Shepard, Garrus McKay. Hi, Garrus. You blew it. <laughs> you give me such an ass. Uh, yeah, you don't like Saren, do you? You really want to bring him down. I don't trust him. Something about him rubs me the wrong way. He suspects that everything he touches is classified. I can't find any proper evidence. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Shh, Kaden, shut up. Maybe they'll listen to you. Shut up, Kaden. I was talking. Uh, I also like the eerie storyline in 4 so far with the murders. I know, it's crazy. Oh, for sure. Persona 5 OST is the best soundtrack in any video game. I know. I could listen to that every, every... Oh, God, I love that. Okay. Uh, yes, Rivers in the Desert is my favorite one. I know. Who doesn't love... Uh, you know what I'm so pissy about is, like, those songs are not Spotified. And I'm, I'm super pissy about it. <laughs> I was like, excuse you. I think I think I love the Persona games, but one thing that 
I, I liked five over four is four has so many small decisions that if you make it fucks up everything like and I don't mean like fucks up everything it just changes a lot or it makes your path harder and everything like that so I think that's what I that that kind of bogged down for for me was and I don't want to spoil it for you I, w I want you to go into your pl blind playthrough if if it if it's pretty blind it just i had to check like a walkthrough book for a lot of that stuff too much yeah and it's just that's what irritated me about i just kind of wanted to be like okay like i get it i get it it's persona personas is, is very persona but i that's what i liked over five is i was like i'm just going through this and doing this and i'm here for it you, look at this edgy boy with this fucking oh no it's a glare i thought it was just a white streak i was like never mind never mind okay anything over here can we go this way nope look at this pretty look at this pretty little zen garden they got right here i don't think uh hi keeper what are you doing just sitting here taking a rest okay Got it. Oh, you can just travel. Excuse me. I feel like there are so many more confident, confident uh, social links in four. Yeah, there is. Yeah, there is for sure. And I hate Marie and I know you need to max her out. LOL. I know. I hear you. Yeah, unfortunately. Like, yeah, it's stuff like that where I'm just like, hmm if i don't want to do it why should i have to do it kind of thing yeah but no i like persona 4 it's, it's just it i guess it's an extremely complicated game and i guess that's that's my main complaint with 4 is it just it drug on me so much to where i was like i just kind of want to play the game and not worry that every single decision worry about every single decision that i make kind of thing if that makes any sense which is funny coming from somebody who's playing Bioware games. It, it Yeah, it's kind of overwhelming. That's exactly it. I just love the comedy in 4. I'm constantly like, oh yeah, for sure. It's so good. Okay, we can't talk to you? Okay. Okie dokie. Oh yeah, it's so good. There's so many good instances there. All right, here we go. Let's do this. All right, all right. I'm sorry. I had to explore. Gosh. The get attached was enough to have some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Karen was involved in any way. The investigation by Citadel Security Shit. no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports about it. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. Oh, here we go. These accusations. Nihilus is a fellow Spectre, a friend. That just lets you catch him off guard. Ooh. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved in the Mighty Mech's false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one they were kept digging to destroy. Whose voice actor is, is, is Saren's? Who is it? Because I know him. I know the codex entries are voiced by the same guy who narrates forensic files. I know. Yes, 100%. That's who it is. Thank you. That was bothering me on that one. So let me see here. Who is Saren's voice actor? I don't remember. <laughs> if I can get my keyboard right. Saren's. Saren. Mass Effect. There we go. Who is it? Voice actor. <laughs> God damn it. Aha. Fred Tatisior? Who Who is he? I would like to see what else he did. Sorry, I can't see you guys if you're talking. So give me a second. Is Kung Fu Panda? Maybe that I know him from? Hmm. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. Blah, 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 blah. Mm. I know him from Sarah's 
Okay, I think he's just got one of those recognizable voices that you've heard in a bunch of stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, that was the other game that I was going to play. I forgot about that one. I really got to start writing them down. Boop. I'm going to exit out of that. Sorry, I was just trying to figure out where I knew him from. Oh, I thought his name is like Fred Des Desicor that played Saren. That's what I said on the internet, anyway. Whoop. Okay. Huh, okay. How did you get involved? Uh, I thought you were talking about Captain Anderson. Oh, no, yeah, no, I recognize him. I know, I know him. Uh, insults typical. Uh, that's not really what I wanted you to say, but that's okay. Yeah, Saren. Uh, oh, oh, you're good. I need to know what crime show Captain Anderson's VA narrates for. I know, right? Ah, oh, Lord. Um, ow, I just bumped my knee. That fucking hurt. Ow. Okay. Um, quit protecting him. I'll find proof, you arrogant bastard. I really want to say this. Can I say this? I'm going to say it. Uh, Anderson, why are you talking this shit? Yeah. Uh, how bitchy do we want to be? What? what this is. Uh, no. Hell yeah. That's a perfect response. Yeah. You guys have made your decision, obviously. Unsolved mysteries. Thank you. Now fuck you, too. Now fuck you, and now fuck you. Sorry, Udina. Oh, and City Confidential? Cool. Yeah, how do you know Saren? This was important information, Anderson. I worked with him on a mission a long time. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's after. And he has to be stopped. Now what? As a specter, he's the scariest creature. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrett, the CSEC investigator? That's true. Um, I'll talk to him. Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrett down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. <laughs> I won't waste my time. You won't have to. I don't want the council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. Um... Uh, 
I'm on it because. It's true. It's true. Udina is right about that. That Anderson needs to be taken off. Because if he already has a bias against Saren, they're not going to accept anything that comes from him. Uh, any other leads? Oh, there he is. Oh, lovely. The Shadow Broker. Saren had a history. What happened? About 20 years ago. I was part of a mission on Skilling Island. I was working with Saren to find and remove a known terrorist threat. Hmm. Saren eliminated... Yeah, it is. The music is fantastic. And the official records just covered it all up. Of course they did. I saw her last night. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians Hmm. So would I. <laughs> Just okay. Especially when you go to that Lost World place. I forgot the name of it. Endgame. Oh, well. Uh, I, yeah. I, I, this whole soundtrack is just, like, you hear the first couple of bars of it. And it's just, yeah. Um. You know, that statement, he'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. But... How much would that save in the end? I mean, the end justifies the means. I know it's bad. I know. But, you know. Of course not. He's just frustrated. The council's always preaching that we need to be part of the galactic community. But for them, it's a one-way street. They want us to expand and settle unstable regions like the Skillian Bergs and the Attica for them. But when we run into trouble, they don't want to help us out. Everyone knows it's only a matter of time until we get a seat on the council. The ambassador just thinks it should happen sooner rather than later. And I agree. Uh... Actually. We are too independent. It's true. Of course they would. If we did everything they told us to, they'd love to have us on the council. But it wouldn't be much of a deal. Okay, okay, I can see that. Okay. They don't want us dominating the council. It's founded on cooperation and alliances. But we have to look out for our own interests, too. Hmm. I think I asked this, right? Okay, we did, we did, we did. I saw her last night. No conscience. Uh. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The guy joined CSAC about 20 years. Been an embarrassment to our species ever since. <laughs> Roughing up suspects in custody, bribery accusations, alcohol and drug use. The embassy used to step in when it got involved. But I guess enough was enough. Why protect him? He was a scumbag. He should have been cut loose a long time ago. He was one of the first. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. Look bad if you don't fight. A lot of backroom deals were worked out over the years to keep him on the force. Politics is a dirty business sometimes. True. But it looks like his time's run out. We've got enough humans in CSEC now to stop protection. Interesting. Okay. Spectres? I want to know more about the Spectres. They're not your typical government. They tend to work alone. Behind the scenes. They take care of problems the Council can't. It's not easy preserving peace across an entire galaxy. The Council prefers to use diplomacy and negotiation. But sometimes more extreme measures are needed. Okay. Uh, how are they chosen? How do they decide who becomes a Spectre? You can't just apply for jobs. There's no training program. Spectre okay. aren't made. They're born. The council's always looking for exceptional individuals. People who can get the job done. Like you. They've been watching you for years. They see something in you. They want you on their side. Nihilus was supposed to give them a final recommendation. But with him gone, things are still up in the air. What's their command structure like? There is no command structure. Each specter answers directly to the council. Some I do like this camo look of this armor. Sorry. They tend to operate outside the law. Do whatever it takes to accomplish their goals. But 
county just turned a blind eye. Oh, yeah, sure. I turned it down because it got pretty loud. See if this is better. Let me know. Mm, is this legal? They sound like shadow operatives. Everything about them is classified. We don't even know how many there are. The latest Alliance estimate puts their numbers under 100. But the Council couldn't do its job without them. Perfect. Good. They're okay. The Citadel's top agents. The last line of defense. The final option before open war. The entire galaxy respects and fears them. If a specter shows up, you know something big is about to happen. Is, that, is this legal if one goes too far? What happens when a specter goes rogue, like Sarah? Yeah. It doesn't happen often. The council is careful when they select their candidates. So if it gets too loud, let me know if we get into combat. I don't know if we'll get into combat solution. for a little bit. But. Send another specter to bring the rogue agent down. Okay. Sorry, we got to get through all this dialogue because they're just info dumping on us right now. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Always sells to the highest bidder. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't <laughs> do it's a simple system, but it works. He's sure. To anyone, not directly. He's just a resource we can use, or she is. Or maybe they are. Nobody really knows. Okay. Barla Vaughn. Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius. Doesn't do anything illegal. But he knows all the loopholes. Mm-hmm. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Okay, I think we're good. I should go. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. All right. Bye, Captain. Whew. I'm glad that I waited for the codex. Wait, where'd we go? Oh, okay. So, yeah, it's right here. This is where you go and talk to the council. 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 Cancel. Cancel. Ooh, this one's lit up. Can we go this way? No. Thought I'd try. Info dumping is good, and I'm a codex junkie collector. I know it's the only way to unlock certain entries by playing is by asking all the questions. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I was just, I was just glad I waited. I don't think I can go in any of these doors, but you know, I'll check. Um, but yeah, no. So yeah, I, I'm the same way. I, I was just gonna wait because we would have had to do another codex entry reading and everything like that and so i was like i was like yeah i'd rather just do it all at once i don't think there's any okay there's not okay so i think we can safely what kind of missions do we have uh we have the bar Levon, speak to harkin and investigate Saren. okay cool we're eh, eh. uh we got that one so we'll probably work on those first find the commune well that's gonna be that Sometimes this this controller is way too touchy. God, for my chubby fingers. Okay, what did we get? Oh, I leveled up. Hell yeah. Okay, so let's see. I think I want to put a point in pistols. Increases pistol axe. Yes. Purges heat. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Reduces the strength of your heels. Increases the amount of hull restored. Do, 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 do. Our best objects, which shuts down the nearby enemy skills. Let's use to open secure objects. Okay, so let's put another point in there. 7%. Ah. Uh, do I want that? Whoop. Do I don't know. Um, okay, I'm going to put it, I, I want to get the, the charm and intimidate options filled up as much as I can. Ooh, he got deploys metadel. Cool. Thank you. What'd you get? Nothing? Okay. All right, let's do some codex entries. 
Uh, we got a bunch of primary. The Asari were the, We're on the, the second species to join the Citadel. The Salarians are warm-blooded amphibians with a hyperactive metabolism. Salarians think fast, talk fast, and move fast. To Salarians, other species seem sluggish and dull-witted. Unfortunately, their metabolic speed leaves them with a relatively short lifespan. Salarians over the age of 40 are a rarity. Mm -hmm. The Salarians were responsible for advancing the development of the primitive Krogan species to use as soldiers during the Rachni Wars. They were also behind the creation of the Genophage bioweapon the Turians used to quell the Krogan Forensic Files! centuries later. <laughs> Salarians are known for their observational capability and non-linear thinking. See, I have this very linear thinking. An aptitude for research and espionage. They are constantly experimenting and inventing, and it is generally accepted that they always know more than they are letting on. Ooh. 50, 000, we looked at the Prothean. Now extinct, the Rachni once threatened every species in Citadel space. Over 2,000 years ago, explorers foolishly opened a mass relay to a previously unknown system and encountered something never seen before or since. A species of spacefaring insects guided by a high. Can you tell I like crime shows? Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with the that. I were not peaceful, and the Oop. galaxy was plunged into a series of conflicts known as the Rachni Wars. Attempts to negotiate were futile, as it was impossible to make contact with the hive queens that guided the race from beneath the surface of their toxic home world. The emergence of the Krogan ended the Rachni Wars. Bred to survive the harshest environments, the Krogan were able to strike at the queens in their lairs and reclaim conquered council worlds. But when Krogan fleets pressed them back to their homeworld, the Rachni refused to surrender, and the Krogan eradicated them from the galaxy. Damn. The Elcor are a we're on the Hanars. The Hanar are okay. a citadel species known for excessive politeness. Yes, they do. They speak with scrupulous precision and take offense at improper language. Hanar that expect to deal with other species take <laughs> special courses. courses to help them unlearn their tendency to take offense at improper speech. All Hanar have two names. The face name is known to the world. The soul name is kept for use among close friends and relations. Hanar never refer to themselves in the first person in conversation with someone they know on a face name basis. To do so is considered egotistical. So instead they refer to themselves as this one or the impersonal it. Their homeworld, Kaje, has 90% ocean cover and orbits an energetic white star, resulting in a permanent blanket of cloud. Due to the presence of Prothean ruins on the world, many Hanar worship them, and Hanar myths often speak of an elder race that civilized mm. them by teaching them language. Ooh. When the Asari discovered Keepers. the Citadel, they also discovered the Keepers. A docile, multi-limbed insect race that seemingly exists only to maintain and repair the great Prothean station. Early attempts to communicate oop, with oop, or oop, study oop. the Keepers were failures. And it is now illegal to interfere with or impede Keeper activity. Because they are completely non-threatening, Keepers have become virtually invisible to everyone else. Similarly, they seem indifferent to other species, except for their tendency to help new arrivals integrate themselves into the Citadel. No matter how many Keepers die due to old age, violence, or accident, they maintain a constant number. No one has discovered the source of new Keepers, but some hypothesize they are genetic constructs. Biological androids created somewhere deep in the inaccessible core of the Citadel itself. I think Rex and Garrus were the only ones I had in my party 24-7. Oh, well, yeah, for sure. I love Rex. Rex is my favorite. I would marry Rex if I could. The Volus, Volus. are a member species of the Citadel with their own embassy, but they are also a client race of the Turians. Client Centuries race. ago, they were voluntarily absorbed into the hierarchy, effectively trading their mercantile prowess for Turian uh, military protection. Okay. Erun, their homeworld, lies far beyond the normal life zone of its star. However, the world has a high-pressure greenhouse atmosphere that traps enough heat to support an ammonia-based biochemistry. As a result, the Volus must wear pressure suits and breathers when dealing with other species, as conventional nitrogen-oxygen air mixtures are poisonous to them, and in the low-pressure atmospheres tolerable to most species, 
their flesh will actually split open. Oh, God. Volus culture is tribal, bartering lands and even people to gain status. This culture of exchange inclines them yeah. to economic pursuits. Yeah, we all knew this. It was the Volus who authored the Unified Banking Act, and they continue to monitor and balance the Citadel economy. I love the sky's voice. It's calming. Yeah, for sure. I wish Dragon Age had a narrator for the. I know they're fucking codex entries. I was just reading a couple on on Friday on my Dragon Age stream day, and I was just getting my voice was getting killed just reading the code the massive codex entries. All right, Krogan, Krogan Rebellions. After the Rachni War, the quick breeding Krogan expanded at the expense of their neighbors. Warlords leveraged their veteran soldiers to seize living space while the council races were still grateful. Over centuries, the Krogan conquered world after world. There was always just one more needed. When the council finally demanded withdrawal from the Asari colony of Lucia, Krogan overlord Kradak stormed off the citadel, daring the council to take their worlds back. But the council had taken precautions. The finest STG operators in Asari hunters have been drafted into a covert observation force, the Office of Special Tactics and Re Reconnaissance. The Spectres opened the war with crippling strategic strikes. Krogan planets went dark as computer viruses flooded the extranet. Sabotaged antimatter anti refineries disappeared in blue-white annihilation. Headquarters stations shattered into orbit-clogging debris rammed by pre-placed suicide freighters. Whew! I honestly process things so much better when I'm hearing something being read out versus me actually reading them myself. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, for sure. I'm the same way. Usually, like, if I'm writing something, I'll write it and then I'll read it out because it'll sound different in my head than it did in the normal, in writing it. All right, CSEC. Citadel Security is a volunteer police service answering to the Citadel Council. The 200,000 constables of CSEC are responsible for maintaining public order in the densely populated Citadel. They also provide pirate suppression, customs enforcement, and search and rescue throughout the Citadel cluster. CSEC has six divisions. Enforcement. Uniformed officers who patrol the Citadel and respond to emergencies. Investigation. Detectives who puzzle out the truth behind crimes and bring perpetrators to justice. Customs. Screens the thousands of passengers and cargo containers that pass through the citadel's ports every day network deals with cyber crimes like identity and copyright theft hacking and viral attacks and illegal artificial intelligence deal special response deals with hostage situations bombs and heavily armored criminals in the unlikely event that attackers board the citadel they are also the front line of defense armed with military-grade equipment Patrol, naval arm, with ships stationed throughout the Citadel cluster. Unlike the other divisions, they are rarely seen at the Citadel, nor do they stay in one place long. Joining CSEC is prestigious. All application must be sponsored by a Citadel counselor or the ambassador of an associate council race. Generally, applicants have many years of distinguished service in the military or police forces of their nation, but an inexperienced applicant with dem demonstrable... Yeah, demonstrable talent will be fairly considered. CSEC and the Spectres are often at odds. Many CSEC members, no, notably current executor Venari Palin, believe that allowing Spectres to be above the law is a dangerous practice. The action of Saren Artarius lend credence to this position. The Spectres, in turn, are aggravated when CSEC's dedication to procedure and due process hampers their investigation. Oop, there's one more there. Wards. The majority of the Citadel's population lives in the wards, the five massive arms of the station that house the residential and commercial districts. Many galactic races have established cultural enclaves there. Population density and cost of living are extremely high, akin to Earth cities such as Hong Kong and Singapore. The wards are open-topped, with skyscrapers rising from the superstructures. Uh, towers are sealed against vacuum as the breathable atmosphere envelope is only maintain maintained to a height of about 7 meters. The atmosphere is contained by the centrifugal force of rotation and a membrane of dense col colorless sulfur hexafluoride gas held in place by carefully managed Mass Effect fields. The view from the wards is spectacular. The background stars, Serpent Nebula, and the nearby blue giant called the Widow move across the sky as the station rotates to st stabilize itself. In the foreground, the lights of buildings and vehicles. Uh, one moment, I'm getting a phone call. Okay, sorry. That was my brother. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, what background did I... 
uh, pick. Um, I went, I didn't do the Ruthless Colonist. I did the, because I think that's what I did before. No, I think I did the orphan one. Um, I chose the military parents one. I forgot what it was. It was like career or whatever it is. That's the one I chose for my background because I was like, I was like, you know what? I want, I want my parents to be alive <laughs> in this universe, and this, in this version of Mass Effect. I was like, yeah, I was an orphan last time. All right, where were we? We were in the wards, right? Where were we? Ba ba ba. The widow in the foreground. Okay. Uh, in the foreground, the lights of buildings and vehicles on the opposing ward arms perpetually shine. The Citadel has no real day or night, while the station keeps to standard galactical ti galactic time for political functions. Businesses rarely close, and residents acclimate to sleep and work according to personal need, rather than a day-night cycle. Additions and modifications are constantly being constructed, though they must stay within certain specifications that will not compromise the operation of the station. Occasionally, the keepers will descend on an area of the wards and move or change the architecture without explanation. Residents have learned to live with these inexplic inexplicable intrusions. Okay. Technology. Creds. The standard credit was established by the Citadel's Unified Banking Act as the currency of interstellar trade. The credit has managed floating has a managed floating exchange rate calculated in real time by the central bank to maintain the average value of all participating currencies some regional currencies are worth more than a credit and some less hard currency can be stolen or, or counterfeited so electric fund transfers are the norm more importantly physical transactions cannot be easily tracked making them ideal for tax evasion or the purchase of illegal goods when the alliance joined the citadel its various national treasuries were linked into the credit network a human Ooh, I dropped some more frames. Eh, we seem to be okay, though. Um, uh, when the Alliance... Wait, more importantly, blah, 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 when the Alliance joined the Citadel, its various national treasuries were linked to, into the credit network. A human with a bank account of Mexican pesos, Japanese yen, or Indian rupees can purchase any item priced in credits at fair market value. All economies that participate in the credit network are required to price items in both local currency and credits. Okay. Oh, we're not done, are we? I saw that there's another primary flashing. Who, where, what? In technology? Ah, here we go. Oh, we got two. Intelligence is an advanced form of user interface software. VIs use a variety of methods to simulate natural conversation, including an audio interface and an avatar personality to interact with. Although a VI can provide a convincing emulation of sentience, they are not self-aware nor can they learn or take independent action. VIs are used as operating systems on commercial and home computers. Minimal VI agents are also available. There we go. Agents are compact and specialized. Some serve as personal secretaries, filtering calls and scheduling meetings based on user-defined priorities. Others are advanced search engines, propagating themselves across the extranet to collate user requested data. Okay. Commercial VIs in a variety of stock personalities stock are available personalities. at any software retailer. Boutique firms and hobbyists also build unique VIs to personal specification. We know what those Although are for. Software emulation of living personalities is illegal. Hmm. Reconstructions of famous historical figures are common. Okay. Mass relays are feats of protean engineering advanced far beyond the technology of any living species. True. They are enormous structures scattered throughout the stars and can create corridors of virtually mass-free space, allowing instantaneous transit between locations separated by years or even centuries of travel using conventional FTL drives. Primary mass relays can propel Ooh, ships far, thousands of light years often from one spiral arm of the galaxy to another. However, they have fixed one-to-one -one connections. A primary relay connects to one other primary relay and nowhere else. Secondary relays can only propel ships across a few hundred light years. However, they are omnidirectional. A secondary relay can send a ship to any other relay within its limited range. There are many dormant primary relays whose corresponding mm -hmm. twins have not yet been located. These are left inactive until their partner is charted. As established civilizations are unwilling to blindly open a passage that might connect them to a hostile species. Smart, smart people. Smart people. All right, finally. Woohoo. 
All right. Laura is saved. Okay, I think... Because I always forget, you can't, like, mark one, can you? No, you can't. Okay. So we're going to do... Um, now that we can go to the wards, let's 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 go and travel. Let's go down and travel. What guy? What? Oh no, I wasn't. Never mind. Mm-hmm. What are you doing? Um. Yes. Is there something you want? Following the keepers? Why are you so yeah. interested in the keepers? Keepers? I've got no interest in the keep. Don't get coy. I know what I saw. I, uh... I'm not so sure I should be talking to you about this. Yeah, why not? We're just talking. Is there something wrong with that? No. <laughs> I guess it wouldn't hurt to tell you. I'm using a small scanner to gather readings on the keepers. So far, I've had mixed results. I find it difficult to get near the creatures. Yeah, why the less? Why were you being so secretive about it, though? Well, technically, we're not supposed to disturb the keepers. I don't really think my scanning disturbs them, but the authorities might disagree. I'd like to do it more openly, but it's not really worth getting arrested. Over. Uh, be right back. I'm gonna go to the store. Have a good trip to the store. Yeah, let me help. I help you out. I'm not worried about the authorities. I don't even know who you are. Uh. I'm Commander Shepard with the Alliance Military. Hmm. Well, I, I suppose I could use the help. Time is this. It's the scanning device I developed. Activate it each time you see a keeper. All collected data will automatically upload to my database. Okay. I'll even send a few credits your way for each unique scan. Yeah, why are you doing this? What are you doing with the data once you've scanned it? Trying to learn whatever I can about the keepers. We see them working everywhere, yet we know so little about them. I'm a scientist. I want to know what makes them tick. Okay. I should get going then. Yes, I have much work myself. So long. And good luck with the scanning. Thanks. Woohoo. Okay. Uh, really quick, um, I am going to do a bathroom break myself. And I'm going to get a snack. And I shall be right back. Why am I dropping frames? Saw that. Eh, we're doing okay. Alright, I'll be right back. Okie dokie. Ugh. Okay. Whoa. No. Is it on? No. There we go. Alright, I got my snack of choice today is buffalo pretzels. I'm super excited about them. How did I get scooched over? It's okay, I'll fix it. Just a minute, there we go. All right, got buffalo pretzel bites. Ah, I dropped it already, damn it. Ah. Okie dokie. All right, let's talk, I'm sure I can probably talk to this guy now. Oh, apparently I can't talk to him yet. Okay. Now let's get this keeper over here. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'll wait. <laughs> and I don't think there's any other keepers over here. Excuse me, ma'am. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna have another piece of pretzel. Nom 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 nom. I don't want you guys to hear my crunching. So if it's too loud, let me know. I know I knew there was a keeper over here. It's like I remember seeing it. My bad. I'm so sorry. Mm. 
I was so excited when I went to the store. I was getting some stuff for my um, meal prepping. And um, and I was just like, and I saw them in the chip aisle. And I was like, I haven't had that in like a year. And I'm so excited for some buffalo pretzels. Okie dokie. I think we're good to go for now. Let's continue onward. Okay, so we mostly uh, we mostly explored the whole uh, Presidium district. Here, let me get nom, nom, nom. No talking. I can't believe there we go. Mm -hmm. Oh, so now we just chase leads while this smug touring runs around with his gap troopers. <laughs> That's politics, Chief. <laughs> I hate politics. Don't we all? Mm. Let's go around and get all the, the keepers in the Presidium. There's a bunch of them over here. If I remember correctly. We. I did not. I didn't disturb him. I'm not sure what you're talking about. I want another pretzel. Mom. I feel like I'm so loud. Sorry. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that leads to that area. I don't want to talk to Barlabon just yet. Not yet. No, no. Is there a keeper in here? Oh, there's a keeper up there. Yeah. Ooh. Uh, we're going to do side quests first, and then we'll do the the main storyline. Because uh, we also got to explore the wards as well. This is my favorite floor on Citadel. Sorry, look, that's already in my head. <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Aha, there's one. Mm-hmm. Ooh. Spicy goodness. That's what this is. Um. Another one. Boop. And I don't think there was any more that way. Hello. Sorry, I'll be back. I just want to see if you have any uh, keepers in here. I don't think you do. But you know. Just in case. Nope. Hmm. Sorry, I'm just a happy, I'm a happy clam. I'm a happy clam. We're getting some buffalo pretzels. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, we've been this way. Sorry. You can hear me, can't you? Hopefully I'm not too fucking loud with the fucking chewing. Get my mouth shut. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba -da -ba and this is where I came before, right? <clears throat> no, I need to go to the opposite way. Sorry, I think I went the wrong way. Whoop. Mm-hmm. I need to cross the way, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes.
Okay. Now I'm on the, the right side that I wanted to be on. Damn it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't think there's any keepers up here. Oh, no, there is a couple. There is a couple. I forgot. There is. Let's go get them. Boop. Get away. Did you, did you see Caden just pop into existence right there? Nice. Okay, so we went this way. Let's go back this way. Let's head up to the opposite side. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're back. Welcome back. We're just finding keepers. And I'm eating buffalo pretzels. That's that's this about what we're doing. Got one more, right? Oh, that's where we came from. Sorry, my bad. I'll be I'll be back. I'll be back. Keep a cup I don't think there was one. No. Okay. Just make it sure. And then this is the bar. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Buffalo pretzel. Yeah, they're really good. They're really good. Haha, -ha, here's one. I found them. I was I was getting my my meal prep stuff uh, after work Friday and before stream, and uh, and. Um, I found them in the chip aisle and I was like, I forgot about these. These are freaking delicious. Wrong way. Boop. How many, how many, yeah, scan the keepers. Oh, we got, ah, oh, we're halfway through. We're halfway through, everybody. It has the glitchiest patch of leaves ever. They're like, Barrr! struggling to be in existence. I get it. That's a mood. Like the chunky bits one. Yeah. Yeah. See? Little, little, chunky, little, little. The pieces. Yeah. The, the pretzel pieces. Mm. Delicious. Now we can't go to CSAC. I don't think I want to, I don't think I want to do the main mission yet. So I think we'll wait on going to CSAC. Glitchy leaves are glitchy. I know, right? I mean, if that's the only complaint I have is those two patches of, of leaves, I guess I'll take it. Okay. I think we want to go to the wards, right? So we need a fast travel station, which is right there. Perfect. Now let's go to the wards, shall we? Uh oh. You're creating a public disturbance. It's against Citadel regulations. This one is unsure why the others are not wish word of the approval to be spread. I remember this mission. Oh ma'am. It's been a minute, but I remember this. Whoop. Nope. Put your gun away, please. Thank you. What's going on? That Hanar refuses to listen to reason. Why can't it act in an orderly and lawful manner? Are there laws being broken here? 
I am not unreasonable. The Hanar is free to spew its nonsense once it purchases an evangelical permit. Okay. Hold on. So if the Hanar gets a permit, it's allowed to preach? No. Registered evangelicals must follow regulations. There are specific areas where preaching is legal. Failure to follow the regulations results in the forfeiture of the license. Just arrest it. Just arrest the Hanar. What's the purpose behind the evangelical permits? Forcing religious evangelicals to register for a permit weeds out undesirables. It keeps the area safe. The Citadel is too important to become a battleground for a religious war. Um, okay. Let me talk to it. If you'd like, I could talk to the Hanar for you. I have argued that the stubborn jelly all afternoon... <laughs> Do you desire to learn of the Enkindlers? Or has the Honorable CSEC officer enlisted assistance? Um. Yeah, having trouble? Why is the CSEC officer harassing you? The CSEC officer requests that this one purchase an evangelical permit to spread the truth of the Enkindlers. If that's all the CSEC officer wants, why not just buy the permit? The truth of the Enkindlers is universal. This one humbly believes that the truth should not be suppressed. Exacting payment as a means of imposing limits upon the truth is an abrogation of this one's religious freedom. Mmm, interesting. So you're breaking the law by preaching without a permit right now? The CSEC officer states that preaching in this place is forbidden, and preaching anywhere on the Citadel requires a permit. This one humbly submits that it is not preaching to state the truth of the Enkindlers, and thus no permit should be necessary. Who are the Enkindlers? Your people know them as the Protheans. They are the true creators of this one's people. The Enkindlers raised the Hanar from ignorance into consciousness by granting this one's people the gift of speech. Uh, listen, you haven't played glitchy games till so you have played Fallout 4. Holy hell. No, you know what? I had a uh, boyfriend at the time, a partner at the time, um, and he played the shit out of Fallout 4. And so, yeah, I saw all the glitches. Bethesda's not really a developer for me. I, they, they, I don't know. There's something about their games. I, I just, like... I think they're just too open world for me and they're too non-directional or omnidirectional if you want to go the other way. Um, and so I just, I've never gotten into their games. I like, everybody's like, blah, blah, blah. And it's just like, nah, it's just, they're a little too open world for me. Yeah. It is the buggiest game ever. I know. I love the Hanar. They're so cute. This isn't the way. Is this really how you want to represent the Enkindlers? The truth of the Enkindlers must be made known. They gave the Hanar language and gave the universe the mass relays. This one only wishes to spread the truth to any who will listen. There is no intent to cause trouble. I wonder why those are grayed out. Huh. Uh, yeah, could I buy your permit? What if I purchase the evangelical permit for you? Finances are only a partial limitation. This one does not believe that one should pay in order to speak the truth. Okay. However, this one also does not possess the <laughs> I forgot about this. credits necessary to purchase the permit. <laughs> Another money grabber. You do now. That's worth worthy money. 150 credits. This should cover you. This is a most appreciated action. You are not of the Hanar, but you wish to help spread the truth of the Enkindlers. No, it's more... It's this more... one will not cause any further trouble for the CSEC officer. This one offers its thanks. No, it's more offer, like, freedom, freedom of speech. 
I don't, I don't think he should be denied, denied his evangelical services. He, he's not doing anything harmful. Ooh, I did miss this one. How did I miss this one coming right out? Jeez. Boop. Oh, I gotta, I gotta talk to the CSEC officer, don't I? Hey, bro. I see the Hanar is left. Thank you. Uh, yeah, my pleasure. Happy to help. Mm-hmm. Here, for your assistance in this matter. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should report to my superiors. Okay. I think we've gotten all the keepers. Oh shit, this is in a past travel station. Shut up. Oh, there it is. There's one. Excuse me. Okay, so... I will. Wards locations. Uh, yeah. Let's go to Kor's Den. Um. Now. I somehow ate my own hair. I love it. It's great. Is this the club? Oh, th That's, right. ah! That's not what I wanted to do just yet. Hold on. I am loading. Just because I don't want to go there yet. I actually just wanted to go to the wards and not there. dark this is mostly what I wanted to do I forgot uh, yeah I, I, I didn't want to do the story just yet Psh, game just not even listening to me it's too presidium oh no it's elevator music what was that it scared me what is this Ooh, cool. I have no idea where I am right now. I'm very lost. That's okay. Ooh, look at that. Pretty. So pretty. This isn't a station, it's a city. There must be millions here. It can't be possible to track everyone coming and going. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? Um. Melting pot is inadequate. I like that. Represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. Sorry. They probably just Ooh. want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. <laughs> like this is not the proper response. Let's move out. All right, secure the chatter. We're all FNGs here, but we don't need to make it obvious. Aye, aye, Commander. No problem. Have a great rest of your day, Marissa. Oh, Ashley felt a little xenophobia there. Yeah, thank you. That's the word I was looking for. I was like, I was calling her speciest. She's very xenophobic. Thank you. That's the word. Mm hmm. What is this? Med clinic door. Ooh, there's a keeper. Yeah, have a great rest of your day, Marissa. Ooh, what is this? Ooh. Can we see the view? Ooh. What? Very cool. All right. Med clinic. Is there like a map? There we go. Okay. 
Mm-hmm. Okay. So this map, like, I forgot how much the map, like, boop. Thank you. Sorry, I'm just checking really quick. I'll come and talk to you in a, just a second. Nothing. You have no patience, ma'am. That's a good thing. Dr. Chloe Michelle. Hi. Hello there, Commander. I'm Dr. Chloe Michelle. Is there something I can do for you? You're a doctor. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Do you see how much that costs? 420,000. Jesus. Yeah, I can't afford any of this, but you know. Apparently all the doctors so far also moonlight as fashion models. I know, right? Okay, so nothing here. All right, let's keep going. Me pop. Thank you. And off we go. We're trying to find more keepers. And let's not start the main storyline accidentally. It's the to the Presidium, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm, mm, that goes down to where? Woo! To CSAC Academy. Okay. To Presidium. To Flux. And then this is where I came from, right? Well, here. I don't know where I'm going. That's okay. What is this? Is this a doorway? I think I came in through here, didn't I? Yes. I have to sneeze. Okay. Uh-huh. Hold on. I think I know who this is. Hold on. Let me double check. <gasps> no, I loaded! I'm so dumb. I'm so dumb. I am so fucking dumb. Okay. I think I'm here. <laughs> I'm so dumb. Sorry, guys. I'd loaded instead of saved. Dumb. Okay, we don't go that way. Okay. Which way? Ooh. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, so we're in the lower wards. Okay, so then... then because that's where I accidentally went. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. So let's go this way. Sorry, guys. We're going to do some backtracking really quick. Ooh, look at the bar. Which place is this? Okay, so this is the lower markets. Okay. Hello there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. You want many good supplies, yes? Hmm? Let me see what you have. Oh, you will be pleased, I think. Very good things I have. You will see. Hello there. 
there. Welcome to Moreland's famous shop. Oh, I know, I know. I'm like, I, I don't have enough funds. I'm trying to get the licenses where I can so we can sell more stuff on the Normandy. So it's just the things that I can't afford. I'm not buying any, um, any armor or anything like that because that's just crazy. But no, thank you. Okay. Excuse you. Just getting the unique items. You know, what Bioware is known for. They always slip in unique items to their vendors. Just be like, if you may buy, don't buy this, you'll miss it. Where's this going? Nope, nope, wrong button. Where does that go? Goes to the upper markets. And this also goes to the upper markets. That goes to the upper wards. Okay, let's try going this way. Do, do, do. Uh, I know that name. Why do I know that name? Hold on. Uh, nobody can escape of inflation, apparently. I know, right? Core's done. Uh, find the commune. Okay. Okay, that's okay. Why do I know that name? Are you who I'm? Am I supposed to talk to you for some reason? I don't remember why. You're Commander Shepard, the hero of Eden Prime. I am so honored to meet you. Do I know you? Yeah. Uh, no, no, I'm just a fan. Why do I know this guy's fans, names? Actually. My name is Conrad. Conrad Werner. They say you killed more than a hundred Geth on Eden Prime. <laughs> I expect her should totally get a business credit card. <laughs> yeah, they should. That would be great. Oh my gosh, my headphones are just not being comfortable today. Ooh. Pixie, pixie. Not to push the ears, but hair behind the ears. Okay. Whoa. And then I gotta fix my earring. There we go. Whew. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. I remember something to do with this guy. I don't remember what it is, though. <laughs> Leave me alone. Uh. Really? They say a lot of things. I was too busy killing them to count. That's okay. not what I wanted to I know say. You're probably busy, but um, do you have time for a quick autograph? I don't remember this. Spectre Platinum, my capital one. I know what's in my wallet. <laughs> this is my favorite credit card on the Citadel. <laughs> um. I suppose. Here you go. Oh, I forgot. Doesn't he? Thanks. I really appreciate it. My wife. Is Doesn't so he? Impressed. I'll let you get back to work. Doesn't next time you're on Earth, Doesn't I'd he mimic me? Drink. Thanks again. God, why do I? It's gonna bug me about this name. Don't spoil it for me. But oh shit! I think I just screwed myself. Oh well. Hey, expat. Hello, Earth Clan. No doubt you've just come back from the colonies. Will you be needing supplies? What colonies are you talking about? Oh, my mistake, Earth Clan. I assumed. It doesn't matter. Pharos? Novaria? Well, if you haven't heard of them yet, I'm sure you will soon. But it doesn't matter where you hail from. My goods are available to all. What can you tell me about Novaria? The corporate capital of the Attican Traverse. Very cold. Very snowy. I don't get too many clients from there. They all have their own private suppliers. I'd like to know more about Pharos. It's an old Prothean world. 
their buildings still litter the surface. The humans aren't the first to colonize it, but they are the most recent. Hmm. I just realized I haven't heard from my contact on that planet for some time. Man, all these names are sounding... Oh, well, I'm sure he's fine. Are sounding... All these names are sounding so familiar, and it's pissing me off. <laughs> it's okay. Show me what you've got. Most excellent. I am sure you will find something pleasing. Hmm. Oh, there's another one. Can't. Ooh, there we go. Hell yeah, I'll buy that one. That's all I can buy. Best place on this board to buy upgrades. Oh, sweet. Okay. Thanks, dude. There we go. Found another one. Oh my gosh, the xenophobia. What a dick. What a dick. Okay, so these are the upper markets. Okay. This is where we came in from, right? Right? Let's see. Map. I'm so confused. Uh, it's interesting because it's a game that got sci-fi treatment. Oh, sorry. It's interesting because it's a game that got sci-fi treatment. What got sci-fi and what didn't. We have ships that are faster than life, but apparently Amazon Prime went defunct. And we're back to shady traders, right? Okay. Got it. Yep. Yeah, sorry. I got you. Gotcha. Wait, so, wait, where? Don't do that. Oh, okay, so now we're on the same level as that. Okay, okay, that makes sense. Okay. I kind of have a gist of where I am now. Kind of. Keyboard there. Excuse me, good lord. Me, this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to save here. So that, because I think this is who. I'm an it is her. Here on the Citadel. Could I have a moment of your time? What do you need? I've been hunting for evidence of corruption and organized crime on the Citadel, but there are places I can't go. I was hoping you might share anything you find during your own investigation. I can make it worth your time. How do you know that my investigation is going to uncover anything you need? You wouldn't be investigating if it weren't big. And if it's big, it's something I'd like to hear about. You've got to have access to better sources. Why contact me? I'm using every source I can find, but I think I've got a better shot with you. I've read your file. If anyone is going to uncover corruption here, it's the hero of the Skillion Blitz. Yes, I know. I'm a hero. Thank you. How do you know I'm investigating anything here on the Citadel? I'm a good journalist, Commander Shepard. Word gets around. Hmm. We'll see. No promises, but if yeah. I find anything relating to your case, yep, I'm that's what I wanted. That's that's the reply Thank I wanted. You, you won't regret it. Thanks. Okay. All right, nothing there. I know. Sorry. <clears throat> I know there's a keeper over here. I want to get it really quick. And we'll go talk to medical lady and probably purchase one of those. Okay. Woo. Like, I can't really see the nebula, and I, but I think that is, I think we're just in the nebula. Mm. 
you know what's crazy is I think the stars would be moving slightly because of the, the, the rotation of it. Because I know they're not putting like a image on the screen. That That's one thing. Um, image like a, you know what I mean? Like a picture on there. I don't think there was any, nope, there wasn't. It. Boop. Thanks. Boop. Hello there, Commander. I'm Dr. Kilomiso. Okay. Your doctor. My we already my we already listened to this, I'm so that's why I'm skipping it. Medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded. Let me take a look at what you of course. have. All right, and then I know. At least I thought so. Oh, I thought. Thought she did have something. Hmm. I must be crazy. Okay, never mind. I mean, I could buy that medical upgrade, but I don't really need it right now. We're okay. Yep. Bam. It's very cool. Hey, what? Is that your professional opinion, sir? How can they keep tabs on all of this? Presidian may as well be on another planet. There is definitely a gap between their presentation and what's here. Tracking arrivals must be a nightmare. This makes Jump Zero look like a portage on, and it's the largest deep space station the Alliance has. Jump Zero is big, but this is a whole nother scale. Look at the ward arms. How do they keep all that mass from flying apart? Council represents more races than I thought. No wonder they're careful with newcomers. They probably just want to keep everything running. It has to be hard keeping all these cultures working together. Or maybe they just don't like humans. <laughs> all right, secure the chatter. We're all FNGs here, but we don't need to make it obvious. <laughs> what does FNG mean? What does FNG mean? Was that was that in our codex? Oh shit. Where's the terminology? Was it here? There it is. I don't think this is on here. Oh, FNG. Frickin' new guy. A derisive term for an in inexperienced personnel. How did I miss all these? Did I miss all these? Oh, shit. I didn't scroll. That's my bad. <laughs> FN new guy. Thank you. Thank you, Scars. FNG. Oh, I missed these. I'm sorry. Let me read these real quick. CIC, Combat Information Center. The command center of a spacecraft. The CIC is filled with sensor displays to make sense. Out of the chaos of combat, DC, damage control, the containment and repair of damage to a spacecraft, ECM, electronic countermeasures used to avoid enemy sensors from passive emissions, masking to active jamming, EVA, extravehicular activity, ex time spent in a pressure suit outside of a vehicle, spacecraft, or station. Flank, the flank is the side of a military formation. Since the soldiers are facing elsewhere, an enemy that can attack on the flank can often turn it or roll it up. Freaking new guy, right there. Ground side, the surface of a planet. Helmsman, the crew member who pilots a spacecraft. Uh, LADAR, light amplified technology and ranging. An active sensor that bounces lasers off an object to determine its bearing and distance. LADAR has sufficient resolution that the data can be re re reconstructed into an image. Shore party, spacecraft crew sent ashore on official business, silent running, an old submariner's term used aboard the Normandy to denote when stealth systems are active. Sit rep, abbreviation of situation report, whoop. 
Uh, an evaluation of the current military situation. Spacer, someone who has spent most of their time in space. XO, executive officer, the second in command of an alliance warship. The XO is responsible for administrative and personnel matters. Cool. Cool the beans. Okay, then we're on the Serpent Nebula. Okay, the Citadel is surrounded by a blue-tinted reflection nebula. The light of the nebula is actually light from the Citadel, scattered and reflected back at the station. At first, the Serpent Nebula was assumed to be made of microscopic construction debris. Prevailing theory holds that the Protheans use molecular nanotechnology to manufacture the incredibly durable materials used in the Citadel. But unlike other nebulae, nebulae the Serpent does not dissipate over time, therefore it must be replenished constantly. The current popular theory is that the non-recyclable waste collected by the Citadel's keepers is somehow rendered down to the atomic or molecular level and ejected into the cloud. The thick nebula presents a navigation hazard beyond the relatively clear areas around the Citadel. Electrical discharges are common. Uh, beyond the relatively clear areas, blah, 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 they are not blocked by kinetic barriers and can severely damage metal frame starships. In addition, some dense knots of dust can overwhelm the repulsion of kinetic barriers on smaller ships. If such a vessel is moving fast enough at the time, the effects are similar by being hit by a sand blaster. Oof. Attempting to reach the Citadel through open space navigation is unadvisable. The only safe approach is through the various mass relays that orbit it. FYI, most of the terms are real. Yeah, I know I know that, Scars. I knew most of those. I just didn't know what FNG stand for. The only one that isn't really is LADAR, which we call LEADAR. But it is a real thing. Oh, cool. Okay. I didn't know that, so thank you. I'm always here to learn new things. All right, plants and location. Theros is oh. a habitable world in the Attic and Beta Cluster. Two-thirds of the habitable surface is covered with the ruins of a crumbling Prothean megatropolis. In the millennia since the Prothean extinction, the ruins have been repeatedly picked over by looters many times. Pharos was considered a poor prospect for colonization, as little open ground remains for agriculture. The only sizable freshwater sources are the poles, which are tapped by the decaying Prothean aqueduct systems. The dead cities, while in good condition considering their antiquity, are of uncertain stability. Ground level is congested by a dozen meters of fallen debris, and the air is fouled by dust. In 2178, the Human Exogeny Corporation announced its intention to place a permanent colony on Pharos to thoroughly explore the ruins. The pioneer settlement was placed on the upper levels of several intact skyscrapers, using the surviving Prothean aqueducts and rooftop hydroponic gardens to support the population. Novaria is a cool, rocky world with most of its hydrosphere locked up in massive glaciers. A privately chartered colony world, the planet is owned by the Novaria Development Corporation Holding Company. The NDC is funded by investment capital from two dozen high technology development firms and administrated by an executive board representing their interests. The investors built remote hot labs in isolated locations across Novaria's surface. These facilities are used for research too dangerous or controversial to be performed elsewhere, as Novaria is technically not part of Citadel space and therefore exempt from council law. By special arrangement, Citadel special tactics and reconnaissance agents have been granted extraterritorial privileges, but it remains to be seen how committed the executive board is to that principle. Given its unique situation, it is understandable that Novaria is often implicated in all manner of wild conspiracy theories. Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, LIDAR, uh, LIDAR is used by most tech companies who are developing autonomous driving system for cars other than Tesla. Oh, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Combat heart. Okay. Medigel is a common medicinal salve used by paramedics, EMTs, and military personnel. It combines several useful applications, a local anesthetic, disinfectant, and clotting agent all in one. Once applied, the gel is designed to grip tight to flesh until subjected to a frequency of ultrasound. It is sealable against liquids, most notably blood, as well as contaminants and gases. The gel is a genetically engineered bioplasm created by the CERTA Foundation, 
a medical technology megacorp based on Earth. Technically, Medigel violates council laws against genetic engineering, but to date, proved <laughs> far too useful to ban. That sounds like something we'd come up with. We'd be like, mm, you know, it's saving a lot of lives, but you know, kind of, kind of breaks some laws at the same time. Okay, so, <clears throat> excuse me. So I think we've done, does this mean in the world of Mass Effect there are no anti-gellers? Like, are you talking anti-gellers? I'm not sure, like, I'm not sure what that is. It's probably, if it's a joke, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm terrible <laughs> at getting jokes. Or like, are you talking about like, like that it would, anti break that i guess okay and this is where we were before oh look another keeper boop scared me in our world we have the anti-vaxxers oh, okay it has the anti-gellers anti-meta gellers oh my gosh sure i'm sure there is i you want to bet that it goes against the religious freedoms of somebody for this Hello, sir. Hey, I know you. You're Shepard, right? That voice does not match that face. Saw you on the vids when you got your medal. You saved the whole colony. Looks like you have a fan. I'm sorry. I just never thought I'd meet someone like you in person. Uh, my name's Lang, Officer Eddie Lang, Citadel Security. It's an honor to meet you, Commander. What are you doing down here in the wards? Anything I can help you with? Why'd you join Citadel Security? I don't know. Seemed like the right thing to do, you know? Maybe it's in my blood. My grandfather was a cop back on Earth. It's kind of what CSEC is. Police for the Citadel. I'm still pretty new at it, but I like it so far. Way more interesting than staying back on Earth. You get to meet all kinds of cool aliens. Like those Hanar. Wild. Plus, CSEC gets a lot of respect here. We uphold the law. People, even aliens, appreciate that. Okay. How do you like working here on the Citadel? This place is amazing. I've been here almost a year and I still haven't seen a tenth of it. The Presidium's just so beautiful. Good place to go and relax. But I really like it here down in the wards. There's always something going on somewhere. Like, that like a busy that city. A few months ago. Flux. Wicked scene in there, Commander. You oh yeah, we'll go there. Time. We'll go there, for sure. What do you know about Spectres? Just the stuff they show in the vids. They always make them out to be super agents on secret missions to save the galaxy. I know it's not really like that, though. Some of the other CSEC guys don't like them too much. Figure they shouldn't be able to operate outside the law. But if they were so bad, the council wouldn't use them, right? Mm -hmm. Debatable. Do you know a CSEC officer named Harkin? I shouldn't really say too much. He's been on the force a lot longer than me. But I've heard things, you know? Drinking on the job, taking bribes, that kind of thing. Rumors mostly, but they suspended him, so some of it must be true. I have to go. Right. You're probably real busy. Oh. See you around, Commander. Okay. Who's this? Ooh. I don't know what that was. We'll get the codex for it, though. Ooh. Okay, because I don't think... This is where we are, and that's underneath, and then that's going to go up, right? Okay, okay. I think, because let, let me look at our journal real quick. Governments use deniable assets and personnel to carry out legally dubious that? Never. Absurd. It's just like, oh, it's also like, this a police force? They root out every source of corruption? Sure. Okay. Be on the lookout for information. Okay, that might, that one. Probably have it, okay, okay so see, I, I knew I knew this name. I didn't know we're missing CX. Core is den, that one's going there. Head to the sentry system. Okay, and those are actual planets, right? Yeah, okay. And that's Barlavon. Citadel Garrus is t speaking to Harkin. And Korra's Den. So we'll wait until we have those missions of... Um, son of a bitch. Okay. So Citadel Garrus, um, 
Arkin is also in Kor's Den, and so is Septimus, right? So, we can't do that one, we can't do that one, and that one. So, I think we're going to explore CSEC, and then we'll go ahead and go to Kor's Den. So. Oh, we got a... Oh, we got an elevator. In light of the recent attack on Eden Prime, Ooh. many colonial investors are pulling their support for future are. projects. Proponents of expanded human colonization insist that Eden Prime was an isolated case. Nevertheless, colonist enrollment has dropped sharply. Me I said, uh, I said, okay, so, um, thank you. Thank you, Scars. Um, I know, right? We are, well, aren't we glad that didn't change? Bad PR, kiss your endorsements and funny goodbye. I know, right? A Solarian excavation team has run into an unexpected problem after unearthing a Prothean dig site. Hanar protesters have blockaded the dig site, claiming that artifacts of the Enkindlers, as the Hanar call them, should not be disturbed. The excavation team has appealed to Hanar representatives on the Citadel to reach a diplomatic solution. Okay, and so this comes out to... Okay. To CSEC. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Okay. Sorry, we're gonna go on there one more time. Helix has settled out of court with a Krogan group that had accused the Genetics Corporation of fraud. The Krogan group had contracted Binary Helix to perform studies with a long-range goal of curing their genetic sterilization. The group later sued for a return of investment money when the study produced no viable results. Well, that sucks for the Krogans. But isn't that like what investment is? It's like, it's, it's shoddy. It's like, it's like, there's a chance of it not working out. You know? I'm just saying. Why the expanse is some of my favorite stuff. Oh, the expanse is good. Uh, 300 years from now and human beings are still narrow and petty. Evolution is a slow process. Yeah, for sure. For sure. Oh shit. Okay, and then uh, where are we on the map? Okay, so we're on this side. Okay, so we're, we're exploring the right area. Okay, I was like making sure I'm not close to the story. <laughs> hey there. Oh, you're not CSEC, are you? Did you want something? What were you trying to explain to the officer before? My colleague is trying to kill me, and I thought we were friends. How do you know he wants you dead? He's changed. He won't talk to me at work anymore, and he started following me. 
Yesterday, he followed me all the way home, just waiting for a chance. I don't care what anyone thinks. He wants me gone. I know it. Uh, yeah, how can I help? Is there something I can do? Uh, talk to your friend, maybe? Would you? That's all I want. Someone to talk to him. Tell him to leave me alone. He thinks he can just push me around, but you'll show him, won't you? Although I do get the space opera vibe of this, it reminds me a little bit of the early seasons of Star Trek The Next Gen, when the episode plots were much more about the noble humans of the Federation. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I, yeah. I love Next Gen, though. I love, I love OG, um, but Next Gen, I just love Next Gen. And there's also something about the... The Federation tries to just live such a perfect life, but they're always constantly breaking their own rules, or at least Picard is, you know? And then it just, it, I can see where you're saying that it did become a tired argument of breaking the rules and everything like that, yeah. Uh, I'll talk to him. Just tell me where he is and I'll go find him. Mm -hmm. Oh, right. Oh, well, he wanted to meet with me down in the wards near the markets. He said he just wanted to talk, but I know better. Uh-oh. His name's Shorban. He's a Solarian. You shouldn't have any trouble. He's just a scientist. Okie okay, doke. Shorban. That's the guy who asked us to scan the Keepers. You're right. That's why I knew the name. Thank you. The Keepers? Well, even more reason to go after him. That's against regulations. I see. I better look into this right away. Find out what he's up to. Anything's possible with Shorban these days. Well, good luck. I think the only captain who could actually afford to break the rules without fearing a court martial was J Jane Way. Yeah, for sure. So the new Picard series is so good. He's a living legend in that series. At and at some point, every other character just wants to punch him. I know, I know. I was, I don't know. I didn't really care for Picard to be honest with you. That's because they're all jealous of Picard. Yeah, for sure. I just, I just wish they would leave. I leave Picard alone, to be honest with you. Hello. Hello. Okay, you have nothing else to say to me? Okay, Doc. Let's go. Alright, anything else in here? Nope. That was it? Oh, we're, we're continuing this way. <clears throat> it's like, you're just seeing... He looks... So, Sir Patrick Stewart looks so old, and I'm like, just let him retire in peace, please. Come on. Oh, there's a keeper. <clears throat> Boop. I'm sure they, they basically just have, like, um, Sir Patrick Stewart, like, just come in and say his lines, and then they use a body double for, like, everything else. At least I hope that's how it works, so that he's not running around being crazy. Woohoo! Got a bunch of stuff. Oop, that's not... Whoa, that was glitchy. Let's stay away from that. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh, I jumped a bunch of frames. God damn it. You doing okay, though? Yeah, okay, all right. I'll believe you for now. <laughs> all right, okay. Gonna double check everything. Hold on. Make sure everything's working okay. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, now that's back down to there. And then this goes up to there, right? Where does this go? Where does this go? That's to the Presidium. Okay, sorry. I'm getting confused. As per normal. And then where does this go? To the docking bay. So that goes all the way down below. Okay. Wait, I don't think I've been down to the docking bay. Hold on. Let's just let's just check it out. Of Eden Prime, Oops, sorry. We present another profile in courage with serviceman Nirali Bhatia. A devoted wife and talented chef, serviceman Bhatia joined the Alliance military under the Deferred Education Plan. After finishing her service, Bhatia planned to open a restaurant. 
Instead, she gave her oh. life protecting the colonists of Eden Prime. For more profiles in Courage, or to explore opportunities in the military, please visit the Alliance Military on the Extranet. Keyword, Courage. Look at these. All these gorgeous people. Woo! Yeah, I haven't been up here. This year. Is that the Normandy? Yeah, it is. Hell fucking yeah, it is. Ooh. And I can go back in. Oh. Okay. What is going on? Sorry, Commander. Nobody's allowed on the Normandy right now. Doing some routine maintenance. Dude, her eyes are weird. Okay, sorry. Beep, beep. What, can I go in here? Ah, oh, poo. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. So it's good to know CSEC is... Oh, found another keeper. How many do we have left of that? Let's see. Ba -ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Got four more left. Four more, which I think is going to be on that. Picard is the best captain. I would agree. I would agree, one show. I In would agree. Entertainment news, Francis Kitt has announced plans to direct Hamlet with Elcor cast members. A Hamlet would be hilarious with Elcor. Dramatic theater to the Elcor with a Hamlet who uses Elcor body language and pheromones. Kitt claims that he's also excited by giving a human audience the chance to judge Hamlet by his deeds and not his emotions. Wait, what? That doesn't make any sense. It's Elcor, so just because humans aren't going to pick up the emotions doesn't mean they're not there. What was that text bubble? Did that, it probably just said like something like a fucking... I went the wrong way. This way. All right. Here it is. Bumped up. Yeah, you. Oh, and he's a vendor. He's not even a. Uh... Okay. Hello. Commander Shepard mm -hmm. with the Alliance military. Yep. First time on the Citadel. That about right? Sure is. How did you know all that? I'm the CSEC requisitions officer. I need to make sure our buyers are authorized. So. Will you be purchasing sure. anything today, Commander Shepard? Hell yeah. Show me what you got. Excellent. I hope you find what you're looking for. <laughs> Probably not. Probably can't buy anything. Ooh, but I can get a license. Thank you. Uh, it's an interesting exploration of him as a person because to become the living legend, he had to proverb proverbially laid down his life and unfortunately he didn't realize it until the sunset of his years that Picard the Starfleet officer is all that he is. That's why no one likes him. Everyone has decided there's other things to do in his life. Even Q tells him in a way in season two. Yeah, for sure. It's it's definitely the exploration of what a hero in his twilight years. Yeah. Is. Okay, so we want to go back down this is to the Presidium, sorry. I will figure this out, I promise. <clears throat> I think I I think I only got to <clears throat> season one. Uh oh. Uh oh. I got there fast. Based his accusation upon eyewitness accounts of the scene, but lacked the evidence to demand further investigation. Uh oh. When asked to comment, a council spokesperson would only state that the investigation of the attacks upon Eden Prime was currently ongoing. I like the little mic pop at the end. There we go. All right. So I think, let me double check. Trying to kill him. So let's go let's go talk to Torben first and take care of that. And then 
And then let's go talk to Barlavon because he's going to be in that same area because I think all we have left, right? Stop it. Can't do that one because that's out in space. And it's in the Hawking Ada Cluster that is also in space. That is where the storyline is. And then we, I think we've scanned all the keepers that we can find right now. That one's just going to be like if we come across him again. And that's going to be coming. Okay, so let, let's go do this one. Now, if I remember correctly, Torbon was in the Citadel, is in the Presidium. To... I don't know why I went this way, but... Oh well. I just need a fast travel station, actually. And I have to itch my nose. Fast travel station, where is it? Santa Peach. Oh! Have we been to Flux yet? I don't think we actually have. All right, let me try this really. Aha, yeah, see, flak, 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 flak. Flux is over here, which is, I believe, the nightclub of our choice. Oh, gosh dang it, my freaking nose, man. Sorry, one sec. Sorry about that. Okay. Have to make sure. Okay, there's the Citadel Rapid Tread. All right, let's go party. Okay, xenophobia still rampant. Each season has a theme. Season 1 was about the closure over Data's death. Season 2 is about how Picard lives in mortal fear of feeling love and being vulnerable. Season 3 just started, but it's wild, keeping to the practice of breaking the noble assumptions of the original TNG series. Interesting. Okay, I'll have to give it another chance. Because like I said, I was like, I was not feeling season 1, to be honest with you. Discussing with the Volus. Who, Doran? Oh, uh, I was just asking him about my sister. See, she worked for Doran before she left to. Sorry, I don't want to bore you with my problems. It's okay. Go on. I'm interested to hear what you have to say. Well, okay. My sister Jenna left here to go work at Cora's Den. We're gonna be going there next anyway. Yes, she's working as an informant for season. You know, eavesdropping on the people there. If they find out what she's doing. Um, is she really at risk? I assume CSEC is protecting her? They can't watch her all the time. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I think she stays there just to spite me. Have you talked to CSEC? Do you know who her contact at CSEC is? No. It's all very secret. Last time I asked an officer, he told me to stay out of it for Jenna's safety. Uh, I'll speak, I'll speak to Maybe her. Maybe I can help her understand just how dangerous Cora's den is. Would you? That'd be great. Just don't tell her I sent you. Okay. Well, I should get back to work before I get in trouble. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I was like, can I talk to Doran? Welcome to Flux. Name's Doran. What can I do for you? I think it's different because it's trying to account for what has happened in DS9 of Voyager. Yeah, Dominion War continued to strive for the Romulans. Janeway is, of course, back on Earth and is now an actively serving admiral. That's awesome. 
Yeah, it's been a while since I've watched the Star Trek universe. I don't remember everything that happened in it. Is this a casino? Among other things, yes. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Thanks. What can you tell me about the sisters working for you? Well, Jenna left to work at Cora's den. Now her sister Rita is all worried she might be in some kind of trouble. Not much chance Jenna will change her mind, though. She's a stubborn one. If she wanted to come back, I'd take her in a second. Mm. The customers loved her. Are you the owner? Owner, cook, and bartender. I've even been known to dance a little when the movie Hey, starts. nice, Duran. We've got some quasar stations, uh, if you're interested. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> goodbye. <laughs> Sometimes Shepard is so curt. Just like, goodbye. I was done. I'm done conversing with you. Ah, oh, hello. Sorry, I was just making conversation. Can I play this? What? Okay, 20 play, get closest to 20 without going over. Okay. Is it like blackjack? Uh, that one. Uh, that one. I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna take a chance. Woohoo! I'll take it. Thank you. Oh, that's fun. Those stakes, core blah 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 blah. Uh, sure. Why not? Try it. Ah, poo. No, I'm good. I don't want to waste my money. <gasps> there it is. Boop. Go. Is this high stakes? No, I don't want to pay high stakes. Cool. That was fun. I don't remember. Could you play Quasar the first time around? I don't remember this. Sorry, we're going back to the music. I'm going to start jamming. All right, let's jam. Okay, I think we're done. This area. Boom. Had no idea there was a mini game that we could play at Core's Den. Okay, good. Good, Alien. I'm glad I wasn't the only one that didn't know. Was that maybe added? I don't remember. I don't remember playing it. So I'm glad it wasn't just me. Oh, sorry. I got that song stuck in my head now. That's the Flux Casino. Flux Casino. Flux Casino. Right one. Okay, so that's zoom out. Okay. That's C-Sec, I believe. Okay. S oh, God, that scared me. I was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> what was that? All right. Uh, fast travel station. Where's the fast travel? Was there a fast travel station up there and I just fucking missed it? No. Fucking loading again. Um, maybe there's one in here? I don't remember where it is. Sorry, I'm just kind of guessing. That's to the city. What is this one? This is where we came from, right? Yes. Did I not scan this one? I guess I didn't. Oh, I missed it. I missed it because I was avoiding this area. Because this goes into Korra's Den. Correct? Correct, I believe. So now how many keepers are we at? We are missing one. 
It's got to be over by Cora's Den. There's got to be one that's over by uh, Cora's uh, Den. And, um... Who are you? Oh, it's Ashley. Ashley. <sighs> sometimes... Oh, boy. Sometimes I'm dumb. Okay. I was like, who was that? It's just Ashley stuck. Um... Okay, I think I'm gonna find a fast travel faster by so going up here. You happy you signed on with Commander Shepard? I'm not sure, Lieutenant. Every time I think I have a handle on things, the universe banks hard to port. <laughs> well, don't let anybody know. A big gun and a confident attitude will get you through a lot in life. I mean, he's not wrong. A big gun and an attitude will get you far in life. Uh, if you didn't get an achievement for completing type called Playing for Keeps, Bioware, fail. Well, we'll find out. Well, wait, wait, wait. We're just about to get it. Let's see. Let's see if we get one. Jesus, was that as loud for you guys as it was, was for me? Oh, fwah. Sorry. Completed it. Woohoo. Nope. I'm sorry. No achievement. It's a fail. It's a fail. I just need a fast travel spot. Where the fuck am I? Angry people make mistakes. I used to think I'm about this, but it makes me nervous. I think this is CSAC, isn't it? Holy shit, sometimes I'm so lost as to where I am. <sighs> so where am I now? Citadel, Flux and Ward's access. I have no idea. Don't worry, you'll get a message later from the keepers explaining their privacy policy and and, and what they're doing with the data they collected. I know, right? <sighs> I have no idea where I'm going right now. Celebrations are being planned for the anniversary of the end of the Rachni Wars. No. Many council worlds, particularly Asari and Solarian colonies, will hold victory parades to commemorate the defeat of the invading Rachni. In a rare admission of debt, several Asari colonies have invited Krogans to be honored for the victories the uplifted Krogans made possible. I mean, they're the reason. Yeah, never mind. Okay. All right. I have no idea where I am. I'm very lost, but we're on the Presidium, so I should be able to get my bearings pretty quickly here. And I just need a fucking fast travel area. Are you supposed to be preaching here, bro? Keep on. Where the fuck is the fast travel? Sounds like we know which colonies to visit. Probably some punch and pie there if they're throwing a party. I know. Hell yeah, right? Where the fuck is the fast travel? Fucking. Gah. I remember you, you're going to travel the Citadel enough to where you're going to. There's one. Jesus. Um, where you're going to figure things out. I mean, but I'm. Be you know what? I'm really dumb and I should have just gone up to the tower. We were right by it. Oh well. Too late now. I'm here. Uh, Presidium locations. We want to go to the... Concert chamber? No! Not that one. Damn it. That's not where I wanted to go. Sorry, that was the wrong location. All right, Presidium, we want to go to the Citadel Tower, please. Thank you. Oh, they didn't remaster that audio. Did you hear that? <laughs> Where is he at? Where is he? He was here. No, I'm waiting to speak with one of the council's assistants. Commander.
Well, where is he supposed to be? Yeah, da 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 da. He claims Salarian. Yes. Talk to Torbon. Oh, the Salarian will meet you in the lower markets. God. Damn it. I'm dumb. I should have checked that first. That's all right. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be one of my playthroughs without me getting lost. Ooh, no, it's. Uh, we want lower rewards. Lower rewards, please. Markets. Totally unrealistic that a rare admiral would have to use a kiosk. They have task bitches for that. <laughs> All right, where is he? Uh, Bolus, expat. Oh, he's not on this side. Do, do, do. I gotta remember that there's one here in the market. Yep. No, no, it said lower lower markets. Okay, sorry. I'm just thinking. Lower markets is the stairway below. Because it's lower. You can. <laughs> you can. All right, so it should be, he should be down here somewhere. There he is. Commander, mm -hmm. I wasn't expecting to see you again. Is there something you want? Uh, I'd like the truth, please. You can start by telling me the truth, Shorbin. I'm not sure what you're referring to. My experiments are... Quit stalling. Jaleed told us what you've been up to. You... Spoke with Jaleed? Then you know about the data? Not yet. No, but you're going to tell me. <laughs> you boys can go. Looks like my plans have changed. It's not as bad as you think, Commander. Jaleed and I just got a little over our heads. How so? Keep talking. <laughs> the company we work for developed an experimental procedure for use in medical scanners. Okay. Jaleed I and I saw like... even more potential. So we stole the plans and secretly developed a tool to scan the keepers. Okay. Can you imagine a tool that can actually get readings from the keepers? Ooh. Okay. What's so. What's so special about that? The keepers are almost impossible to scan, and you can't capture them or get samples. They just self-destruct. Excuse me, that was young. After centuries here, we still don't know anything about them. Don't you see? We were the first to scan them ever. You've seen it yourself, Commander. You know we can do it. Welcome to the lower wards where we keep it on the down low, if you know what we mean. Waka waka. Waka waka. And Why are you trying to kill your partner? I'm not trying to kill him. Jaleed's job was to disseminate our initial findings. But he decided to keep the data for himself. Maybe to sell it. I don't know. Can I just like sigh? I should kill both of you idiots. <laughs> we lost our heads. <laughs> just couldn't let an opportunity like this pass us by. Commander, if you just continue gathering data for me, imagine what we might learn. You will stand to make a bit of a profit yourself, remember? I am actually going to go uh, go along with this because I'm interested to see where this goes. I know I chose this my original playthrough, but yeah. Well, if it'll help further the scientific cause, how can I refuse? Yeah. Very good. Maybe if you wouldn't mind speaking with Jaleed. The data you're gathering for me is useless if Jaleed won't help me analyze it. Sure. I'll go have a chat with him right now. Thank you. And happy scanning, Commander. Okay, so and what's also cool about Mass Effect via uh, Dragon Age is you can think whatever you want, and uh, and your um your crew members don't have negative or positive impacts. At least I don't think so. Not that I remember. 
I am Commander Shepard, and I do not bow to sponsors. But just out of curiosity, how much money were, were you talking about exactly? That's exactly how Shepard is. Um, wasn't telling you. Okay, so let's go back to C-Sec. Let's just get this mission done. Then we can move on and actually maybe start the... Which way did I go? Nope, we went this opposite way. Because I know there was a transportation. We gotta go back to C-Sec. There it is. Bam, bam, bam. Fucking sound, man. Uh, C sec, please. Yeah, they did not remaster that sound. That is sounding. That is sounding crackly. Crackly. I don't remember where exactly he is. Which which side? That one. I was I was heading the correct way. Like I knew I was where I was going the whole time. Weep. Okay, let's save. My bad. Sorry. God, I'm gonna have all the police on me. Hello again. Did you have any luck finding Shorbin? Yes. I found out you've been lying to me, Jaleed. Lying? Why would I lie to you? What about the Keeper data? Uh, he told you? I didn't mean for any of this to happen. Mm-hmm. I was afraid Shorbin would kill me to get the data, so I... Well, I was hoping you'd take care of me. Of course you were. I'm scanning the Keepers for Shorbin. You two need to stop fighting. You're... You're helping us? But... Well, if you say so. Mm-hmm. Well, if Shorbin can forgive and forget, then so can I. I appreciate the help, Commander. I better go get that data analyzed. Yeah, you better. Thank you. I got 30 credits for that. What kind of bullshit was that? Okay, so we're done there. Uh, that one's there. That's there. And yeah, I think we're... If I believe correctly, let me see. Uh, oh yeah, let's go talk to Barla Vaughn first. And then... And then... And then we'll do the story. So we need to go up to the Presidium, which I believe is this elevator. It is. Hell yeah. I figured it out, guys. How you holding up, Lieutenant? Not too bad. No headaches worth mentioning lately. Woohoo! Like I'm getting used to the strain. Maybe you've just got a good stress release. I know that knocking the gaff on their synthetic asses gets oh. my headaches. Yes, that's yes, that that is what she meant. Mm hmm All right, uh, to embassies. Oh, this is uh, we need to go up and across, right, for Barlavon, I think. Well, we're gonna find out. Gotta walk around and walk on the glitchy leaves. Glitchy leaves. I believe he's right down here. He's like the first door. Am I, am I right? I think I'm right. Hmm. Well, we'll find out. I think he's this way, and I think... I think... Oh my god. So fucking confusing. Mm. Okay, um... No, I think he's over here. I think that's Barlavon's place right there. Let's see. Yeah, heck yeah, I was right. 
All right, Barla Vaughn. Is there anything I can do for you today, Commander? Boo. Excuse me. Sorry. I heard you work for the Shadow Broker. Do you have any information about Saren? You're very blunt, Shepard. Yeah. But you're right. <laughs> I am an agent for the Shadow Broker. I am I an agent for something. the Shadow Broker. Saren. I don't know why my voice did that. I could hear it through my through my headset that that was weird. I have to touch my eye. Sorry. Um, what's the cost? I hear your information can be expensive. Yeah. Normally, this information would cost a small fortune, but these are exceptional circumstances. Mm -hmm. So I am going to give it to you for free. Mm -hmm. What's the catch? Exactly. There is no catch. The shadow broker is quite upset with Saren right now. They used to do a lot of business until Saren turned on him. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. Saren betrayed him. Imagine, Imagine that. <laughs> No matter what you think of Saren, he's not stupid. He knows the Shadow Broker is a valuable ally. Turning on him doesn't make sense. Not unless something huge was at stake. I don't know the details, but the Shadow Broker hired a freelancer to deal with it. A Krogan mercenary. I know who that is. Yeah, where is he? How do I find him? I heard he was paying Citadel Security a visit. If you hurry, you can probably catch him before he leaves the CSEC Academy. Yeah, why is he there? Isn't it strange that a Krogan would want to speak with CSEC? Very. However, I doubt the visit was entirely his choice. <laughs> You'll need to speak with him if you want to know more. I hope I hope it's who I think it is. Uh, this, that Tell one. me more about the Shadow Broker. Yeah. Most people think I deal in finances, but my real currency is knowledge. I trade information, and it has made me very wealthy. But the Shadow Broker is the true master. Every day he buys and sells secrets that could topple governments, always giving them to the highest bidder. Yet somehow he never seems to upset the natural... Yeah, I was going to say, yeah, mm hmm All those secrets being passed around seem to even out. Nobody ends up with an advantage in the end. Yeah, who is he? Any guess what his identity might be? I don't know. Nobody does. The Shadow Broker could be any race, any gender. I have a theory that it's actually an entire group working under one identity. How else could they juggle so many contacts at the same time? How else could they keep all that information from getting crossed? But they've got the perfect setup. Every government is forced to play their game so they don't get behind. But no matter how long you play, no matter how many secrets you buy, you can never win. I thought you'd know more about the man you work for. From time to time, I come across information I sell to the Shadow Broker. That's my only involvement. I like it that way. The more you know, the more dangerous the game becomes. I don't like danger, Commander. I'll leave that to you. I can, I can, I can respect that. I should go. I think that's about the only thing I respect about him. Goodbye, Commander. <laughs> Just the way he says it freaks me out. Oh look, there was, God damn it. there was a fucking fast travel right here. Uh, presidium locations. Nope. I want to go to CSEC, please. Thank you. Mm-hmm. I have not arrived at Flux Nightclub in the wards. Thank you very much. That is incorrect. Oh, there he is. I see him. Let's do a save real quick. Uh, you know what? Actually, hold on. I haven't done any codex entries for a minute. The Ooh, yeah. Here we go. Krogan. There's... There he is. Until the invention of gunpowder weapons, eaten by predators was still the cause of Krogan fatalities. Afterwards, it was death by gunshot. I forgot about the sentry. When the discovered them, the Krogan were a brutal, primitive species, struggling to survive a self-inflicted nuclear winter. The Salarians culturally uplifted them, teaching them to use and build modern technology so they could serve as soldiers in the Rachni War. Liberated from the harsh conditions of their homeworld, 
The quick breeding Krogan experienced an unprecedented population explosion. They began to colonize nearby worlds. Even though these worlds were already inhabited, the Krogan rebellions lasted nearly a century, only ending when the Turians unleashed the Genophage, a Salarian developed bioweapon that crushed all Krogan resistance. The Genophage makes yeah. only one in a thousand pregnancies viable. And today, the Krogan are a slowly dying breed. Understandably, the Krogan harbor a grudge against all other species, especially the Turians. Are we... Are... Oh, we're not quite there yet. Hold on. Oh, cruisers. Okay. Cruiser weight starships are the standard combat unit encountered away from large naval bases. The poor bloody infantry of most fleets. Nimble scouting frigates have neither the punch nor the stamina to stand up to serious combat. And the mighty dreadnoughts are a strategic resource carefully hoarded and committed to the most critical battles. Cruisers perform routine independent show the flag patrols in settled systems and lead flotillas of frigates in small engagements, such as pirate suppression campaigns. In major fleet engagements, cruiser squadrons support the dreadnought battle line by screening their flanks uh, against enemies attempting to maneuver for a main gun bow shot from their vulnerable broadsides. Alliance cruisers are named after the cities of Earth. Starship Dreadnoughts. The Dreadnought is the ultimate arbiter of space warfare. Millions of tons of metal, ceramic, and polymer dedicated to the projection of firepower against an enemy vessel of like ability. No sane commander would face a Dreadnought with anything less than another Dreadnought. Dreadnought's power lies in the length of its main gun. Dreadnoughts range from 800 meters to 1 kilometer long with a main gun of commensurate length. An 800 meter mass accelerator is capable of accelerating one two kilogram slug to a velocity of 283 kilo kilometers kilometers a second every two seconds each slug has the kinetic energy of 38 kilotons of tnt three times the energy released by the fission weapon that destroyed hiroshima when used to bombard planets, some of this kinetic energy is lost due to atmospheric reentry friction. As a rule of thumb, each Earth's atmosphere of air pressure saps approximately 20% of a projectile's impacted en impact energy. The Turian fleet presently has 37 dreadnoughts, the Asari 21, and the Solarian 16. Humanity has six, with an addition, additional hole under construction at Art. Art Arcturus Station. Alliance battleships are named for mountains of Earth. Everest class, Everest, Fuji, Elbrus. Kilimanjaro class, Kilimanjaro, Taishan, Shasta, Aconcagua. I'm not sure. I think that's a South American mountain that I've not heard pronounced before. Uh, Starship fighters. Fighters are single pilot combat small craft. They are lightweight enough that they can be economically fitted with powerful element zero cores, making them capable of greater acceleration and sharper maneuvers in starships. Kinetic barrier shields changed starship battles from short, vicious bloodbaths to extended and decisive slugging matches. The only the main gun of a dreadnought could punch a mass accelerator slug through the barriers of an opposing dreadnought. This changed with the development of the fighter launch mass disruptor torpedo. <coughs> A short-ranged weapon that can penetrate kinetic barriers to destroy their projector assemblies. Starship Guardian defenses must be overwhelmed through swarm tactics. Fighter groups can take heavy casualties pressing their torpedo attacks home. Once fighter-launched torpedoes have crippled an enemy's barriers, the mass accelerators on frigates and cruisers can make short work of them. Interceptors are a type of fighter optimized to attack other fighters with no ability to damage starships. Interceptors are used to screen friendly units from incoming fighter attack. All right, frigates. Frigates are light escort and scouting vessels. They often have extensive guardian systems to provide anti-fighter screening for capital ships and carry a squad of marines for security and ground side duty. Unlike larger vessels, frigates are able to land on planets. Frigates' drive systems allow them to achieve high FDL cruise speeds. They also have pr proportionally larger thrusters and lighter design mass, allowing them to maneuver more handily. In combat, speed and maneuverability make a frigate Im immune to the long-range fire of larger vessels. In the time it takes projectiles to reach them, frigates are no longer where they were predicted to be. In fleet combat, frigates are organized into wolf pack flotillas of four to six. Wolf packs speed through enemy formations, hunting enemy vessels whose kinetic barriers have been taken down by fighter launch disruptor torpedoes. The wolf pack circle strafes vulnerable targets using their superior speed and maneuverability to evade return fire. Alliance frigates are named for great battles in human history. Nice. 
All right, what do we got? Uh, communications administration. While comm buoys allow rapid transmi transmission, there is a finite amount of bandwidth available. Given that trillions of people may be trying to pass a message through a given buoy at any one time, access to the network is parceled out by um, priority tiers. The Citadel Council inspectors have absolute priority if they are using all the bandwidth. Excuse me. Everyone else must wait. Individual governments and their militaries enjoy the next highest tier. Gosh, dang it. Excuse me. During wartime, civilian communication can suffer hours or even days of lag. Intelligence agencies study ping time through various systems to predict military buildups. Below the government's and military's bandwidth priorities sold to the highest bidder. Media conglomerates, particularly headline news networks, purchase higher priority to provide their viewers with timely information. Corporations that require time, timely information and response capability, for example, financial institutions and investment firms, also invest heavily in priority access. The funds acquired through sales of bandwidth are used to maintain and expand the communications infrastructure. While everyone with a computer has guaranteed free and unlimited access to the galactic extranet, they are last in line for bandwidth with and may have to wait for their request to be processed. Bandwidth resale corp corporation use investment capital to purchase blocks of high priority access made available by paid subscription. Whew, that was a mouthful. What do we got? Who are Ah, we got something over here. Combat hard ah, blah, 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 blah. All modern infantry weapons from pistols to assault rifles oh. use micro scaled mass accelerator technology. Projectiles consist of tiny metal slugs suspended within a mass-reducing field, accelerated by magnetic force to speeds that inflict kinetic damage. The ammo magazine is a simple block of metal. The gun's internal computer calculates the mass needed to reach the target based on distance, gravity, and atmospheric pressure, then shears off an appropriate-sized slug from the block. A single block can supply thousands of rounds, making ammo a non-issue during any engagement. Yuppers. Top-line weapons also feature smart targeting that allows them to correct for weather and environment. Firing on a target in a howling gale feels the same as it does on a calm day at the practice range. Smart targeting does not mean a bullet will automatically find the mark every time the trigger is pulled. It only makes it easier for the marksman to aim. Hell ye. Okay, I think we're done. Now we can save. Okay. Whew. Uh, did we level up? Is that what that is? Yeah, we did. Okay. Um, let's get this done. Okay. And then... Infiltrators... By Technomine. What do we, what do we got? No. Tech Explosion. Mm, I'm gonna upgrade pistols really quick. I'm almost so close to unlocking sniper rifles. Almost. Almost. Okay, so now. Oh, we're talking. We're talking to the best character in the game. Well, one of them. One of them. Hello. Witnesses saw you making threats in Fist's bar. Stay away from him. I don't take orders from you. This is your only <laughs> warning, Rex. <laughs> you should warn Fist. I will kill him. Oh, I love Rex so much. You want me to arrest you? I want you to try. Go on. Get out of here. Yes, human. Uh, Rex? I'm trying to bring down Saren. Barla Vaughn said to talk to you. Barla Vaughn is a wise man. I bet. I'm so happy. How so? Enlighten me. I've been hired to kill the owner of Korra's den. Ooh. A man named Fist. He did something very foolish. Uh, let me guess. He betrayed the Shadow Broker. A Quarian showed up here on the Citadel. He was on the run. She wanted to trade information for a safe place to hide, so she went to Fist. He promised to arrange a meeting between her and the Shadow Broker. Instead, he contacted Saren. Why? What does Saren have to do with this? Well, the Coria had 
has something that connects Saren to the Geth. He paid Fist a small fortune for her. If we get our hands on that evidence, we can prove that Saren's a traitor. And the Council will have to listen to us. Hmm, we might be too Saren late. might already have her. Last I heard, Fist still had her. Oh god, I miss Rex so much. Ugh. You help me kill Fist, she's all yours. What about the Shadowbroker? I want to know more about your employer. Can't tell you much. All I got was a coded message with the details of the job. Standard procedure. What about Garrus, that Turian? He wants to take Saren down too. Sure, we can he use him. come in handy. Yep. He was here just before you showed up. Said he was going to follow up a lead on his investigation. Wanted to speak to the doctor at the med clinic. Move out. <laughs> I'm so excited. Uh, bye, Ashley. See ya. Easy. Easy. Oh, I love you so much, Rex. Oh, I missed him so much. Oh, sorry. Oh my gosh, I leveled up again. Okay. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Ooh, yeah. Let's get into sniper rifles, shall we? Yeah. yeah. You. you. Overkill. He is, I think, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye-bye, xenophobic biatch. Way too excited to fire Ashley. Yeah, no, uh, see aliens comment. <laughs> she's, 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 I, I think she's one of the worst characters in Mass Effect 1. That's saying something. <laughs> it's like, no, if I choose to, she goes, she'll just sit on her part of the ship and we'll never see action again. <laughs> Uh, okay, so we're going up to the med clinic in the upper wards where we know exactly where that is. So, all right. Okay, anyway, we're, we're not going to look at that yet. But I'm so excited to have Rex. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, I'm nerding out right now. Um, so, oh, how do I get to that? Would it maybe... I think it'll be easier. Actually, where, where's the fast travel? Where's it? There it is. Okay, let's go to... It's a ward location. Med clinic. There we go. Thank you. Okay. Let's do a quick save real quick. Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut or we'll... Who are you? Let her go. Ooh! Nice. Nice, Garrus. Nice. God damn it, Rex. Get out of here. Anybody else? That's not what I meant to do, but that's okay. I didn't look that cool. <laughs> Thank you so much for your service, Ashley, but we would prefer the seven-foot frog that stands on two legs. Yes, exactly. Have you heard his voice? I'm just saying, okay? <laughs> he sounds... He sounds so much like... Uh, uh, like uh, John Goodman. Yes. That's his name, right? Yes. Okay. What's up, Garrus? Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Uh, yeah, it was a nice shot. You took him down clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Mm -hmm. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? She was freaking out. No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Uh, who were those men? Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They worked for Feast. They wanted to shut me up. Keep me from telling Garrus about the Torian. The one I told you about, Shepard. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. 
for first first do no harm proceeds to shoot people in the meta in medical bay uh rex is one of the coolest characters in the trilogy he just speaks his mind and to hell with anyone who disagrees and yes he does sound like john goodman i know i love it um We don't have anything yet, but Fist does have her. Paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard, but I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Yeah, why do you hate Saren? I don't remember. Why do you want to bring him down? I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council and a disgrace to my people. Okay, you made your case. Welcome aboard. <laughs> Fist is going to be waiting for us. When we hit him, we better hit him hard. I know. I accidentally just walked right into that. Uh, yes, and yes. We have to have... That's fine. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay, guys. Okay, I've got my boys now. Are you sure you're okay? Properly thank you for saving me from Fist's guards, Commander. No problem. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Mm. Happy to help. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. True. Me too. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> All right. I'll be going now. All right. Goodbye, Commander. Nice talking to you. All right. Let's go. Right. So I think that's what we have. Um. That's Kor's den. We're, that is fine. In Kor's den. Yep. That's about all we got. Let's go. Let's do it. Boop. Uh, fast travel station. What's location? Core's done, please. Okay. Are we ready, guys? Do a quick save a snoo. I keep doing that. And this goes up, right? This doesn't do anything crazy, right? Yes. Okay. Excuse me, guys. We ready? Let's do this. Uh, is it... I, I miss it. Uh, I think it's Sean88. Thank you so much for the follow. I greatly appreciate you. Let me see. That's what I get. That's what I get for not having my alerts up. So I apologize. That's on me. Ah, oh, Sean. Okay, it is Sean888. Thank you so much for the follow. Greatly appreciate it. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Fucking. Oh, here it is. Okay, we ready? All right, let's get into some action. Oh, they're not here anymore. Where'd they go? Hello? Hello. No, no more guards. Did I just skip that one battle? Oh no, there's. Yeah, he does. Got him. Anybody else? Nope. Okay, we're gonna have to go in there. Woohoo! Oh, it's right behind there. Anybody over here? Oh my god, there's a lot of people. Okay. Well, let's get into the building. Excuse me. Boop. Got him. Got him. <laughs> they keep making me think somebody's over there when they're not. There we go. Why am I not taking cover? That's more my thing. I can't. There we go. Okay. It just, it was derping. Come on. Take cover. Thank you. Got him. Whoop. Got him. Oh, I, I used the wrong thing, but that's okay. Is there another one over there? Oh, hey. Got him. Coming out, bro. 
Not gonna come out? There we go. Alright, what do we got? Uh, I forgot. What's the heal? Is that healing? Nope, nope. There we go. I'm figuring things out. Oops. <laughs> fucking launched a fucking grenade. Sorry, guys. I'm figuring shit out. Leave me alone. I thought I forgot. What is it to heal? Is it that one? <gasps> There's my cover. I keep forgetting. Nope. Nope. Forgot what it was. Uh, you're welcome. How's Mass Effect going? Rex just runs in. I know, right? Just wanted to relax, order a bottle, maybe talk to Crystal, and you all had to pull out your guns. I know, right? Um, I forgot. How the hell do I fucking heal? I forgot. There it is. Okay, I figured it out. Okay, we figured it out. Alright. Where's this? Where's this way? <laughs> I like blowing things up. Don't we all? Don't we all sometimes? Hi! Stop right there. Don't come any closer. Warehouse workers. All the real guards must be dead. Stay back, or we'll shoot. Um. Nobody threatens me. Um. Yeah, save yourself. This would be a good time to find somewhere else to work. Yeah, yeah, right. That's a good idea. Yeah, get out of here. No, I never like fist anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Would have been quicker to just kill them. I know. Shooting people isn't always the answer. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've got like the devil on my shoulder and the angel on my shoulder. Jesus Christ. Excuse me. Oh, man. Uh, uh, take off, please. Thank you. Now, where am I going? Oh god. I have no shield right now. Get up. Wait, don't kill me. I oh shit. My bad. I didn't realize we were right there. Uh Yeah, no, start Tell fucking talking. Is and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here. I don't know where she is. That's the truth. Mhm. Mm He's no use to you now. Let me kill him. Wait, wait. I don't know where the Quarian is, but I know where you can find her. The Quarian isn't here. Said she'd only deal with the shadow broker himself. Face to face? Impossible. Even I was hired to imagine. Nobody meets the shadow. Look at this motherfucking 80s looking spacer. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. But when she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Where's the meeting? Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Damn Rex. What are you doing? The shadow broker paid me to kill him. I don't leave jobs half done. Uh, I will fight him on this. We don't shoot unarmed prisoners. How many people die because of him? Good point. He brought this on himself. I know. Besides, we have more pressing concerns. That quarian's dead if we don't go now. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Where are we going? Can I get this really quick? That was fucking easy. There you go. Thanks. Well, I'm pissy because I wasn't... I didn't know that's where... Oh my god, we got more people. I'm gonna heal myself real quick because I was dumb shit. What 
the fuck are you doing, bro? Got in. Anybody else? Got more people. Should be over here. Got him. Anybody else? Got one more guy? Come on, let's make him pop his head out. Uh, whoop. Oh, this wasn't that. Oh, got him. Okay, good. Uh, okay, so these quests aren't popping up yet because the, the chorus is not populated yet. At least I think so. Right? Yep. I went the wrong fucking way. I'm glad I caught that. Excuse me, guys. Thank you. Oh, Rex is stuck. Here, I'll push you. There we go. Let's go. Okay. Corian lost in two minutes. If I, th I think it's this way? Nope, can't go this way. Okay. We have to go this way. Okay, let's go. There he is. Okay. Whew. Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Oh, it's, Where's Fist? Sorry, it's Telly. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. I forgot Tally's the freaking Quarian. I f of course. Noise. What's up, Tally? Can you move, please? Thank you. And my cover! God, this fucking Corian Turian keeps fucking moving. God damn, I can't aim right now. Not this bad, I promise. There we go. Jesus Christ, that guy. Just Ooh. set me up. I knew I couldn't trust him. Are you okay? Were you hurt in the fight? I know how to look after myself. Not that I don't appreciate. I know, Tally. I know. Who are you? Someone who saved your life. Um. I'm with the Alliance. My name's Shepard. I'm looking for evidence to prove Saren's a traitor. Then I have a chance to repay you for saving my life. But not here. We need to go somewhere safe. We could take her to the human embassy. Your ambassador will want to see this anyway. They're gonna go off to make sure people get their Shatter Broker Prime boxes with two galactic day free shipping. And all out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many? Yeah. Who is this? Mm -hmm. Orion? What are you up to, Shepard? Uh, she's just doing my job. Traitor. This is it. Really? Maybe you better start at the beginning, Miss. My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. Ooh, Rex makes me think a little more. If you took Clint Eastwood and put his voice through a deep octave filter, I could totally see Rex doing. Do you feel lucky, punk? That is exactly Rex. That is exactly Rex. He is. Uh, he. I just want to give him a big hug and cuddle him. That's it. That's it. I've never heard of this before. It's yeah, she's Quarian. When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. What kinds of things do you look for? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. 
So I always I always forget. So the Quarians are the ones that created the Geth. And then the Geth made them kick out like a... Made them lose their home planet, I think, right? And so the the Quarians are now regulated to space because they don't have a home planet anymore. Uh, yep. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Mm -hmm. Since they drove my people that, that's into it. exile, yeah. the Geth have never ventured beyond the veil. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. Noise. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Yeah, is that true? How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding yes. the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. Yeah, what's the conduit? He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. I don't even remember. Any idea what that means? I vaguely remember the, the term. To do with the term, beacon. excuse me. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Uh-oh. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. Uh-oh. I think that's a matron, right? I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. <laughs> Reapers sounds familiar. It's a shame you can't have your own responses. Com Ambassador complains about firefights and wards, property damage, civil unrest. What do you have to say about that, Shepherd? Shepherd, good, clean family fun, <laughs> right? I know, right? I feel like I've heard that name before. According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper advanced machine race that existed fifty thousand years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction and uh -huh. At least that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far fetched. I did not, I'm not far fetched. On Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw mm -hmm. the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. Mm -hmm. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non organic life. And they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The council is just going to love this. Oh, shut up, Udina. They, uh... Yeah, will they believe it? a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we tell them. No matter what they think about the rest of this, those audio files prove Saren's True. a traitor. Okay, <laughs> Anderson's like, right. proves he's a fucking traitor! <laughs> the council right away. <laughs> My name is Tali. Don't be insulted. You saw me in the alley, Commander. You know what I can do. Let me come with you. Of course you're going to come with me, Tali. We're on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage Love Tali. Which proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. We're already got a full ship. Turn my back on this. Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Uh you're not ready for this. Damn, Anderson, perhaps you could cameo on an episode of SVU with that kind of conviction. I know, right? He's like, no. He's like, I'm finally going to get one on Saren. God damn it. It's going to happen. Uh, yeah. Join us. I'll take all the help I can get. For sure. Thanks. You won't regret this. I know I won't. I won't forget Anderson this. Anderson and I to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. We gotta go back to Korra's den and do a bunch, a bunch of that. Oh, add to squad. So that's tech strength. Uh, whoop! I do, I do like having an even amount of of that. 
Hmm. But... You know what? Let's have these two for now. I think we're I think we're fine with that one. Okay. Yeah. Let's go. All right, boys. All right. So we got a bunch of stuff to look at. Uh, leveled up again. Let's see. Let's put a point in that. Okay, let's do that one. There we go. Okay. Sorry, I had to think there. Okay. What did we get? Tickle. Thank you. Alright, shotgun, pistol. Let's see if we got any. Okay, that's 124.5. The accuracy rating is shit, though. I do like waiting until I get something, like, really good. Mm-mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Let's see, what do we got? I have the armor plating two. Uh, uh localized doses. Uh, maybe. I think I do kind of like that one a little bit better. Uh, let's see, what do we got? Got hammerhead rounds. That's 35% toxic. Ooh, I got the two, which is an upgrade on that one. Oops, did I mess that up? I think I messed that up. Nope, I didn't. Okay. 10% uh, weapon stability, 14 damage, but rate of fire and heat absorption goes down. Ooh. Yes. I get if if this is supposed to be an opera, there has to be theatrics, but the Saren thing comes off as like, so hey, you know that guy who you were almost certain was a complete dick? Well, do I ever have a surprise for you? He's a complete dick. I will say, um, more, I, all I'm going to say, Scars, on that is that it's intentional. That, that's all I'm going to say, that's, that it's intentional, the way they're doing that. Uh, let's see he uses assault rifles oh he hasn't joined us officially so I can't really give him anything yet he's just joining us for the investigation I believe so far it's okay I know he wants me alright uh, Rex just making sure, like, they have okay equipment for now. I know, I got a bunch of upgrades I need to do with them. Oh, I forgot. That's why. It's just human armor. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. For now, I'll leave it. I'll leave it. I don't want to mess with it. Uh, okay, we got to go there. Okay, so we got a bunch of stuff to do over at Korra's still. So quick save. No, actually, wait, wait. Zoo code, codex, and then save. Corians. When Corians of the migrant f fleet reach young adulthood, they must leave their birth ship and find a new crew to accept them as a permanent residence. To prove themselves, they must recover something of value. This is offered to their prospective captain as proof that they will not be a mere burden on the shoestring resources of the ship. This process is called the Pel pilgrimage stripped of ritual the pilgrimage is merely an attempt to maintain genetic diversity within the small relatively isolated population bases that make up the migrant fleet if the young stayed and married within their birth vessel the risk of inbreeding would increase sharply the Koreans are surgically fitted with their various immunity boost boosting implants in preparation for leaving on pilgrimage having grown up within the sterile controlled environments of the migrant fleet ships Koreans have virtually no natural immune system then we're going to get into the primary, I'm sure, of the, the Quarians. Driven from their home system by the Geth nearly three centuries ago, most Quarians now live aboard the migrant fleet, 
a flotilla of 50,000 vessels ranging in size from passenger shuttles to mobile space stations. Home to 17 million quarians, the flotilla understandably has scarce resources. Because of this, each quarian must go on a rite of passage known as the pilgrimage when they come of age. They leave the fleet and only return once they have found something of value they can bring back to their people. Other species tend to look down on the quarians for creating the geth and for the negative impact their fleet has when it enters the <laughs> system. Yeah, I'm sure. This has led to many myths and rumors about the quarians, including the belief that underneath their clothes and breathing masks, they are actually cybernetic creatures, a combination of organic and synthetic parts. We'll never know. I don't I don't remember. I don't think you actually s If you romance Hallie, I don't think you actually see her still. That's something I should look up. Okay. All right, so let's head back, guys. Let's head back to uh Kor's Den. Thank you. That's the word I was looking for. Boop. Thank you. Can I help you? Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Can I help you? Commander Shepard. Mm -hmm. My name is Samesh Bhatia. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Yeah, what's up? It's no trouble. What can I do for you? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I oh, requested damn. that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. This is totally random, but running with Shepard in this game makes me a little nauseous. I didn't remember it was that bad. Oh, no, I'm sorry, alien. I hate it when you get motion sick. Oh, that's the worst feeling. I'm so sorry. I, I'm not noticing it. It's probably because I'm concentrating on it, so I haven't noticed it that bad. But I, I can see, I can easily see how that could get you motion sick. Yeah, did they say why? Why did they refuse your request? There's got to be some reason. I don't know. All I know is that they have declared it impossible for my wife to be returned to me. Uh, I'll find out. We'll look into it. Yeah. The man in charge of my case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. I get it. It's not fair. All right, the bar is, man, everybody just wants my time. Just wants a piece of Shepard's time. Isn't the bar over here? Am I going crazy? Yes. God damn it. Turn back around. Exactly, Rex. Everyone's a piece of shepherd's pie. I know. Ha! Huh. Saw what you did there. Saw what you did there. Bad joke, I know. Yeah, get out. Leave. You're done. You're done. Okay, s excuse me. Salarian. Get out of the way. Get out of the way. All right, let's go to the bar. I have to sneeze. Don't know. Ah, oh, there it is. Okie dokie. All right, let's go talk to, I believe this is the bar. Yes, okay, here we go. Yeah, you. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Yes, I am. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yeah, I'm here for Samesh. Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating yeah, position. Yeah, you should see yourself out now. I wish mm -hmm. I could help him. Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You're running tests. You're studying her injuries to learn more about Geth weaponry. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. 
How long do you think this research is going to take? This is a long-term study. I wouldn't expect the bodies to be released for a year or longer. You gotta have a lot of bodies. Can't you release one? Very few bodies had this new type of weapon damage, and very few were in good enough condition to study. Beyond mm. that, Commander, we need as many bodies as we can to get a reasonable sample size. When will this research result in actual new technology? If we're lucky, we'll actually realize usable technology from this study in a few years. Tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please let me know if you have any other questions. I don't know. That's not really the response I wanted. But I guess let's go talk to him. Damn it. Damn it. I went the wrong way again. Damn it. There he is. But <laughs> she freaks out every time. That's just a glitch. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosco? Will he return my wife's body? Tell me again what you've been told about As your I wife. said, I've been told nothing. I don't understand why they won't release her no, body. I don't know. He yeah. was in the expensive bar over there. There's a problem. It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. This is important. Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. What would she want? If the military had asked your wife to submit to tests to save human lives, what would she have said? It doesn't matter. She's dead. I just want her to come home. I miss her so much. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. That was a toughie. That was a toughie. I'm sorry. He's just a grieving man. He's he's allowed to yell at me for that kind of shit. He can totally yell. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, now that we got sidetracked, let's go back to Korra's den. And... Bye. Korra's den, please. Thank you. <clears throat> Oh, I didn't realize I was so low. Let me sit back up. Hup, 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 hup. There we go. Now you can see me more. I'm like, I'm like slouching. You can always see me like how much I'm slouching by how low I am in the camera. Uh, there. Okay. All right, let's try Cora's Den again. Hey, now we're talking. Got some boobies and some butts and some dancing. It's great. That's Harkin. Uh, yeah, let's talk to General Septimus first. Ooh. It is a nice show. She's got a nice booty. Good, good for you. Hey, what's up, dude? Okay, okay. Jesus. Ooh, shall we have a show? Let's have a show for just a second. She's so pretty. Relax. Sweet. Thanks, girl. I don't want my stream to get banned. Good thing it's for adults only. Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. What I'm confused about is there's another exclamation point. Where the fuck is that? 
Oh, okay, got it. Okay. Okay, so it's still in the building. Okay, my bad. Excuse you. Hi. Hi, Rex. All right. Oh, they're having a conversation. Aha, there's Jenna. Okay, so let's talk to her first. Hi, I'll be with you in just a sec. Okay. I'll wait right here. Why do I get the feeling you're not here to order drinks? Because I'm not. I need to talk to you about your work with CSAC. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Now, if you don't mind, I need to get back to my customers. I'm trying to help. This isn't a game, Jenna. These people are dangerous. Now you sound like my sister. Why is everyone so concerned about me? I can take care of myself. I need to go. I'm not a stripper. I don't get paid to stand around and look pretty. I'm busy. The other waitresses can help you. All right. Well, I talked to her. I forgot you were supposed to gently talk to her, but my bad. <laughs> uh, General Septimus, let's talk. We got to appeal. What do you want? Problems. What's bothering you, General? I've seen a lot of horrible things in my All right, Septimus. What? There's only one woman in this damn galaxy that helps me forget. Mm -hmm. This is pathetic. What could a woman do to put you in this state? Oh, Garrus. Because she rejected me. Me, Septimus Oraka, general of the Turian fleet. Is she really worth it? There must be other women. It's not just any woman. That's not what I meant. Oh, I just said I mean. Her, <laughs> her alone. Yeah, Look, we... kid, I appreciate what you're trying to no. do, but don't waste your time. Yeah. Enjoy your drink, General. Yeah. We can't just leave him like this. <laughs> don't waste your time, kid. Run away now. I didn't realize that's what that meant. Whoops, my bad. You need to start acting like a general if you want to beat this. I spent all my life acting like a general, and what did it get me? Huh? No, those days are over. I'll just be what I am, a tired, lonely, worn-out soldier. Do you really want to be remembered this way? There we go, that's what no, I wanted. I'd rather not be remembered at all. <laughs> Rather not be remembered at all. So you think it's that easy? Just straighten up and act like a general? Not at all. It damn well couldn't hurt. Gareth, huh? shut up. Maybe you're right, Commander. Shaira's worth the effort. Even if she won't have me back. This is no place for someone of your stature, General. All right. I don't know why don't Shepard was so wide eyed there. After I've had a cold shower. Say, so you're a bright kid. Would you be interested in earning a few extra credits? Depends. What do you want me to do? There's an Elcor diplomat out there who believes Shaira gave up his secrets. Why is that? Because I told him. <laughs> I just need you to convince him of the truth. How? What makes you think he'll believe me? You'll bring him proof. Okay. Take this data pad. It shows where I got my info. Exonerate Shaira and convince the Elcor. Okay. Yeah. Who am I taking it to? And where is it? I know exactly His where he is. We, yeah, we already He's talked to Zeltan. Diplomat. He's over in the embassies complaining about Shaira. Well, here's to soldiers acting like soldiers. Woo! Thanks, Commander. You know, you might make a good general yourself one day. You don't know. You don't know. All right. All right, and then what did we have to talk to Harkin about? Oh, we were supposed to talk to him first, right? Yeah, sorry, she wouldn't talk to me. Okay. We were supposed to talk to Harkin, and I completely forgot. That's right. We were supposed to talk to him, but ever we did everything else, and it just kind of led back up to there. All right, let's talk to Chellic, please. If you've got questions about Jenna, meet me at Seasick Academy. 
Ah. Huh? Are you talking to me? <laughs> Wish uh, I never did nothing to you. Damn newcomers. Think they can run the place. Me. What the hell was that about? I guess we better go find out. <laughs> Okay, so we're leaving that way. Now I want to get into the office. I just have to remember how. I'm going to be pissy if I can't. There we go. Okay. Because I didn't really get a chance to explore previously. There we go. Boop -a -doo -a -doo. And I can't go this way. Okay. I don't actually think there was anything back that way. No, there wasn't. Okay. Itch my eyes. Okay. Sorry. <clears throat> All right. Uh, let's see where we're going. We got lots of quests to finish up. All right. Um, so shall we go do that one real quick? Let's go talk to Zelton. That works. I believe there's a fast travel right over here, right? Should be, anyway. Nope! Right there. Hello. Jesus. Okay. Uh, it'll be Presidium locations. It'll be the embassies, please. Look at me figuring out... Well, at least it's fast travel. I can't actually walk to different locations. Hey. <laughs> And then I believe Zelton is on our side. He's our neighbor, so. Blip. Boop. Excuse you. Thank you. That's us, right? And then this is these guys. There we go. Zelton, what's up, my dude? Strange greeting, human. This is real. Here, I got I you. Who revealed your secret? It was a Torian named Septimus. Unbelieving, I know this Septimus, and he could not learn my secret. The only way he could learn them is from the Asari consort. Here, there should be proof enough for you. Confused. This is difficult to fathom. If the Torian could learn this on his own, this may. Anyone can discover my secret. Um, I no, you'll be fine. Septimus is a powerful man, and it wasn't easy for him to find. Relieved, I suppose you are. I was like, I was like, don't, don't freak out, Zelton. For this information, startled realization. I must speak with the consul. Yeah, you better go talk to her. She will be most displeased with my actions. Yeah, she will. Anxious request. Please, human. Of course. If you will excuse me, go on. I must go now. Don't worry. I'm sure she'll forgive you. It was an honest mistake. Doubtful. Perhaps you are right, human. I can only hope so. Thankful. That was a great thing you did, Commander. Approving. You see, then not all humans are as you say. I'm sure you'll transcend the promise of this in some way. Shh, don't, don't be calling me out, Din. Do not listen to my voice, compatriot. It was a good thing you did, regardless of your intentions. Thanks. I like you, Kite. 
Calvin. All right, so that's one mission done. Uh, Chelik, we got at C sec. Uh, let's see, and then. Okay, so we we have that one to do. So that's. And where's the reporter? Where is she? Upper wards. Okay, so she's in the upper wards and the other two... Okay. So we can go talk to Shaira now. Because she's the closest, I believe, to everybody. Getting it done. I had a teacher who talked like that. It was maddening. Oh, I'm sorry. A very monotone teacher. That is crappy. When you have a monotone teacher. They, they can put anybody to sleep. Uh, I don't think... Can I actually get to the concert? I can. Hell yeah. I don't want to walk. I'm done walking around the Citadel. We've done our turn, turn, turn around the, the Citadel. Uh, yes. Septimus has sent word. Apparently he sought the concert's forgiveness. Thanks. All right. It wasn't long ago that a fair lady was killed. What drew you back to the Citadel and to the Greensmith? I don't know. It may sound strange, but I simply felt called. Uh huh. Spreading its wings. You're with the Alliance? My brother's a pilot back on Earth. Welcome. It is a pleasure to see you. Mm. All right, let's go talk to Shaira. Be like, girl, I fixed all your problems. Just, 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 just don't fix me. I'm good. Hi, Shaira. All right, tell me. Commander, I recently received a lovely note from Septimus. Thank you for speaking with him. Even the Elcor diplomat has been on his campaign against me. Let's talk payment. I'm just joking. I love Mass Effect games, but for some reason I can't finish Andromeda. I have, I have like, I think 35 hours into Andromeda that I put in when it first came out. And I, I, I did like it. I liked it. It was no Mass Effect, but I liked it. And then I came across a game breaking bug. And I had to abandon it because I wasn't starting over. So I haven't touched the game since. I'm really hoping they fixed it. But from all the patch, they said they fixed it as much as they could. And that's and then they abandoned the game. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, that was that was my experience with Andromeda. Hopefully, hopefully I'll stream it and eventually and that, that I'll actually get through it. Mm -mm. God help. It was my honor to aid you. You are too kind, Commander. But I would not expect you to help. Thank you. I would appreciate it. Thank you. I also have one more thing to give you, if you are interested. What? What are you offering me? Yeah, what are you offering me? I offer a gift of words. An affirmation of who you are and who you will become. Mm. I see you. Your uniform fits as though you were born wearing it. Thank you, yes. You are a soldier through and through. Yes. Proud, solitary, alone. Yes, I am broody. You Thank you. It is that strength that people are drawn to. Thank you. That's why you lead and others follow without question. You will need that leadership in the battles to come. Thank you. This may be who you are, but it is not who you will become. It only forms the basis for your future greatness. Remember these words when doubt descends, Commander. Mm, very astute. Thank you. You have quite a gift, Shaira. Thank you. Not everyone appreciates it as you do. Never underestimate the power of words. True. Here, Commander. In light of your efforts with the Alcor Ambassador, I would like you to have this small trinket. Huh. I mean, the comment is very good, but the story didn't catch me. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I... Oh, oh. What's going on? Hmm? 
Hold on, I'm dropping a bunch of frames. You gonna fix yourself? Okay, I think we're okay. Let me look. Let me look real quick. Hmm. Okay, we seem to be doing okay. Sorry if I dropped some frames, guys. Okay. All right. A trinket. Yeah, the story didn't really catch me too too much. It felt like Mass Effect Light. It's like it's like playing like the Assassin's Creeds. It's like playing some of the original trilogy, and then you go into the the, the side games like Unity and um, some of the other titles that I'm I'm just not thinking of right now, like the Victorian one. I can't think of what it's called. Anyway, um, and that it just felt like eh, it's in the same universe, but is it nearly the same? No, so. You have something for me. Oh no. What is it? A small mystery. I've never learned its use or purpose, but I sense it is time for me to pass Oh it god, on. she's giving me an and item. I must ask you to leave. I have done everything I can for you. Thank you. Thank you, Shaira. Ooh. They will give you strength. Oh my gosh. I'm not dropping any more frames, right? I'm doing okay. Okay, they're not going up, so. Okay, sorry guys. Had to go talk to her. Oh, I saw that. I saw that. Uh, AC Syndicate is the British one. It's one of your favorites? I'm sorry, Alien. It wasn't, it wasn't my favorite. It's just kind of... Well, it sounds bad, but it's not bad. <laughs> I know, right? Um, what is going on? I shouldn't be having any issues. Why am I having issues? Is there anything running that shouldn't be? Hold on. Okay. It's okay. Uh, all right. I guess we'll keep going for now. Okay. Got me sus stream. Um, yeah, I like, I liked it for like, uh, syndicate. I like syndicate for what it was. I just don't think it was like groundbreaking as it were. And the characters were like, so, so for me, but all right, where are we going? I forgot what we were doing. We got to go to CSEC. We gotta go to the upper wards, and I think that's about it. And then return to the tower. Okay, so let's go to the upper wards first. I don't know why I'm leaving a fast travel station. Okay, upper wards. A fucking sound drives me absolutely bonkers. Upper wards. I think the markets are the upper wards, if I'm pretty sure. 7972, okay. Okay. Upper wards. Hey, we gotta go outside of this, I think. It's like Black Flag. Almost everyone who played it loved it, but I didn't like it at all. Couldn't finish it. I get it. I, I liked Black Flag. What I loved about what Ace, uh, Assassin's Creed was the hook. But my absolute uh, favorite is Assassin, Assassin's Creed 2. Oh, yeah. I can see 2. Um, but I think uh, like Black Flag was groundbreaking in terms of game mechanics. Like... Nobody had, like, controlled a ship that well, and that was really cool. And I dropped some more frames. It's pissing me off. Um, but Black Flag, in my opinion, um, had one of the weakest protagonists in Kenway. Oh.
Sorry, guys. I don't know why my stream is doing this. Should have just came back. Right? There we go. Okay. I don't know why my stream keeps going up and down. I just watched it go down and then come back up. Um, <clears throat> so sorry about that. Oh, there it goes. Why are you being such a turd, Ferguson, huh? I'm watching you. I just couldn't control the ship and, sh and shoot the other ships at the same time. I get that. That was very overwhelming at first. I get that a lot. And yeah, Edward was an ass, at least as far as I went through the story. I didn't like, I did not like Edward. I thought he was one of the weakest protagonists of the entire series. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. Sorry, I want to hear this. It took almost six hours and we only saw one tenth of the ship. I even got to meet the commander. You two are platonic. You met her? Mm. Well, she addressed everyone on the tour, but I got pretty close. <laughs> oh, just look at that ship. You'd have to be stupid to mess with that. Very true. Where's the dreadnought? Is it somewhere? I don't see the dreadnought, but okay. Anyway, eight six a one. Don't even mention that you can play with two assassins. Yeah, I, I I like that too. I like that how they made that kind of a running option that you could be like either a boy or a girl, which is not a big deal to me. I don't care. I'll play man. It doesn't matter. But it was a nice choice. All right, Emily. Street is that you've been busy. I have been. Congratulations on taking down Fist. You're welcome. I was sure he was a big player in anything going on here. Did you find anything in his office that could help me? Yeah, but these help. These OSDs might have the information you're looking for. You've got this files? This could be even bigger than I'd hoped. Mm -hmm. Here, Commander, for your trouble. Thanks. Mm. Do we want to take advantage of her? my future cooperation be worth say an interview when my investigation is over exclusive you talk to me before you talk to anyone else that would be worth quite a bit and i'd be very happy to compensate you accordingly okay here you are thank you now if you'll excuse me i should go see what's on these discs heck yeah i got some more money for that one i'll take it okay so that is done i know right evie was awesome and i really like the fact that you could call in the rooks to help out with the big bosses yeah for sure that was fun that that, that was fun okay we gotta go c-sec and then that's it for side missions and then so let's go to c-sec and which is over here and then uh, we shall go to um, the tower and take care of that. And because my internet is being poopy, I may call it there. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it's behaving by then. All right. C sec, please. Come on, guys. So how about it, Garrus? Is this better than C sec? <laughs> Fighting a rogue specter with countless lives at stake and no regulations to get in the way, I'd say that beats C-Sec. They're talking, they're talking, uh, they're talking about yet. something that happens in the future. Maybe hope for you yet, Tyrion. He says it with love. Don't let him fool you. Hey, bro. Okay. Fucking music. Uh, we can go this way for this dude. Let's see, he is in this office. Sir Chillick. Detective Chillick, come into my office. I want to discuss this private. No offense, Commander, but what the hell were you thinking? Careful. What's your tone, Chillick? You could have blown Jenna's cover. We were trying to help her. 
I get Rex got my back. Back it might no. Seem cold letting her take all the risk, but we're keeping a close eye on her. I did see that. But you're still using her. This job isn't easy, and it's usually unpleasant. Aw, thanks, I Alien. Where I can find it. But since you were so concerned with her safety, maybe there's a way we can help each other. It's nice to see you're still working all the angles, Jerry. As part of the job. Now, are you going to help me or not? Everyone I met in the stream so far has been so nice. Well, I think we try for the most part. I don't. I don't like to deal with poopy butts. So nobody likes to deal with poopy butts. Nobody wants to deal with poopy butts, especially on their weekends. Like today's today's my last day of the weekend. Nobody wants to deal with poopy butts. Um, you don't need her. Pathetic. Uh, what do you need? This is just too much work. Come on, Commander. We're on the same side here. No. <laughs> what do you need? I'll help you, but I need some details. I'm trying to track down an illegal arms producer. <laughs> I just need some of their product. Thanks to Jenna's intel, I've learned there's a seller here on the Citadel. Meet our man. Nate oh, we James. got one more side Pick mission, apparently. And bring them back here. That'll give me everything I need. Mm, okay. Well, it's better than saying shit stains. Or better, you can say and never leave. <laughs> there's that too. <laughs> Yeah, what makes them illegal? So concerned about these mods. We have access to some of the most sophisticated weaponry there is. It's what gives us our edge. What do you suppose happens when we lose that edge? These give criminals an advantage we can't afford to let them keep. I'll persuade Jax to tell me where these mods are coming from. No. You tip Jax off and all my leads will disappear faster than you can say bad bust. Ah, poo. Okay. Where can I find this Jax? Jax is down in the lower level of the markets. I'll send word through our channels that you're the buyer. Good luck, Commander. Okay. I mean, when you came in, you sold your soul, didn't you read it? <laughs> yes. When, when, when you accepted. When you clicked on that Sam Alist stream. It's like, hmm, yes, hmm. I eat off souls. I think I said that right. I eat souls. I don't think, eat off souls. I don't think that's correct. All right, make the pickup. Uh, lower Ward's market. Uh, he doesn't want to cause you any trouble. Okie dokie. Did I go the right way? Okay, yes, I did. There it is. All right, lower Ward's market. Ward's. Markets. I don't want to walk. I'm tired of walking in the citadel. Thank you. I think he's in the lower ward markets, right? So it's down here. <clears throat> Hi. You gonna f fuck around and find out? Guess we'll find out. Sorry. Okay. What's up? Hold it. That's close enough, Army. You got my payment? Ye. Yeah. Do you have the mods? Show her the goods. Looks good. Damn straight it is. These mods are the best on the but. market. Now hand over my credits. What was I supposed to do here? Here you go. Here you go. Enjoy it. Come on, boys. We're done here. This is what I was supposed to do, right? I think this is what I was supposed to do. Take the weapons. I think that I think I did do that correctly. Because you didn't notice I'm I see black out very much my nickname. Yeah. The the Yep, 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 yep. I remember that, Rolly. Rolly Kenway. I like that username. It's a good one. I like everybody's usernames. Uh, okay, so let's head back to CSEC. We're just doing the fetch it questums. Fetch it quests. Good lord. CSEC, please. Thank you. 
Yep, I'm still consistently. I'm like keeping a steady like I'm I'm not like jumping jumping a lot of dropped frames, but I am dropping frames. It's keeping steady at a certain percentage and it's pissing me off. I don't like me no like But I would like to finish the Citadel today, so or at least somewhat. <clears throat> Boop. There you go. Commander, I hear you have something for me. Keeping tabs on me. Here's your shipment, Shellic. Bruh. Excellent. This is everything I need. Hmm. Maybe more than I need. Here, Commander, take this. I won't need it. You've earned some payment for your work. Thank you. As for Jenna, I'll make sure we get her out of Kor's den immediately. Okay, I'll take it. Now I need to get these mods into evidence. Thanks again, Shepard. You're welcome. Ooh, we got a ooh, we got a lot of stuff for that. Hell yeah, I'll take that. Ooh, that got glitchy right there. Did I, 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 God damn it, I leveled up again. Mm, we started talking about Andromeda, and then we ended in Sales of Souls with Strange Talks. Ah, that sounds sounds like pretty. Holy shit. Upgraded again. What's this? It? Ooh, I got a store discount. Fuck yeah. Uh, uh, let's put a point in there. What's damp damping? I forgot what damping was. Increases the explosion radius. Shuts down enemy tech and biotic abilities. Ooh. Um, I think I'm going to put it in there. There we go. Okay. So Oh, okay. Carnage. Yeah, there's his shotgun damage. I always forget he does shotguns. Uh, look at his look at his helmet. Oh god, he's so cute. Sorry. Bop. His cute little helmet. Sorry. Oh, okay. Well, so far I'm still superiorly uh Paragon. I got this little tiny little 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 sliver of renegade. That's about it. But I'll take it. It's it's a lot more than I had before. My last playthrough. All those years ago. Yes, we have to go to CSEC to get to the fast travel. I was like, what was I doing? Being in ADHD at the moment? ADD. Sorry, that's correct. Okay, so we have that. And yeah, we're ready to go expose Saren. Let's do it. Let's go get Saren. And his fucking cybernetic ass. Alright, uh, Presidium. Citadel Tower, please. Thank you. All right. I forgot which way. All right, you guys ready? Let's go have a talky talk. All right, Anderson. Come on. Udin is presenting the Quarian's evidence to the council. I'm a question. How can I call you? Sam is okay? Yeah. That's fine. One step closer to finding the conduit. And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. Uh oh. You wanted proof? There it is. This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped Ooh. of his Spectre status. Get him. And all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. That's right. That's her name. Matriarch Benezia. That's right. Another traitor. No. Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari mm -hmm. who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Venezia is a powerful biotic and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. Uh oh. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the guest's memory. Cord. I can't say anything. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines. Mm -hmm. that wiped out the then they vanished. And uh, ugh, I hate the uh, how I hate the Senate in Mass Effect. Yeah, the Council. They are the most inept and desperate characters. Yeah, they really are. Uh, that's why they. Yeah, that's why they fall. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods. Saren is the prophet for their return. Ooh, my hair glows shut there. It is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Mm -hmm. Do we even Ooh, know drop some more frames. Is? 
Yet, not yet. Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. <laughs> you doubted me before. I tried to warn you about Saren and you refused to face the truth. Ooh, I love that response. Oh, so good. So this good. Different. You Fuck you guys. Saren betrayed the council. We all agree he's using the guest to search for the conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. God damn it. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Mm, I'm not going to say I've seen them. 50,000 years ago, the Reapers wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. No. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a specter. The council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the traverse. Send your fleet in. Send your fleet in. Cannot track down one man. The Citadel fleet can secure the entire region. Keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Ooh, I'm gonna say it. Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull. Ambassador. <laughs> there is another solution. A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. Uh you don't have to send a fleet into the Traverse, and the Ambassador gets his human specter. Everybody's happy. <laughs> She's like, She's right, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Ass. Commander Shepard, step forward. Okay. Get it, girl. Get it. Coconut ally. Woo! Oh. Oh. Whisper, whisper. Whisper, whisper. Ah. Oh. Something important's happening. Whisper, whisper. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Hell Spectre yeah. The Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. Fucking they song, are the man. Right hand of the council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human specter, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. <laughs> About damn time. No, I'm just joking. Thank you. <laughs> I'm honored, Counselor. I'll play nice for now. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. <gasps> I like how we're going to ask this question like we didn't just tell them. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files. There we go. Okay, that's a proper meeting. response. Okay. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. Well, wow, that was a roller coaster. Congratulations, Commander. Thanks, You've Anderson. Got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. Give me a you get to access to special equipment and training. Ooh. You should go down to the C Sec Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Office. Anderson, come with me. Ooh, Spectre inductee. They gotta go deal with all the paperwork. <laughs> Eh, figures. What do you expect from a politician? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Woo! Spectre training unlocked. Woohoo! 
We did it, guys. We're a specter now. Boop, boop. Do you feel any different? I don't feel any different. All right. I'm sure we leveled up. Uh, speak to the ambassador. We'll provide you with a ship and crew. Maybe that's when the Alliance docking bay. Okay. We got to go to CSEC. Yeah, I'm sure we leveled up. I'm, I'm not surprised. Spectre training. Now we got a new bar. Uh, elite agents of the council. Increases health, accuracy, and effectiveness. Ooh, and unity. Uh, yeah, let's put, let's put one in there. Mm -mm. Oh, God, that, that motivated buyer. I think, I think I'm going to put another point in sniper rifles. Okay. I have no idea what I'm doing with the level up. I think I'm doing it. It's okay. I'm okay. I'm going to mostly be sniping anyway because, yes, I am that person. Uh, we want to go to the wards location. C-Sec, please. Okie dokie. Uh, that's to the docking bay. Yes, that's correct. All right, let's go. In other news, Exogenicorp is still denying reports that one of their survey teams has gone missing in the Hades Gamma Cluster. When asked why communication with the survey team was suddenly cut off last week, company officials refused to comment. Yeah, they don't know what the fuck happened to him. All right. Hey, guys. Because I'm pretty sure. Let me check my journal real quick. Oh, look, we heard, look at that. We got a mission from just listening to the radio. I think we were supposed to listen to that one, but you know. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And then we just have those three. Okay, we're good. Just make it true. Hello. What? I've got big news for you. Shepard. Okay, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. Captain Anderson is stepping oh. down as commanding officer of the Normandy. The ship is yours now. Woo. She's quick and quiet, and you know the crew. Mm -hmm. Perfect ship for a Spectre. Feel welcome. Uh, what's going on? I want the truth. Yeah, why are you stepping down? That's a good question. You needed your own ship. A Spectre can't answer to anyone but the Council. And it's time for me to step down. There's more to this. with me, Captain. You owe me that much. I was in your shoes 20 years ago, sir. They were considering me for the Spectres. What went wrong? What happened? I failed. I couldn't make the cut. It's not something I'm proud of. Ask me later and I'll tell you the whole story. For now, all you need to know is, I was sent on a mission with Saren, and he made sure the Council rejected me. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about I that. My shot. He came and went. Now you have a chance to make up for my mistakes. You can count on me. Put you down, sir. Saren's gone. Don't even try to find him. But we know what he's after. The convict. He's got his get scouring the traverse looking for clues. We had reports of get and the Ferro system shortly before our colony there dropped out of contact. Uh oh. And there have been sightings around Noveria. Uh oh. Find out what Saren was after on Ferro's and Noveria. That's where we're going. Maybe you can figure out where the conduit is before he does. The Reapers are the real threat. I'm with the council on this one, Shepard. I'm not sure they even exist. Mm -hmm. But if they do exist, the conduit's the key to bringing them back. Stop Saren from getting the conduit, and we stop the Reapers from returning. Uh, I'm on it. I'll stop him. We have one more lead. Make oh, yeah. Benizia, the other voice in that recording. She has a daughter, a scientist. I forgot. I forgot she is her daughter, isn't she? Oh, shit. Good idea to try and find her. See what she knows. Her name's Liara. Dr. Liara. Liara. There she is. I was like, I couldn't remember her name. exploring an archaeological dig on one of the uncharted worlds in the Artemis Tau cluster. Hmm. Uh, you know what? I'll probably start with getting Liara. Sounds like I should head for the Artemis Tau cluster. It's your decision, Commander. You respect her now. You don't answer to us. I still respect you, though. Your actions still Not you, Adina. Respect whole. Anderson. Make a mess and I get stuck cleaning it up. That's your job. I'll take care of Saren. 
You take care of the political fallout. <laughs> exactly the answer I was looking for. <laughs> Remember, you were a human long before you were a specter. <laughs> I just wanted to say I it to piss you off. To get to <laughs> to questions you might have. No. Ooh, I got some renegade points for that one, but that was so satisfying to piss him off Just like that. Are you okay? How are you holding up? Honestly, this isn't how I pictured my career coming to an end. I'm sorry. Pushing papers really isn't my thing. But you're the one who can stop saying things. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so be it. Tell me what happened with you and Saren 20 years ago. It's close to 20 years ago. Ambassador Goyle was our representative here on the Citadel. Like Houdini, she wanted to get a human into the Spectres. She chose me. The Council sent Saren to keep an eye on me and evaluate my performance, just like they sent Nihilus to keep tabs on you. Yeah, why hide this? Why weren't you honest with me? It's not something I'm proud of. I had a chance to become the first human Spectre, and I failed. Saren made sure of that. I think I deserve the whole story. We had intel on a rogue side. Ooh, archivist. I don't know what that one is. Hold on. Which one is that one? Find all primary alien co council races, extinct races, and non console races codex entries. Hmm. Nice. Okay. Was trying Sorry. to set up a facility to develop illegal AI hmm. technology out in the Verge. Alliance Intel had done all the work, but the council wanted a specter involved. We compromised. I was assigned to help Saren in his investigation. We tracked the scientist to a refining facility on Kamala. He was hidden away somewhere inside, protected by an army of Batarian mercenaries. The plan was simple. Sneak into the plant, capture the scientist, sneak back out. Quick, quiet, and a minimum of bloodshed. Something went wrong? I'm guessing things didn't go as planned. Saren and I split up to cover more ground. Then about halfway through the mission, there was a massive explosion in the refinery core. Officially, it was ruled an accident. But I think Saren detonated it on purpose to draw off the enemy guards. <laughs> Good plan. <laughs> Sorry, was anybody hurt? How many casualties? The explosion tore the refinery to shreds. The whole place was on fire. Black chemical clouds poured out into the atmosphere. Oh shit. Nobody inside survived. Ooh. There was a camp for the workers and their families nearby. Between the fires and the toxic fumes, the final death count was over 500. Ouch. Mostly civilians. Saren didn't care. The target was eliminated. Mission accomplished, and I ended up taking the blame. That ended all talk of me joining. The yeah, you got blamed. Saren caused the explosion. How would he pin it on you? In his report, Saren accused me of blowing his cover. He said it was my fault the guards were ready for us. He claimed that's why it turned into a massacre. <laughs> Saren's report was all the proof the council needed to kill my chances of becoming a specter. It wasn't your fault. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. I blame Saren. Oop. I think he wanted things to go bad. He was looking for an excuse to blow that refinery. Probably. Maybe he just likes the violence. <laughs> Maybe he's just trying to make me look bad to keep humans out of the specters. If so, he pulled it off. Why'd you let him get away with it? Who do you think the council was going to listen to? Me? Or their best agent? Yeah, he's got a point I there. I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. I should have been more careful. Maybe I could have stopped things before they got out of hand. Forget about the past. Don't blame yourself, Captain. I don't. Blah, blah. Maybe he just likes the violence. Maybe he was just trying to make. Why'd me you let him get away with it? I had a bad feeling about him right from the start. The only thing I care about is You're stuff. Right. Okay, sorry. I should go. Okay, there was definitely a lot more. Uh. I want to know the truth. About oops, 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 oops. The, the only thing I care. Right. I should go. God damn it. Sorry, that was that was yes, okay. Investigate. Uh, Pharos. Any extra intel you can give me on our colony at Pharos? The entire planet used to be one giant Prothean city. Mostly ruins now. I think I remember Pharos. Pharos was the really cool. Tried to build on what the Protheans left behind. We lost all contact with them when the Geth attacked. Artemis Tau. What do you know about the Artemis Tau cluster? Not much. I've never been there myself. A handful of systems with a few small, uncharted worlds, but no real colony. Might not be easy finding Dr. Tassoni out there. My advice is to look for the world with the Prothean ruins. Okay. What can you tell me about Novaria? Novaria's trouble. Always has been. 
The whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research. Watch your back. I think I remember Spectre Novaria the too. Only form of citadel authority Novaria respects, but they aren't popular. Okay, I think that's it. We asked him this, right? Yeah. But you're the one who can stop. Okay. I believe in you, Shepard. If that means I have to step aside, so I should go. It makes me so sad about freaking. Oh, there's something I can look at. Normally a hole. Woo! Leveled up again. Bucky. Look at look at that baby. Look at the SR1. Look at the baby. Oh. Eh. Got it. Oh, I can't go further. Poo nuggets. All right, you guys. We ready to hop into our little ship? Go. Let's go. Let's enter the Normandy. Because I think we're done. Let me make sure. Uh, find the Artisoni. Get the interest. Get the attack. Okay. And then we got some survey teams. Which we might do that first. Squad, we leveled up again. That's right. Let's put a point. Put a point there. And. Woo! Yeah, I'm gonna put it there. Increases damage done by your next. Nice. Okay. Uh... Oh, he got advanced sabotage. Because if I, be I believe correctly, I think he is. Oh, he's a. Tur I think he's basically like me. Ooh. Fitness. Hell yeah. Okay. Groken Battle Master. Sorry, I was getting sidetracked. Okay, let's go. Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. Ooh. Heard what happened to Captain Anderson. Yeah. Survives a hundred battles and then gets taken down by backroom politics. Yeah, it's fucking bullshit, Watch man. Your back, Commander. If things go bad on this mission, you're next on the chopping block. Captain Anderson should be the one in charge. It's like I'm stealing the ship from him. Yeah, the captain got screwed. But it's not like you could have stopped it. Nobody's blaming you. Everyone on this ship's behind you, Commander. 100%. <laughs> Intercom's open. You got anything you want to say to the crew? Now's the time. <gasps> yeah, we do things my way. <laughs> Need to be honest with them. For sure. This is Commander Shepard speaking. We have our orders. Find Saren before he finds the conduit. I won't lie to you, crew. This mission isn't going to be easy. For too long, our species has stood apart from the others. Now it's time for us to step up and do our part for the rest of the galaxy. Time to show them what humans are made of. This began with an attack on a human settlement in the Traverse. But we know Saren won't stop there. His Geth armies aren't going to stay on the far fringes of Citadel space. Our enemy knows we're coming. When we go into the Traverse, Saren's followers will be waiting for us. But we'll be ready for them, too. Humanity needs to do this. Not just for our own sake, but for the sake of every other species in Citadel space. Saren must be stopped, and I promise you all, we will stop him. Well said, Commander. Captain will be proud. Fucking the quality just went down right as that speech was. Don't do it. God damn it. Motherfucker. Pissing me off. All right. Anyway. He doesn't matter anymore. Sometimes it's so, so, it's like so far down. I'm like, no. Uh, I won't let him down. The captain gave up everything so I could have this chance. We can't. Yes, ma'am. Yay! Cool. Oh, viewport. Look outside. Cool. Got a bunch of stuff. Okay. S 
that is yep that's our exit <clears throat> so now we have to set where we want to go but i think this is a great place to stop so let me get in front of the galaxy map boop boop okay all right guys thank you so much for joining me we're gonna end there for tonight um so i think we we made some really good progress we made it through the citadel and got through all the citadel stuff and it seems pretty good like uh I'm just not sure exactly where we're going to go first. I'm, I think I'm actually going to look it up and see what the recommended location is, whether it's going to be Novaria, Pharos, or the or Liara's location. I'm thinking probably Liara, but that that's what I thought. So, but what a beautiful soundtrack. The hairs on my body stand on end. Oh my gosh, yes. The, the soundtrack to Mass Effect, you, I can always, you hear like three bars of it. It's like, oh, yep, that's the Mass Effect soundtrack. It's so good. Um, but my next stream will unfortunately not be till Friday. Um, I had to cancel stream on this upcoming Wednesday. So on Friday evening, we'll be, I'll be playing some more Dragon Age Origins, uh, with our mission to Mary Alistair. And then, uh, should be, we should be doing, uh, we may be doing a special Saturday stream. So we'll have to see. Um, and, and yeah. So if you want to watch more Mass Effect, uh, come back probably next Sunday and we'll see, we'll see how Saturday turns out. But, um, if you're not following me on here, give me a follow. Um, I also have my YouTube link in, uh, in my my Twitch profile and you can look on there. I upload all my streams up onto YouTube. And then also um, uh, follow me on Twitter for any updates on my stream. So that's the last plugs I'm going to do. And I hope you have a great rest of your night. Uh, and we'll see you guys on the next stream. Have a good night, everybody. Bye, guys.